show. show. RTM podcast show. To the world and them girls. Young girl. Spree, Queen Ice Cream. Are you me? In Northwest London, born and raised In Kilburn is where she spent most of her days day. Chilling out, maxing, relaxing, all queening Then her and Mafiella did start diva twinning And young spray well, I was up to no good, no good. Always making trouble in the neighbourhood Did a one liquor ups and the judge didn't care He said I'm sending you to prison right now for two years I blew my mama kissing then when I saw tears The face showed the limit of the face she could bear If anything I could say the sentence weren't fair But I thought, nah forget it, your mama have no fear have no fear, mama. I know I'm only 16, but I'm built for this. Built for this. Huh. That's what Yo, I, I pulled up to the jail around 7 or 8 and I yelled to the sweatbox. Yo, fam, link you later. You later. Welcome yeah. to Feltham. I was finally here. Yeah. They took me to Swallow and it started from there. Right. Yeah. That's where it all started, man. You're just like me, I'm just mm-hmm. like you. I was a bad you too. Bad you too. Mm-hmm. But you could change, man. You can change, have faith, have faith. RTM, RTM. We did a boat. Boom, welcome to the RTM podcast show. Season five, new hey. season vibes. You see what I'm saying? Boom, here with your host, Young Spray, Big Bad Spray, mm. with my co host, Cream. The vibes. Queen ice cream. You get me? She tried to leave the thing. <laughs> you get me? She tried to bust out and go to that pearly t- like pearly things eat it. She had to come back through. You get me? Yeah, Joker. Yeah, that B tech yeah. you know what I'm saying? But yeah, boom. Uh, Special guest today. We wanted to start the season. Um we wanted to start the season off properly. You get what I'm saying, car? You know what we're about? We're about giving out flowers to the people that deserve them. Um the people that Maybe go unspoken for maybe um, like they need more recognition. Do you get what I'm trying to say? So, um, and it's not just about music or none of that stuff. You get me? Most of them music guys are clowns anyway. Boom. We've got a stand up guy with us right now. You get me? Brother, respect. Big respect. You get what I'm saying? Come on. Always on the pavement, taking on. The pavement, you get what I'm saying? Trying to do the right thing and guide the youths in the right way, you get what I'm saying? Gang, what's gang again? Guiding the new generation. See, mm-hmm. I remember though, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember though, innit? Yeah. That's gang, you see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Guiding the new generation. So we're going to get to know a bit more about Respect today. Um, get to know his story. Um, what led him to this path of like a revolutionist, really. A revolution, what do you call it? Revolutionary, I think. Yeah, revolutionary old guy, mad, but yeah, boom. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, we're going to get to know him a bit better. Um, we had that thing, how many years ago? Four or five years ago still. And big up Nana, was it Nana? Yeah, it was Nana. And yeah, Chris Nana, Sibia UK. Um, bring me through. Yeah, we had that thing. <coughs> and, and it was me, you, Scraps was there, big up Scraps. Big up Scraps. And um, AM yeah. and Skengdo. Mm-hmm. Um, Elijah. What was that guy's name? I think Elijah and I think uh, Mark, the producer, was there as well. Mm. We went to the studio afterwards, didn't it? We went upstairs. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yep, yep. Um, basically, you could check that out anyway. I don't even know what it's called or whatever, but boom. Basically, me and him, we were having like a discussion, innit? it? So, um, but it was like at a stage where maybe I was a bit more ignorant. Do you get what I'm trying to say to this thing type? Because I was just like, watching the road thing full hundred you get what i'm saying so but yeah it's good to have him here today five years later man's doing a podcast you get what i'm saying man's on some idiot thing now you get what i'm saying man's, no i'm joking man's with chip you get what i'm saying big up chip join the what's up crew you get what i'm saying i see your podcast chip big you up you get what i'm saying mm-hmm. boom but anyway my brother don't know if you watched it but um yeah we start with like a little background like where you're born yeah. where you're from you get me? Yeah. I know you got some gems for us today. Yeah, mm-hmm. I've got a story still. Mm. Man's ear still, like, even that video from that Except time, like, even when man was saying, it's calm, you get me? Mm. Like, man understood what man meant because there's times when it's pepper, when shots are licking off every other day and man are getting dropped down every other day. Mm. So you see, in a time when one, you got shanked, 
it's calm in comparison to what it might have been in the reality. And then even with the carrying of weapons thing, like a lot mm. of the elders, when they see the knives on the, the, the videos, they're shocked. Mm. But anyone who's been on any block, and I've been on every block, it's normal. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because of the environments that our youths have been left to lead without any sort of intervention from the community. Because that's, that's where I'm coming from. I'm saying mm -hmm. it's very easy to see a video and point fingers, but who's actually going to the blocks to find out what's actually causing these issues. Mm. So that's how Guiding New Generation started. It was about man them who come from the roads, who have lived the life, you know what I'm saying, but managed somehow to elevate to something better mm. coming back. yeah, yeah. yeah. For those 50, we got crazy 24 as well, man. Mm. Yes, crazy is yeah, yeah. That's, that's a that's a Jenna still. Come on, man. From, from, got... Like I said, me, I'm a you, I didn't have my dad. You get me? Mm. Single parent mum working overtime. So literally, when you're talking about black male um influences, like me seeing myself, mm. channel use where it started. Mm. You get mm -hmm. it? So that's how I was trying, man. North Spray, man was raised on that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Mash Town, Craze 24. Man. Sometimes it feels like no one understands a young man trying hard to... Yeah, come, come on, come on. Swiss cry. Yeah, bashy, Big up black, Swiss. bashy black boys. When that mm -hmm. one dropped, that hit, Big man. You know on. what I'm saying? Stanner. I, w I used to listen to Stanner religiously. Big Stanner. In the band, come on. Yeah, but we were religiously, mm. you get me? Like Kemzy when he first dropped his thing, Big man. Kems, you know man. what I'm saying? I'm still listening like, to Kemzy. Come on, all now, mm. all now. That's all, but, but man, I have to understand, yeah? You see a lot of youths in this country. What they do is they idolize the American thing. Mm. You get me? And obviously, uh, I think your generation was much more inspired by them than us. But our generation, we're, we're the ones that said, you can't rap in American accents. Mm -hmm. Furthermore, in the bando, you couldn't play American music. We was mm. playing Daff half. But that's my ends, isn't it? Daff. Mm. You get me? So we'll get into that. Yeah, big up that free, is he, is he out? No, free Daff all free day. Daff, free Daff, Daff store. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I was playing Daff half. You know what I'm saying? Mike, you see, even a Carla. Logic, you know what I'm saying? From way back, man had that was the only inspiration that I had to mm. know. Say, man can rise up and maybe achieve something. You get me mm. way better. Know the movement. You get me the whole grind phase. But then man loved the rap phase as well. You get me mm. from Northwest. You know, like all of that. So yeah, mm -hmm. that's what man come up on still until this day. That's the top for me. So for me personally, and I know a lot of people ain't gonna really agree, but for me personally. Back. I'm glad you the, said Mike GLC though, you know. The, the man yeah. from our thing, for me, it's, they're bigger than the American thing. Like, for me personally. I'm glad so you like, said Mike, you know. You know what I'm saying? Because otherwise Mike would have posted Joe Black saying, you know, <laughs> that yeah, if you, don't, if you don't say Mike GLC, he's going to post Joe Black, so you get what I'm saying? Big up Mike. Big up Mike. Mike. <laughs> Mike. Just gonna My brother, I'm glad you... Another one, yeah, I'm Joe glad you said one. Mike, you know, because... Yeah. If he didn't say Mike, Mike would have posted Joe Black's again. Joe Black, <laughs> I, ain't, I, can't, I, ain't, I ain't got time to see that Joe again. Joe Black, man. yeah, Joe I Black really definitely, 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 he helped mm -hmm. to slow down the murder rate because Joe Black made a lot of us who was rolling around he, on a violent thing. He slowed it down, that's hard. a mad title. No, Start joking. trapping hard, you had the man trapping hard. Man sped it up and he slowed it down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah no. I'm getting mad, I'm getting mad. Yeah. Getting mad. But even your mm. thing, like even North Star, from beginning, mm. there was a level of excellence, even especially in the tunes, obviously, that we've seen on Channel mm. U, the mainstream ones, yeah. that made man know that even though man's here, man can go somewhere else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From beginning, man had that element of like professionalism. In the mm. team, you know mm. what I'm saying? But obviously on the freestyle thing, yeah, you're taking, you, yeah, you're, you're definitely raising, Damn raising man. the violent Rugby race too. Yeah. But yeah, trust me. So that's what man come from. But still. no, man, but bear in mind, yeah, as well. Remember, that was just a little clip they thrown out there. We had a long conversation. Yeah, facts. And after you get what I'm trying well. to say, so I, I can't remember all the stuff we spoke about, but we agreed on a, on a lot. Yeah. You get what I'm trying to say? One that of the important stuff from that debate is when we spoke about Mansa Musa being the richest person and then AM and Skengdo made mm. a tune called Mansa Musa oh, afterwards. Mm. So that showed man how community mm. coming together can directly... Because remember, they done that tune, it's probably hit a million views. Mm. But that was birthed in a conversation where they didn't know about Mansa Musa. Okay. And someone in the, um, the, the, the audience said, why don't you... Sp Spit about rare, 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 and they said, well, we don't know about that. So then mm. they got told about it, and then they went and made a tune called Mansa Musa, which educated, which made probably thousands of youths type in Mansa Musa and find out that history, you get me? So that heavy, was a heavy, thing heavy. that came out that day still. Yeah, heavy still. But yeah, we're starting off with where you was born. Big up though, man. You get mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Give man the little flowers. Come on, that. come on, come on. You get what I'm nah, saying? Real talk, brother. Give man the little flowers, appreciate that. You get what I'm saying? But yeah, man. 
Where was you born? You get me? Born in Newham Generals still. Newham General, yeah, yes. Newham Chatton. Generals, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, like Forest Gate sides. Mm. Um, yeah, original Newham baby. You get me, Sherrod Road. My okay. Name, my mumsy's from Hackney, though. My whole family on my mumsy's side is from Hackney. Mm. Mm-hmm. You get me, like frontline, though. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, certified. Mm. You know what I'm Even Tricky's my cousin, basically. Yeah. But when people see Tricky sitting down with his dad... <laughs> For me, that's Uncle Vincent. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's not, you know what I'm saying? Man off for man off for that. Man off for that. Your uncle still. Yeah, no, man, no. Man but off obviously, for still, you know, you I also love that. But it's cool. You get what I, what I love it's though. Cool, I see everything. Yeah, but yeah, obviously, cool. me. It's one cool. thing I'd say is when when hypo. Well, your died, uncle didn't want it. I, I hate it you yeah, still. yeah. I hate you saw that. I'm joking. Him. Uncle, like, <laughs> that's what let's not start him. this again, Uncle. That, you get him now. Your team, uncle yeah. goes mad as well. Yeah, yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Your uncle goes mad, but, nah, but my we're is, good now. You get what I'm even saying? Though, even though you man had your, your back... I was even going to mm. do a video, but I said, let's leave it. You get me? Mm. Like, uh, I was going to tell them about them. Like, you get me? Uh. But when, like, on a um, on a serious one, though, when, when Hypo died RIP, I saw you reached mm-hmm. out and showed love, and I feel like that is the element of the highest... Um, where we're going as a community and the maturity that we're going to because you can mm. have a problem with a man, you get me, but with a lot of the youngers that we see right now, what the biggest misguidance I see is the mocking of death. You get me? I don't, like, I can't lie. For me, I can't rate it, but I understand it because everyone's doing it. Mm. So it's like, it's, it's hard to really clamp down on one person because it's happening all over. But that thing, so when that happened, you get me? And that's why for me, my main message to the man them is, we don't, man didn't care. Personally, I didn't care about hypo drip. I didn't care about the bad man thing. I didn't care about none of that. I cared about when I see him with his youth on, on the Instagram story. And I used to say, yo, big up. You get me? And I used to see his mum at the reparations march. And she, you know what I'm saying? So that's what I care about. And I feel like we, as brothers, like the internet will always try to push us towards gangsterism, but they don't care about the consequences we have to face. Mm. You get me? For us, the real ones watching this right now, the man that have been there from day one, all they want to do is see the man them win and provide for man's families and live. You get me? So that's the message for everyone else listening out there. You know what I'm saying? But with Tricky, like, he's, he's Popsy. Um, he's basically one of the... Uh, if there was three people that I saw as father figures growing up, his dad's one of them, you get me? Mm. So my cousin died the other day. He was at the funeral together and all of that. You know what I'm saying? Mm. But one of his big brothers actually raised man. So I was in Newham... But obviously, I got that history, and then mum moved down to Ilford, mm-hmm. Seven Kings, because mm. she's trying to get away from the hood. Because mm. she's thinking, right. I'm having a <coughs> first son. You get me? I've had my son in Newham, but I'm trying to get away from the hood. So she tried to go down there, but got it's like the, the energy mm. followed me, though. Mm. So certain youths up there, like Essex, you get me? Especially when you get Chad where he's Romford. Mm. They, but me, I'm going back and forth from Hackney all the time to see my cousins, I'm going Clapton, I'm going Pembury, you know what I'm saying, I'm coming back, you know what I'm saying, so I'm kind of coming back with that energy, and then my dad, my dad's from, um, my big bro's from Brixton, mm. but then like, my dad lived in Peckham, so even my big bro's story is mad, because he's basically on two different sides, you get me, mm. um, so yeah, I've got family from south and east mainly, but now I've got cousins in Tottenham obviously, I got cousins down in Mind in games. Grove as well. You get me. Mm-hmm. Mind North, games. East, South, and West. <laughs> well. That's mind Anyways. games. I like you. <laughs> yeah, you know, cousins in Tottenham, Hackney, yeah. tricky, bare mind games, but it's cool. Nah, we're over that, man. You get me. But the wicked is that I heard your uncle's physical as well. You know, so I don't even know why he never accepted my. I thing. don't even know about Ooh. that. You get me. I don't know. I don't know about you, man. Still, you get me now. I'm joking. Now, obviously, we all debate. No, we I'm all joking, have I'm different. Joking. I think when men are on these podcasts, we're all going to have different debates and points mm. of disagreement. I just want to find a way where the man them can have these disagreements in uh, the most respectful manner, and it don't, so and it don't, and it don't end up in death. Yeah, mm. or even cussing. We don't even need to cuss each other if there's a point that man's making. Mm. That man, because obviously, even Tricky said certain things regarding like police stop and search. Man disagree with it. You get yeah. me? But how man go about that disagreement ain't going to be, ah, oh, man, da, 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 da. Man's going to mm. be like, yo, that point, if you look at this from another side, then you'll see that obviously stop and search is not good because it criminalises a lot of man them that shouldn't be criminalised. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So man's explaining the point that man's got to do with rather than the person. And mm. I feel like a lot of the time we get absorbed into the person and the disrespect to the person than actually just dealing with the point that a man's got a disagreement on. You get me, Carl? We're all going to have this... Diff- mm. When we come together as a family, even We should just families, be able to agree to disagree, yeah, basically. Yeah, we come together with our actual <coughs> families, like mm. our blood families. Mm. Everyone don't agree, blood. Yeah, yeah come on. My sister's always at it. Mm. Do you get it? 
but mm. your family at the end of the yeah, day. Yeah, mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that's, that's what Forever Family was about. It's about us realising, look, we've got different places we live. We've got different mentalities. We've got some people that ain't even compatible. Don't mm. even put them in the same room. Mm. Yeah, you stay over there, you stay over mm-hmm. there. But we have to recognise that we're all family and this next generation coming up, that's your, that's your nieces, your nephews, mm. our sons, our daughters. We have to build something better for them. Yeah, inshallah. Mm-hmm. So did did you have um was your mom and dad together? No, no, no. My mom. Any my, siblings? I got. I, I grew up with my two sisters, but then I got a bag of brothers and sisters on my dad's side as well. Mm. I've only just like properly linked just up with together. Starting to pattern up. But my, yeah, I grew up with my two sisters, older sister and younger sister. Um, mom was doing overtime, twenty four seven, and like man didn't have no dad, no no big brother. So I feel like that's how man even hit the road mm, okay. you get me because I was out from like I was one of them youths 11, 12, 13 I was a like, missing youth you know like what was missing primary persons. school like? swingers you know what I'm just saying fighting. yeah 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 where, was, where did you go primary school Stratford uh, no nah, Seven Kings still okay because by that time Racist. I'm yeah, car. First time, my first fight. Someone called me a nigger. Still, See? yeah. Mm-hmm. Someone called me, and I and I rocked his jaw. And then the teachers tried to tell me off. And then I just started throwing the tables, chairs. Tried to grab man. I'm kicking like I was that you. Yeah. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. and then secondary school. My f- on my third day, I had a fight with a year nine. So was I'm that year seven, seven Kings as well? Chadwell Heath. So I've okay. gone further out. Yeah, mm-hmm. but, but obviously, I went Chadwell Heath, but all my brethren went Cannon Palmer. Mm. So that's where a lot of the, the Ilford yeah, and yeah, them yeah, yeah, yeah. went. So that's why, yeah. But Chadwell Heath, like anyone would tell you, like even the reason why we even had to carry stuff and rare, 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 because of madness on the block, you get me? So it was still, them times there, it was pepper down there still. Mm. Yeah, because a lot of man was moving. They moved man from Plasto. Mm. Man come from Tottenham, man came from Leighton Stone, like batches of. Okay, so you're coming from a place where you can understand why these kids carry knives. Hundred mm. percent. Okay. Our brother, I, like, like I've never said it publicly. You get me, but man's been in real situations when the Eastern European trafficking gangs kidnapping children, and holding them in the houses. Mm. Do you think man's gonna lack? Like, do you think whatever area man goes to, you don't think man's gonna make sure that man's pattern? Mm. Like, but man, but. It's not a thing where a glorify or glamorize or nothing. It's just a reality that I'd rather be judged by 12 than carried by six. And I'm always mm-hmm. going to defend my life over anything. Mm. And I've been in real situations. So I don't know what everyone else has been through. See the people that are fully against it mm. or don't mm-hmm. understand it. I'm, mm. I'm against it. I'm against everyone carrying any weapons. But the people that don't understand it, they've definitely never had three men jump out of the whip with shanks. Mm. And they've never been in that situation. And, mm. and I had to back it out just to back off man them and then they hear sirens yeah. and they jump. They've never been in that situation mm. and realised that that five seconds, ten seconds that man got there, <laughs> that saved my life. Yeah. Mm. They've never been trying to go b- get baggies from the up block shop, you get me? And then man's pulled up in the whip and they see an Australian about to jump on the bike and so they're, you're ringing cousins trying to pat and stuff. They've never been in these situations so they're not going to understand. But I understand, you get me? I, want, I, I mentor a lot of youths, some very high risk, like some of the young drillers that you're seeing on the tunes and that man, man know them off the camera. You get me? And a lot of them, they've seen their brethren die. They've seen their cousins die. You know what I'm saying? And they ain't trying to die, really. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So until we as a community can come and take one side, take one side and actually intervene which we can do, you know, collectively. Collectively, we've got the strength to do that. Until we can do that, bro, then it, that's going to continue to go on, you get me? We can do that, but you know what it is? What I find, yeah, because you've got, see, like, man's generation, yeah? Like, you've got the proper, like, gangsters or whatever, the roof, where it's like, myself, you get what I'm saying? Like, we just get on with it, yeah? Then you've got, like, the little dickheads that from man's generation, yeah? But they got, like, little brothers and that, innit? Yeah? But they're like, nah... Trying to make their little brothers bad and all that. Mm-hmm. Where, like, the gangsters are the half kind of panning out their little brothers. Like, they're yeah. not yeah, even yeah. trying to make their little... But then you've got the cheek that, oh, so it's all just mad. It's all, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, uh, I think over time, man, I've just realised that if you don't want better for your, your little brothers or your sons, then there's something wrong with you, you get me? Mm. And me, I'm willing to face anyone mm. with that mentality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Full-hearted, you get me? Mm-hmm. Uh, like, even when we done the G-walks, like, the gang uniting, and we went through certain blocks, certain blocks, we had to come out with the Australians and tell my man can't roll through the block. 
a man's telling blood, I'm telling blood, a man's rolling through the block blood. I said, it's either, it's, it's either a man's going to have to kill man or a man's rolling through the block blood. Because mm. I'm telling them blood, man's doing this so your little brother don't have to go through what you, you're you going through. Mm. How are you going to stop me, bro? How are you going to stop me when I'm trying to make sure that your little brother don't feel the pain that I can see in your eyes right now, rude boy? Mm. You get me? You're burying your brethren. You know what I'm saying? Like, this ain't a nice thing that we have to go through. Like, it's mad trauma mm. that we're dealing with at a young age and it's normalised. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? So... Yeah, man don't care. Man will go through any wall. But I don't get to, that's the only, I'm not even going to say what block it was, you get me? But mm. that's the only block throughout the whole g which went north, east, south and west. Prairie Court, no, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> only one block that tried to give man them a little <laughs> stiff chest, you get me? But even that, because I think it was late and he was making a lot of noise and mm. because it was the last block we got He's to. He's to make, you know, there's buying's low. Yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah. lot are coming around with yeah, yeah. this and beer gang United. Yeah, yeah. Mm. We went to show you, yo, oh, Bayern's on this yeah. estate, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, it, no, but, but Bayern's is everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know how it goes. You get what I'm trying to say. He's probably one of them Chiefs' little brothers. You get what I'm saying now, Joe? <laughs> guy, <man. laughs> yeah. Now, so, so secondary school, is that when you started getting in trouble with police and all that shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. From early still. Mm. From early, like. But for how us, it wasn't, go? it wasn't like a lot of the stuff that happened, like, I don't think it's how people think it is. So it's like, it wasn't really a gang, it was just brethren, isn't it? Mm-hmm. And man's cold, because even when man was saying really the most, mm. like man gravitated to that straight away because my thing was never to be the baddest yeah, of or the strongest. Yeah, my yeah. thing was to be the realest. Mm. So that means that anyone come around me and my family, blood, I'm going to defend the thing. Yeah, you yeah, get yeah. me? And when brethren don't back the beef, blood, when we get back to the end, you're going to get rushed, bro. <laughs> and you're going to get a double beating than whatever happened the, to mm. the man them that was there, that you was shook to back the beef, you get me? Mm. I remember one time my brethren... Ops come on the bus and that, and we're at the back sw- scrapping it out. And one of my bridges went to the front and he sat at the front. You get me? And like basically, like he wasn't with us. You get me? Mind game. But then afterwards, I had a conversation with him. I'll never forget. It, and I was like, blood. I would rather that I, w- I personally, and this is how man saw it back then. And I feel like this is how man sees the community now. But I don't expect the same from man them because I've seen man them are flaky. Mm. But for me personally, I said to my brethren, I would rather die. Right here with you, if if man are trying to run on man, then go and tell your mum that I ran and left you, bro. Mm. And after that, that brethren, he backed every beef thing. Mm. Yeah, there was nothing where he didn't back it. Because when people are even talking about the roads and making it seem like man are just violent, no, really and <laughs> truly, a lot of the man them are youths that didn't wouldn't allow you to just slap man in the face and then do nothing. A lot of the youths are man them, you couldn't come and just stick man up. And take man's things. Mm. You get me? Man's out here shot in. You're not taking my food, bro. Mm-mm-mm. You get me? That, so a lot of the things that happen, I don't think it's like man trying to be rolled. I feel like certain youths are just built in a way where we don't know how to take violation. Mm. Man slaps mm-hmm. me in my face. Now I have to slap my, my hand. Just gonna, it's just going yeah, to be automatic. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I feel like there's yeah, man now, that like what, that. It, what is now as well, remember, social media, everything's enhanced, isn't it? Mm-hmm. You get what I'm trying to say? Like, Back in the day, a man got all a box in his face, or a whole of disrespect, and the whole of London, the whole of the UK don't know about it. Yeah. But in this day and age, like, the O2 box, like, it's all over, like, yeah. that, um, what to that, that you, um, the Edmund you, the little young you, and then it was all over, and I thought, why did they do that to him? Oh, uh, E1. Um, yeah, E1, I thought, yeah. why did they do that to him? I could never, I would never do that to my, yeah, to my yeah, youngers. Yeah, yeah. Or, like, yeah. put that out and... Yeah, if, man, if you're gonna discipline, you just discipline. I can't like the filming thing for me, blood. It's it snitching. Me. Like mm. that, it has to be called out for what it is, blood. How am I gonna roll up on you with a camera, blood? How are you gonna pull out your burner and bust? How are you gonna bu- bun me, bro? You can't bust because I've got evidence. So the whole filming online thing and the man them going back and forth on Instagram wars and that it's dead, bro. It's not our thing. Mm. We came up in a generation where there wasn't social media, bro. So the whole, if I'm running up on you and I'm saying, you're my op, but I'm filming, I'm stopping you from being able to defend anything. Because if I do something now, you've got it on film, feds get that, now I'm getting bagged. So my name just need to leave the internet out of whatever qualms we have because it's the internet that even makes things spill out of um, control mm-hmm. and then Raspet's getting called by people's aunties and i got to go and try and do... You get me? And I'm like, mm. you man are making my job hard. Just leave it off the internet and more time, the man them ignoring each other and not seeing each other, they're going to be on greatness. Like, if you look at mm-hmm. Heady 1 and T on, like, for, just for example, you get me? Mm. Them two, Heady, the man them filmed him, rare, rare, rare. then No Better came, you get me? 
madness in North London, which made us do the G-Walks, because that's, that's why we had to do the G-Walks in the beginning, because of how it was, you get me, and then it kind of calmed down. But right now, both of them and them, they had their thing on the aeroplane, mm. where people was getting onto both of them, but yeah, really and truly... We spoke about that. Yeah, but mm. really and truly, but them and done the right thing. It, they stayed apart, because if they done something kind of thing, they'll be in jail right now. Man's dead and man's in jail. No one's winning, but right now, both of them are living their lives, they're progressing, and they're... they're they even contribute into the the man them that come from where they come from and building them up to some degree. You get me? So that's that's all the man that need to be focused on. All mm. of the all of the qualms and the internet beef and the back and forth. Like spit your bar. Like back in the day when we had like even grime sets and that man them will clash. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we we'll spit our bar and say that's what that's what I feel like can't be us was. You get me? Like it was just a little that's bar. That's why I couldn't do grime. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't do grime, you get yeah, me? Yeah, yeah. I see, I see, what was that? One of them Lord of the Mics and the man bong, the man bong the you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Who, was, who got bong? I was forgot still. Uh, Someone got bong. Shout out Jammer still, mm, find mm, it. Mm, mm. Someone got bong, but I'm nice. If that's me, I'm my bonger. Yeah. I'm definitely bonging. <laughs> yeah. You know them ones there? The second I hear something, I'm too awkward. Mm. Well, I remember they say, mad, suck your mom. And they mm. say madness. Yeah. That man can't yeah, even. Yeah, yeah. Deal with that's why your I didn't girl, like even your yeah. your girl. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I didn't do the clash. Like, like, it's like, yeah. Yeah. I reckon what? I could have done the clash thing, but I don't know. Like I've got a bit yeah. of a, I'll be honest with yeah, you. Can't talk Jam, about my mom, Jama so. reached out to me like later down, talking about some Lord of the Mites. I said, Jama, like, are you being nuts? You get what I'm saying? Car is binds. You get me his shoes. <laughs> his shoes. You get me? Yeah, like, nah, scary, I can't take all that. You get me? And I don't even know how to cuss as well. It's mad. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but yeah, so flipping. So, what was your first dealings like with the feds? Like, how, like, I think it was worse. me and Pi getting arrested by armed feds, and that. I think, yeah, some because obviously we, we didn't see ourselves as active these times, in it, man. Just like someone wants something, yeah, we know where to get it from. If we go from there to there, yeah, we got 20 pounds. If we do that five times, we got a bill, mm. like, so when they're saying drug dealing. I don't understand that because it's these guys on the road that was asking, man, can you get this? Can you get that? Can you get this? Mm. I, I know where to get it. So if I go get it and drop it to you, I don't feel like um, I didn't. F- that's how man kind of got into the lifestyle because we was living on the road. So I'm talking like sleeping on buses and trains. Mm. I'm talking about sleeping in garages. You get me before Crazy. the bandos. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So man was literally living on the road. So even robberies, that was like a, just a normal thing. I need to eat. And see food, man's gonna eat. Because mm. mm. I used to do the begging thing. I used to be outside the chicken shop begging for a pound. Mad. Pizza. Yeah, my, my, my life started. Yeah, I'm gonna stop this show 11, now. No, 11, 12 years old. This show now. I was asking man for a pound. I'm my stopping this show. Really? I'm yeah. joking. I'm nah, joking. Nah, nah, but I didn't know that. Nah, man, mad. Man's belly was hungry, blood. Man didn't mm. want to rob no one at first. And then man's looking down on man. And I like the feeding, and I'll stick you up and take, mm. take more off you. I like that feeling. I like how you even deal with me. Yeah. Do you get me? I like, because before you was looking down on me when I was ask, when I was asking, but you see when I'm demanding, you're saying, sorry, mate, and doing all dances and that. And I'm, so that's how man kind of got into that because man said, man's never going to beg no one nothing again mm. in my life. You get me? Mm. And then if you're not going to beg no one nothing, you're going to have to take it. Mm. Like when we used to go into shops, like wrapping up was normal. Like every shop, sticky fingers, closed shops, anything, mm. sticky fingers because mm. we're living on the roads. Like, I'm talking every day, it's living on the roads till we got the bandos. Then we're living in the bando. And obviously, we're just, you know what I'm saying? And that's how man first started shotting. And then from there, like, obviously, man, them get moves. Man, lick a move, couple bags, you know what I'm saying? And then out like, white, you call Paul. Show man, like. Love don't, Paul, man. Don't get him nicked, man. No, no, no. Paul's, Paul's good, you get me? But he's the first one to show man, show man. Um, Leng and that, you get me, um, sawn off shotgun and all of that, mm. and show man about armed robberies and all of these things, you get me, but we mm. wasn't looking to slap white no boy. one. Yeah, white boy. Paul. Yeah? We got Paul. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, we got Paul. Yeah, yeah, he's, like, he's a mad dude still, yeah, he run over. Know, I, had, I had to work it out, I had to work it out. He run over two Raleigh's. My, white, brother, my white brother's name's Paul. <laughs> <laughs> no, brother, the you user. love that one, look, she loved that one. Brother, I got a mix with his brother still, but he looks white, but his name's Paul still, so oh, I knew yeah. that was a white name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My mum went mad, you get me? R.I.P. mummy, but. So I used yeah. to take man to um, like Marks and Spencer's and make man walk around, and mm. then like the security would be onto us called a black youth, innit? Mm. And then he'd go to the tills with a screwdriver. Crafty. Pop, pop them, the tills them, and them man used to, like, the, the white youth. Me and Max used to do the, um, 
We should do the arcade machines with a screwdriver. Yeah, yeah. Buck them, you get me? All day long. Then white you stay moving. Big up Max, you get me? Check out his new huge Max or D featuring more fire crew. Yeah, big I like that. That tune's hard. Yeah, man's gonna go there on me and get a little feature. I'm gonna learn the dance. Back to you now. Big up Max or Yeah, so that was that was like he was one of the first ones that kinda showed us all of that and then man's just learning in it but man's not even thinking about road like mm. it's not like who's in jail now definitely though yeah I f- he licked the, i remember last time i heard he licked down two fe- uh, See, feds on a getaway like yeah. ran them over he was a like, magic yeah pulls early no nah, he was a like, magic still like different like i can't let me tell you about story. the screwdriver that's early works yeah yeah now nah, them man's moves i can't school. lie them man's moves were different they would rob stuff from cars like rob different building stuff from 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 places like mm. them man's Commercial moves bugs. was out of the box. Commercial you know our moves bugs. was like you know man I ever trying to lick a box or man I trying to tell a man you got a couple boxes of food, take the peas. Like our moves were very mm. roadish. Mm-hmm. Get me? Them man's moves are moves where you wouldn't even. Our know. moves was very black. Their, <laughs> their moves was very white. <laughs> yeah, they show man the burglaries, yeah. how to get into the yards. The the um the, the certain handles, you know the plastic doors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then man knew how to get into those without the key. You get me? Put my, uh, carry man into the yard. You get crafty, me? Crafty, just crafty, just mad stuff. You get me? Like it was. I think them times there, Redbridge was like the whole highest burglary rate in 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 the UK or something like that. It was it was mad. So yeah, we was just we was just licking out food. You know what I'm saying? But that was normal. Cause even when mum was blotting, it wasn't like mum was blotting. Even like at the heights, just before I started active, before I got into activism thing, obviously I had to get rid of my line in it. Mm. That's mm. actually why I even got rid of my line. Did you end up going to the bin? No, no, I got sent to Jamaica <laughs> and... How old yeah, was you then? I was 15, 16. Is it? Yeah. What was yeah, that like? End of year 10, you get me? Mm. Yeah, so I went out there. Bomber club. I know. Hey, the rain's going mad Crazy. But yeah, what was Yard said? Yeah. Yard was, Yard was, obviously, I had mad cases over here. So, man had to fly out. And then when I got out there, man's getting into, because they think English, innit? Mm. So, man's getting into bare madnesses over there. So, man got... If I signed over there, went to some referral place. That was a mad thing, man. Swinging it out with bare dons, you know what I'm saying? But by the time I left, they respected the UK. But you see, when I got there, at first they thought, man, all drink tea with the Queen and yeah, because all, all the youths that came before, man, they used to play tax and that. So when they come to me with tax, I said, blood, with tax, are you man smoking crack? Mm. You think I'm gonna give you man anything? You get me? So me, I had wars out there still, but at the same time. Man, learned a lot about my culture mm. and my roots, and there was a lot of waking up that happened over there. So when I came back, how long was you over there for? Two years. Okay. Oh, for real? Yeah, two years. You get me? <laughs> nice, like, nice little bird. Still, yeah, yeah. as a four do too. You get me? Yeah, yeah. But obviously, man, because before man ducked out, obviously the judge already told man, yeah, if I see you again, man had that speech. Mm. You get me? And then obviously. Mad things started happening. I ain't gonna go into it on the podcast, but things started happening. Mm. Wars, man, them in hospital. It got, it, it just all spilled over. You get me? Bear man getting bagged. So boom, man just had to do the bandulu, and then yeah, man, come back. And obviously, even when I've gone, certain of my brethren are in certain beef. So my my brain is on getting back and back in the beef. Do you know what I'm saying? My my brain wasn't even on getting back and doing no activism. Mm. Or anything like that, you get me. That's where I'm trying to get to. Like, what made you? Where did How did you, you become an activist? Yeah. You wanted to do that. Was it fed? That's what I'm trying to work out. Did you have Duggan? Because it fed Duggan. Oh, was it? Oh, was cocaine. It that yeah, Duggan. yeah, it was Duggan that that switched around my thing still. Because okay. remember when R. R. the R. thing R. R. Yeah, R. 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 Mark Duggan. I can't lie. When the thing happened with Duggan, my <laughs> thing was different. It wasn't like what man's doing now. Yeah, cause I remember seeing you, man. Yeah, my thing was I demanding ready to to ride. Yeah, it's that three, four days, I wanted that to be a lifestyle mm. at the time. So even when I've reached out to certain ends and like I'm talking mashes in certain ends, and the man never shook of what I'm saying at that time. Mm. Yeah, the man never shook. They're like, yo, calm down, chill out. You get me? Mm. Because I'm, I'm really saying, yo, these men are trying to kill man like, and think it's cool. So we got to fight back. And then I realised mm-hmm. that that's not the way. Like, man don't need to fight them physically. The only way that man can actually fight the feds is by gunshot. <laughs> no, is <laughs> <laughs> by saving is by saving our youths. Mm. You get mm. me? That's the only way we can fight them, man. Because right now, our youths are working for the police. They're just not on the payroll. Because our youths killing each other is why feds get more money. Mm. It's why they get more powers. You get me? It's why they get more guns. 
Mm. You know what I'm saying? So if the man them because on, of the burglaries as well, though. yeah, hundred percent. You get me? So <laughs> you get me? That's why I had to stop all of that. <laughs> yeah. I remember, I, I'm, I'm yeah, clean. We're, yeah, we're I'm it. clean. I'm clean, and I'm proud as well. It's an East one thing. It's a burglar bear yard. But <laughs> school days though. Yeah, that's all school, allegedly. Allegedly. school days. You get me? Allegedly. That's all school days. You get me? I, I didn't say I done anything as well. Yeah, that's allegedly, what, yeah. This was what was around, man. Mm-hmm. You get me? This is mm-hmm. my surroundings. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, so these times now. Um, with the feds, I realised that the only way we could actually beef them is by the man them of the blocks actually realising how our actions benefit them and counter action, doing counter actions. Mm. So the more the man them govern their blocks, mm. the more the man them control their younger, the less shower, shower man behaviour mm-hmm. is, what is, what is what makes the police be less relevant. You get me? And the less relevant they are is the less, like, say if an a end said, we're going to govern our team completely mm-hmm. for six months. The local police station might just shut down, bro. Well, it's like that in certain places already. Like, in a, you know, like when they can't even manage it. Yeah. There's no police stations yeah. there. Because, like, yeah, I agree with you. Because the thing about it is, is it's like you've got to kind of educate people on the plan that was already placed there for them. Yeah. Do you understand? They keep wanting you to blame the people that are there when they created that system there for them. Do you understand? These blocks and whatever, what the environments and the areas that we are in, the hoods and stuff, they put us there for a reason. You think they didn't know what that was going to be? Yeah. Do you understand when you overcrowd somewhere and there's not enough jobs, et cetera, and that? Yeah. Do you understand what I mean? So Exactly. Yeah. Do you understand? So I even, I, I agree with you a lot, but also we need to kind of be like targeting the government and them kind of people because those are the ones that planned it. Mm-hmm. Do you understand? Yeah. Mm. They planned it because mm-hmm. if you study sociology, sociology says that poverty breeds crime. Mm-hmm. crime breeds they know violence. that. Mm-hmm. So they know, they what's know gonna exactly happen. what's going to happen. Do you they understand? They, they knew it. And then they shut down youth clubs. Exactly. And they give more peace to the feds. Do you know what I'm saying? Which is more more um, powers that these men have got. That's why even down our sides, when man started policing the police in the ends, we shut down stop and search. Mm. There's no stop and search around there no more. Because mm. everyone's asking them, what are your reasonable grounds? Because everyone says what they won't do until they're placed in a, in a situation of survival. Yeah. Like you just said, when you was about 12, 13, do you understand? Yeah. When you needed some food in your belly, yeah, yeah. There, there's nowhere to sleep. Yeah. You know Everyone's you- walking, looking down on you. Do you understand? So how are you even going to have like certain remorse? You know what I mean? Yeah, and yeah, things like that if you're young and you haven't even been given those type of tools yet. Yeah, do you understand yeah, what yeah. I mean? You're just in survival mode, yeah, really. Yeah. Like do I you said, get me? I was looking up to the man on channel you and the man on the block that was outside. That could defend their thing. Do you know what I'm saying? And See what it is though. See with the stop and search, yeah? yeah. It's like a um it's a catch twenty two. Like mm. I kinda get what your uncle's saying still. You get what I'm saying, car. Do you know what it is? If they don't stop and search them, how are they gonna find anything? And more time nine that nine times out of ten. Do they stop and search that? Like, when they used to stop and search me, you better stop and search. Not like mm. that, but I'm I can't say I didn't deserve to get stop and search because that day you might yeah. not have found nothing. But on another day, I've got something though. Yeah. But I don't think so it's so. Um, but the it's people, you know, hold on, mm. hold on, hold on, say the people that they're stopping and searching, yeah, they might just be dickheads here. Yeah? Don't get it twisted with like, because I see something and they use it, oh, just had my hood on and all that. But fam, you had your hood on, but you know, that's how the rude boys look. Because you see them on TV and whatever. So if you're going around, but, but, but then, if you're going around dressed like how, ah, but then that's a clothing, but then, but, but, but people, so what are you going to say then? But you mustn't wear clothes with hoods. No, it's not. You because what that's going to start it's doing is, not, no, but it is because that's clothes. It is. wear clothes with hoods. Okay. But if you're, no, do you know what? Nah, do you know what? I disagree because what that causes is that's generalizing and then everyone starts stereotyping. There's youths that wear hoods that ain't in of that. And now what it is, is every time you see a black you with certain features and whatever in, in, automatically you there's feel some like type of way do you understand what well. I mean there's youths like that with some big but not I mean, all of them just let that one go to you Kai he might not like he's got he's yeah, got to search bro, him innit my, my, search him my, nah, my, he might have a ZK my, they're all they've all got their knives innit look what we're saying like, nah, but listen, they listen, ain't listen, all listen, listen to what man's what? saying innit yeah I just know what you know how to move innit Paul Showman Paul Showman the son of shotgun you get me, but Paul's not gonna get stopped and searched. Exactly. Of of his skin. Mm. Yeah. So what? I'm My trying, white bridges get stopped and searched. No, nah, nah, but what I'm saying because is they, not, they, not because of the color of their hood. skin. Yeah. Because they're from the hood. Ah, right. You get what, I'm what I'm saying is Paul dresses. Danny, big up Danny when Simpson. See, brother, one of the wickedest Paul, white boys I grew up with. Paul don't big wear hoodies. Big up hoodies. Danny. You get me? Rude mm. boy Simpson. <laughs> Listen. You get what I'm saying? Rude boy white boy. Hey, still early prison. Fifteen. 
Yeah. Big up Danny. Yeah, you get yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? Mm. Getting stopped and searched with with us. Yeah, yeah. Because he's known for crime. Yeah, yeah. Getting well, stopped and searched with, like you just said, with us. But on a normal, if he must have been walking like with all of his white friends, he might not, not get, get stopped not and searched. Search. Spray, let's, let's not have that conversation because for it us depends. it's different. It it's different when you're the colour of us and that's just that all on right, that. Listen, listen, Do you understand? What I'm saying, yeah, about the stop and search <laughs> thing, yeah? The stop and search, you're right, you get me? Mm. Because when you're talking about the youth with the ZK, I'm saying that the fact that you was able to get here, you was able to be preserved. You get me? Mm-hmm. I'm saying we've got to preserve all the rest of the man them till they wake up as well. Mm-hmm. Do you get me? Mm-hmm. Like, man's not saying to send the feds to arrest man for the weapon. The reason why, <laughs> because I'm from the block. I mm. know that there's many times when if I didn't have something on me, I would be dead already. Mm. So our youths are in a life or death situation when they're carrying more time. Mm. And the youths that are going on the drills, they're not stopping for stop and search, bro. Because any time spray, you got a bird call that my man's there and you went from here to there, there was no stop and search. Mm. So anytime man's actually active, there's no stop and search. So the only use that are getting stopped when they stop and search is the man them with the weed, yeah? So that uh, all of the man them going to pick up the draw, they're getting arrested. Then the man them that are harming no one but might be providing the draws, they're getting arrested. Then the man them that are carrying, they wasn't going to do no violence because 90% of the man them mm. that are carrying yes. aren't doing no they violence. Doing They've just got it just yeah. in case... Just, just to go to prison. Ca- no, not to go to prison. Just to go to prison. No, Spray. Let's be real. All the way to the Let, let's be, prison. Let's be real, That's Spray. Let's be real. Spray. Let's be real about the rest. I know gun bags like that. You got your machine all the way no, to prison. No, but Spray, Spray. Are you I'm listening? never going to burst this, but I'm going to take this. No, all but are you listening? Are you listening? If you're going to certain places, yeah, like even me, my younger got stabbed the other day, yeah? And when I got the bird call that he got stabbed, the first thing I thought was to grab a knife <laughs> and go there. Because I'm going to a place where you just got stabbed, bro. <laughs> That's the first thing I thought. And then I had to realise, you're a rascal, you can't do that. Mm, you get me? Yeah. And then I had to say, well, I, I like to play baseball and get my baseball, my yeah, baseball. And, yeah, and, and, and get me and go to play baseball, but mm. see what was happening at the same time. But the mm. big ZK, you need golf club or you baseball back long. to you be able to... Long. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You need something it's long. Yeah, it's real. But what I'm saying yeah. is the average you that's going through that situation at 13, 14, I don't want to see them get backed. I want them to get from A to B and I want us as a community to be able to reach them. And obviously, they if something happens before from... that, <laughs> no, if something happens before that, you get me? You know what I'm saying? Because if that's the case, then we have to go yeah. jail for every time we carried. We have yeah. to go jail for nah, every... You just get, just every, know what you need. No, we have nah, to go know jail now. If know we're what calling for the man to go jail, know we have to go do our birds. Tomorrow. All the man them calling for the youth mm. them. We have hmm. to go do our best because hmm. we've all got under <laughs> sentences out here. Hmm. And that's just carrying. Yeah, like, let's, let, not even, I'm not even talking about tomorrow. actually Remind using. It tomorrow. tomorrow, blood. Yeah. So I'm saying, Listen, let's, be let's be fair. Let's be fair. Can't even take a stop and search. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Yeah, but yeah. But let's be fair and just try and preserve the use until they can. I'm just being devil's advocate. No, no, it's, no like, it's good. It's good. Do you, you know what I'm saying? It. Just for us to be able to talk, you know, can't just mm-hmm. one side. Yeah, of course. They're looking at me like, no, I'm not. I like it. I like it. I like no. the black thing. Anytime yeah, yeah. she has anything to do with black, like, what? Are you on these white people? No, because it's too much. She's looking at me like, you're on the white people's side. Like, no, not just oh, like, but no, I understand. I, I listen. I, I know. I listen. So I've got mix. I've got, got, got mixture in me as well. Obviously, but what we're saying, what we're saying is, if I, I get it. Like if you, if it's like after certain, uh, you know what? If there's cause for she reason, no but you just seeing black boys, just I didn't say that. But you Who just seeing boys just walking down or going about their business and who you're just stopping search? them for no reason. That happens. I've seen no, it happen. Saying, who should they search? Should they allow the black boys in the hoods? No, but what I'm saying is... I didn't say they should allow all of them. I said there should be... They should be... It should be of a reason for why... They should They should have enough reason to do it. You just seen someone walking down the road. You shouldn't You shouldn't be able to just stop them just like that. They should have reasonable ground. Exactly. 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 Is that you're in a certain wet outfit. You look a certain thing. But that's... And what And what is that? What is that called? That's pro thank you. Profiling. That's profiling. Profiling. That's profiling. That's profiling. That's profiling. That's profiling. Do you understand? Ray, Ray that happened to my son. Yeah. Do you get me? Yeah. He was go, doing night work. Yeah. And um, he was looking for, Nathan looking for, looking for where he, Nathan but Dusty. he was looking for, for the work, pl- he what? Don't do that. Don't play them games with my son. <laughs> but he was looking for the job, for the workplace, because he was just starting there. Yeah. And then um, the police pulled up on him. But my son, six foot four, 
do you get me? Like, yeah. you know, the way he looks, he's going to have on his, it was dark, so he's going to, he's got on his, you know, maybe his trap star jacket or whatever, whatever. Do you understand? So they've pulled him over and they've asked him where he's going. My son is quite well spoken anyway. Do you get what I'm saying? So I feel like when he started telling them, they obviously, they didn't go, they didn't deal with him badly. They told him, to, they told him where the place was and they said that they'll drop him and he went in the car. And um, when he told me afterwards, I told him, like, don't ever go in the car. <laughs> yeah, Are you yeah, mad? mad yeah. But he's not, he wasn't been put in that yeah, position yeah. before. So he's just thinking, you know, they're bringing him to the thing. But yeah, yeah. they could have placed him yeah, at a certain look, place, look, 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 look. told him that he was he whatever, was whatever. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. And they brought no, him to the... Because they could see that he couldn't... What, he, they saw that he couldn't yeah, see what he... Do, and, you, and, and even that. Yeah, and you do you understand what I'm saying? And I had to let him know, like, are you all right? Even if they pull you over, you call me. Like, don't let them... Do you understand? what I mean like yeah. just keep it moving like do you wire. get me so yeah I was like no bubbles gets in the back of the car and the wire they drop him off because like. my thing is because like, you just don't know what talk. they would do you do you understand what I'm saying on the road with ZKs when your government bombed Afghanistan and killed a million people allow it do with your own thing because when we're talking about murders globally yeah and mm. we're talking about hmm. real murders blood we're talking hmm. about wait the youths on the roads have got nothing on these men and these people exactly. in the society yeah, that are saying that they, they're against violence and they're judging the youths, they're happy to vote for these politicians, blood. Tony Blair killed a million people in we Afghanistan. Got Tony Blair. You get me? A million people in Afghanistan. <laughs> we got Tony Blair. Blair. Murderer. <laughs> this is <laughs> Tony Blair. Murderer. Okay, we bro. got Tony Blair. <laughs> this guy got What's <laughs> going on? Them, no, no, no. Still. Zero time. What's going on? Still. Mm. Still. Mm. Can, can you hear me? I speak it so clearly. So these wo- That's my guy. You get now? Yeah. I'm joking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Bush, and Bush, and Bush, you get mm. me? Blair and Bush, you get nah, me? Now, Blair's, Blair's a warlord, man. You get me? You get yeah, me? but they're all our blood. That's He's what I'm saying. This government, blood, like, they're warlords. Still. They've been warlords. They done wrapped up, man. But like, everybody knows it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. You get me? These men are the big robbers, the big murderers, the big enslavers, the big pillagers. And they ain't never returned nothing or said sorry for mm. nothing. So right. You can't mm. tell me about no drillers, because at least mm. the drillers are being real, blood. At least they're being real about their lifestyle. I don't like it. I want every man to win from a situation where the feds can't touch their peas yeah but they don't have to worry about their life and they can take their little daughter and their little son to school that's what i want from all of them and them get that straight but at the same time i'm never going to look at anyone that comes from where we come from mm. as a criminal because i know blood how, how we came how up we there? came up with mm. a real poverty real hardship you get me and i'm and, and with a lack of self-belief man didn't think i could be a doctor ever i didn't think i could get gcse's blood mm. i was gonna shop for the rest of my life blood mm. i was gonna i was gonna die out here on these mm. roads you get me? That's what I believed. That's what everyone around me believed. Do you know what I'm saying? And I was able to go to Jamaica, see a light, come back. They killed Duggan. I started on the road of that, like the revolution and everything. My thing was fa- mainly like going against the feds. And then as mm. I started to get more knowledge, I realised the only way that I can actually fight the feds is to actually go back into my own community. How did you feel? And stop R-R-P them from killing each other. Though, the, yeah? mm. How did you feel about that, fam? Yeah, Because it's like, obviously... Started with like we all know what it started over. It was marking it. That's what we write it for in Tottenham, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We write it for our no you know. just write it. That's that yeah. was the main thing, yeah. But then it ended up into looting. But obviously, that's just what's happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Car, that's just, as soon as man realized, all oh, done. Yeah. We've got the team locked. Yeah. <laughs> but then everywhere else started doing it. And do you remember how they started? They flipped it all into the looting thing, and yeah, they're sitting yeah. and they took it all away from. The main event, mm-hmm. yeah, so yeah. to speak. How did you? Because I didn't. I, I thought so. Fucking what? Not like that, but couple buildings. This man's brethren, in it. Yeah. So I don't give a shit what got burned down. Yeah. I don't give a shit what man store where it's, where it's not. No one, no rich person went looting. Yeah. No one that didn't need to do that done it. Yeah. There was teachers getting nicked in that. Yeah, yeah. And fucking, do you know what I mean? But life's hard, but in this country, blood, the cost of living is real. Yeah, oh, right mate. now it's a mad thing. Oh, yeah, mate. and it's never been nice. Right so now it's nuts. Man, them was robbing rice for their mum, like big bags of rice. The videos are there. You get mm. me? Certain man went jail for robbing rice. Mad. You get me? So we know that poverty is real where we come from because no one's picking up rice unless they're really hungry. You get me? Mm. Mm. So, like for me, when I saw them going to the looting thing, I have to remind everyone that the first two days, like Tottenham didn't loot nothing. They was just you understand? Raleigh mm. Street. You get me? And even I saw the spread because I was in Hackney, I was in Brixton 
when these things started to spread. You get me? I didn't mm. you get me. Manchester, Birmingham, it spread out all the way. But the, way phantom, the way I see it is RIP Chris Carver, RIP Mark Duggan. The way I see it is R. R. when the police man. shoot one of the man them, the way they see it, the, the way that Fed sees it is that's Young Spray, that's Russ, that's Easy, that's you get mm-hmm. me, that's our son. That's they don't, mm. they don't, they can't differentiate. It's, mm. just, like, it's just one of them, innit? One of them black youths. So that's why I feel like everyone, in no matter what the feds do, when they do something to demand them, we have to collect it. What do you think about that it. situation, man? They yeah. checked it, man. Yeah, obviously, uh, man's supporting Jefferson and the family, and they're, they're, they're trying to get to the to the bottom of it. From the sounds of what's in the footage, the police are completely in the wrong, mm-hmm. whatever story they're putting I would have thought they'd be in the wrong, regardless of yeah, what's regardless, in the footage. Yeah, regardless, because he didn't have no strap. Yeah. What's in the footage? Yeah, yeah, yeah facts. Because facts. you're trained. Yeah, yeah. You're facts, trained, facts, so facts. that shouldn't happen. He, he could get out and start dusting furthermore. Yeah. Mm. That shouldn't happen. You, you should first be trained to taser him. Yeah, yeah, facts. You should be so good at shooting that you're shooting his leg. Mm, mm, like mm. there's videos with man with knives say, like running at feds. What, what and are they, you doing? Like there's videos with man with knives running at feds and they take them down peacefully. Like Do you understand? Mm. In England, like Do you understand? man with so. bats running at feds trying Come to on, attack man. feds. So they can't tell my nothing. Exactly. How do you get to be an armed police officer? It's crazy. You got to be in the target. Mm. You got to be in licking out targets. Like, Holy yeah, patrol, um, yeah. Me, and my brother, easy, easy herbs. You get me, Fred. We done close body protection for the family. Cause what, what a lot of people don't know is when the thing when they started the campaign, mm. Fred started to try to intimidate them. Like, so mm. they've done it to me before. They follow you mm. with cards and yeah. mm. start doing weird stuff just mm. to get into your head. You get me. So they started doing that. So there was a point when I was going to drop everything that I've got going on mm. and go and stay with them for a week mm. just to secure the thing. You get me? But like we managed to just do close body protection for the protest on that day mm-hmm. you get me? and just make sure the family are, you know what I'm saying? They solidified, make sure they all got home safe. Do you know what I'm saying? And we're supporting however we can. And for me to be coming from a youth that, like that my teachers genuinely said man was going to amount to nothing and now man's providing security for people in the community that need it. Mm. Blood, for me, I've made it in my head. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, obviously... I thought he was going to go off in weeks and still. I thought he was going to go off. Uh, you know what, yeah? I feel like it could have gone off if, if we push for it to go off, but I don't think that's going to benefit mm. the man them. You get me? I feel like we can riot and they're just going to make it all about the riot. So I feel like we just want to make it about justice mm. and we want to use the energy to build up knowledge of how to deal with police mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying like police to police global where we document police so when they stop us we take their face badge name number like what they do to us the same way they profile us we profile them and we've got our own database mm-hmm. so if PC Hog stopped you down the road Good. and he stopped the you up the road we've got a database of the things that he's doing I was in just about to say if mm-hmm. a man's licked over That's a, lit. man, a man's licked over a man you don't even know who it's like with a man exactly. done that but you don't know who they don't That's get it. pushed into the forefront yes. like this, when we do a crime, we're in the paper. And they, and they, um, you, they even you put get, your address. You get the photo and they, and they, yeah, yeah. don't even get a nice. And photo. they even put your address. Yeah. They yeah, say so and so of from so and so, so and so. Do you understand? This. But let them do something. There's nothing you can't like officer B or whatever. Like you just don't know who's done it. You get what I'm trying to say. So you're just able, and they know this in their head. Like raw, you're actually giving these people a license to kill. <laughs> Do you understand? And they're little dickheads as well, because remember, they're all younger than back now as well, so there's a whole different type of where their mind state is at. These yeah. arm feds were playing <laughs> Call of Duty and that. These arm feds was, do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. They've grown <laughs> desensitized yeah, yeah, for a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They want to shoot people. Yeah. Like, don't get it twisted. Like, there's a couple mad, sick, sick head Fuck gone on. The in the thing. And sex. in their head, I'm going to murder Sarah something. Sarah Everard, by the And get away with that it. And Make something like move stupid today. That's how they're stepping up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make something like move stupid today. I'm going to clark this. Look at like, Sarah Everard. The girl that the, the officer oh. kidnapped her and, and, and killed her. The officer mm. went yeah. mad. You know what I'm saying? So these men are... These but men he's are, out, though. His face is out. He's mental. Do you get what I'm saying? They've disowned him. They put him out, but that's what I'm saying. It depending on if they're with you, depending on if they're with you, that's where where they shield you or not. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Like, look, as soon as my man, right, you got you, you done that. You raped him, and she's white. Your name face everywhere. You get what you deserve. Because white but lives matter. Let's white get, lives matter. White lives matter. We're yeah. gonna get into that. Kanye, we got Kanye. Yeah. Kanye. Yeah. Boom. Man said Kunye. Oh my god. <laughs> We're gonna be on separate sides to this. Yeah, we got yeah, Kanye, yeah, my yeah, gangster. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, boom. 
Shout out, 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 shout she wants to change. She wanted to change the name from Current Affairs. You see, I always. Oh my God, you, you are chatty. Oh she my days. The, the Current Affairs that we've had from season <laughs> one. Current Affairs. My brother even laughs about it. Like Current Affairs. Like he laughs about it. Big up Taylor. She wants to change the Creams Currents. <laughs> I can't. But, so it what was I, a, no. What happened when I had? Can I hold on a minute? I talk about? It was a suggestion, Creams actually. Current, like, it was a suggestion. It's the whole pearly thing. You know, like she's no, gone over no, there. no, no. What about converse she's with cream? Here we go. That's, That's in my currents as well, actually. Can we do? Can we? We're going to talk about that in there. I'm saying, but yeah. I'm glad you said trying. Because I don't take bad up, but anyways, kind of be, kind of bad you know, nah, he just yeah, was saying what he's he saying. Called a boxing. I said, oh, anyway. I didn't know. No, I you saw a start. click. I don't want you saw a clickbait. Hold on a minute. He can say. Do you get what I'm saying? He seems like a guy that might say yeah. something. I don't know what he would say because I didn't feel. I didn't feel. I didn't. I didn't feel any type. Would choke a chain off him. Yeah, and well, anyways, like I said, I don't have time to be going back and forth with people with their hollow chaps. Do you understand what I'm saying? So what it was basically <laughs> is... No, I, I don't have to. No, My man watched it. My man watched it and said that he loved the... Reds would have, but like I said, I have man I have man to deal with man. I'm a female. I'm a bad gal. Do you understand? I say no gal, but I don't have time to be going back and forth with men. Do you understand what I'm saying? He didn't call me out of my name. He had his opinion and I had mine. They did. Hold on a minute. Now, he does definitely don't know me, but they did clickbait. They did a click where it shows that I didn't have a response. And if you watch the whole thing, watch the full clip, you'll see that Cream answered him. Do you understand? You know when they clip it, clip it, clip it and make it look stupid? Do you get what I'm saying? They do that. But I, I know what that's what they're going to do. I'm good. I'm good. But we'll discuss that in currents. The guy I'm mad, you get me? Mad man. But yeah, boom. Chris Carver, R.I.P. R.I.P. Chris Carver every time, man. But yeah, man, there's just no explanation that you don't even need to wait for one. Because we did. That's why I'm saying they shagged it. Not to say that the police as a whole, yeah, I don't think that as a whole, like, that was a, like, intended thing from the whole police. Do you get what I'm trying to say? I think it's a one man. That's what I'm trying to say to you. There's dickheads getting into positions that they're not supposed to be in. Yeah. yeah. Do you get what I'm trying to say? But got bullied that, in school. They done that you, for the KKK, man. You get what well, I'm if saying? that's gas. You, him, in his head, I said, when I come out today, anything moving... But the thing is, see the KKK but then they're America, basically showing they one the murder. Robes, but then they're murder. Mm. See the KKK in America, mm. they took off the white robes and they put on judges' robes. Mm. They took off the white robes, they put on doctors' robes and started killing black women on, in, in the hospital. Neat, That's yeah, why neatly. Yeah, they, start, they took off the black robes and put on police uniforms. And it, in this country, it's a similar thing. When man are racist, man ain't going to be over, you call him man nigger on road because too many men have been knocked out for that by now. You get me? Like, you can't get away with that mm. one anymore. She's going to so do it neatly. The man, them join the police force. They join even schools. A lot of racist people, I genuinely believe from my experience and other black youths out there can say their experience, I genuinely believe that a lot of, especially white women and white men, you get me, join to be teachers just to make it hard for the man, them. Mm. You get me? And because I feel like certain teachers, it's like they just wanted to see man get kicked out. Mm. It's like that's what, we're, and I only clocked later. They pl- they played me because you see when mm. I got suspension, I was gassed. I'm on the roads. I'm bucking the band them. Mm. What you can get a draw, but yeah, I'm gassed, thinking yeah, I won today. They kicked man out. You get me? But you see, years later, I clocked. Nah, they played man out of my position. When I'm mentoring youths now, and they're telling me what they're going through with the teachers and certain things teachers are doing, I'm telling the youths, don't let them. I beg mm-hmm. you get the qualifications, blood, because my brethren, I didn't. I only got my first qualification the other day. You get me. My whole life, man. Mm. Even when I jumped off road, I was still had to provide. <laughs> you get me. And mm-hmm. when you can't, when you don't have no skills in the society, you have to eat. You get me. And you have to provide for your family. So it's only. So, but my brethren, yeah, I got brethren who had the hard food line. Rare, rare, rare. Everyone was doing the thing together. But you see, when the obo got mad, yeah, and they put the circle vans outside man's yard. So you know they're trying to record and. Rare, 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 man, I have to just lock off the line because it's all mad. You get mm. me? See, when they got to that time, my brethren who had the electrician uh, qualification, he went and done his electrician thing back in the day, but he never used it. He went, just tried the thing. Blood, the boy, he's Marjorie a car. 
You get me? He's got his yard. He's living nice. And he's saying, blood, I'm not going back to the roads. Are you mad? Mm. Man's making basically the same piece man I'm making trapping. At the same time, man don't have to look over my shoulder. You get me? At the same time, man's, man's nice. You get me? So I'm telling all of my youngers that I'm mentoring now, I beg you, get a qualification. Whether it's the plumbing, whether it's electrician, make sure you get a trade. Mm. But if I could go back, blood, I'd have a couple trades in my couple back pocket. Trades, my brother, yeah, easy, blood. Trade is He's got so a trade. Good. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And this is what we got to be sharing. I don't care how I'm, how much you're trapping and all of that, make sure you set yourself up because man doesn't know how long this thing can last mm. and you don't know where, when and where you're going to mature. Yeah, you yeah, get yeah. me? So give yourself that space. You get me? Because mm. when you're 15, there, there, there's times when you're on the road where you actually genuinely believe that this is what you're going to be doing for the rest of your life. Mm. So your average 15-year-old, 16-year-old out there, he doesn't even, he's not even seeing beyond... What he's doing now. Beyond being the kingpin. You mm. get me? But as he gets older, especially when he holds his youth for the first time, Man never getting back the round, man. Encro charges. And when all of them things start happening around, man, and man say, yo, I might have to pattern something else. Man's got nothing patterned. Do you get me? So my thing is just... Solomon will up. tell you, you can go to university as a mature student. <laughs> Do you get what I'm saying? And sign up for any course you want. Mm -hmm. Go on. You, you get me? We got Solomon. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? As a mature yeah. student, yeah. Yeah. You get your qualifications. Yeah. Yeah. It's never too late. Mm -hmm. Trust me. I want to get my video editing thing still. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I want to go hard with the video editing thing. I want to do, I want to do like a little business course, yeah. But I want to do a business course. I can't be bothered with, oh, young spray, young spray, and all that shit. You get me, Just man, in it, your blood. class, like, young spray, do it, blood, do it. Young don't spray. worry about that, like, do it. Trust me, mm. you'll thank yourself later. You get me. I got my security thing, no one don't know. I got my security qualification, that was my first mm. qualification. Got my stewarding thing. You know, I work in a gym, so I'm going to get my PT qualification. I'm going to get, that me, in a bit. Gonna get my counsellor one and all of that so I can qualify to do the mentoring That's thing. That's good. Mm. Get me, but blood, four years ago, I would have told you I'm not getting no qualifications. I'm not doing no nine to five. Even five, six years ago, even when mm. I was first on the guide in the new generation thing, I was trying to, yeah, car, to fund the revolution. Man was jogging and selling Hustlers Holy Books. Mm. Yeah. Mm. That's what man was doing to even be able to do what man does. So it's been out for a bit? Or okay. Yeah, we're gonna yeah. Get into that yeah, anyway. yeah. It's a mad book, but yeah. Yeah, we're well. going to get into that still. Mm. It's mm. all about growth, though. Do you know what I mean? So, go on. yeah, no, go on. So, how's your journey been like as an activist? Like, what's your mm. got any outstanding moments that you can think of, or moments where you felt like, yeah, I'm achieving something? Or uh, me and Easy we went to um, Birmingham for a sister that was getting bullied. You get me, and I remember being in the kitchen. And one of the reasons why I rolled out was on my birthday. You get me, mm. six on my birthday. I spoke to the mum the day before my birthday, and she was crying on the phone. And then she sent me the video, and I was like, ah. So I went there on my birthday, you get me, all the way to Wolverhampton. Mm. My brother Easy drove us all the way to Wolverhampton. Car, he's seen the video and said, no, nah, no, nah, we're not having that. You know what I'm saying? So boom, we got there now. And one of the reasons why we rolled out is because the young sister, um, she's got eyesight problems. So her mum said by the time she's 18, she, she might be blind. Mm. The are saying. So she just wants her to have the best childhood as possible. Mm. And she's going to a local park and getting beaten up by a bag mm. of white girls. Mm. get me on camera and no one's doing nothing the mum's got no support so that's why we rolled out you get me and said nah we're not even having it mm -hmm. get me spoke uh, went the parents got shook you get me feds got shook when they heard it was coming down there it was all mad you get me um but yeah when we was in the kitchen now um easy was talking to the mum about the eyesight you get me mm. and i remember hearing the conversation and he was because he my brother easy he's got this health thing so if you go into his youtube he breaks down a lot of health Stuff you get me health well, alkaline well. and all that. Yeah, all of that. Yeah, that's all like my that. bridge. You see, yeah, I knew different doctor on Sebi different bikes. thing. I learned. Yeah, like we got links. You so get he's me. He's there telling her something that she can take to help her eyesight. You get me. And I remember hearing the conversation, and obviously I believe in my brother, but the way her mom explained like to me that the opticians have said that she may be blind by the time she's eighteen. Yeah, I'm not really thinking that there's anything that we're gonna know outside of the opticians mm. that's gonna be able to help something like that. You get me? I remember hearing the conversation. I was, you get me? Then these times now, a couple months later, Easy sent man a message. You get me? Gone on my phone. You get me? I think this is one of the best messages I've ever received. Because Her mum's messaging one. back saying, she, whatever Easy told her to take, hmm. yeah, at first she didn't want to take it, but she started taking it. They went to the opticians 
and the optician was baffled. No Because mm. every time she goes to the optician, she gets a thicker lens. Mm. She get me? Because the eyesight gets worse. Mm-hmm. But for the first time, they're baffled, thinking, what's going on? It's not Easy. getting we worse. Them, man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we did it, man. See, we do it. Come on. Yeah. 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 What? Really? Gucci, Gucci, Gucci Berry. Berry. Yeah. Really? Yeah. So... Yeah, the, the really? science and the biology goes. If you've got a video on his channel, Easy Herbs, breaking it down on YouTube, you get me? What's that? What is it? Easy Herbs. Okay. Yeah. So, like E-A-Z-I, Herbs, you get me? Mm. But these times now, so, like, that's just one, like, and then, like, the other day, I've done a bullying case in Brixton, you get me, where a, 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 a girl was getting beaten up by a boy on camera, you get me? Mm. Too young to year seven girl, you get me? Really? I've gone down to the school and I've G checked the youths, then you get me? <laughs> in front of her, you get me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've gone down to the school, I said, This is my little sister. Uh, yeah, you man for look after her. Mm. You get me? I want to hear nothing again, yeah? Right, mm. we've, got, we've got an agreement. Afterwards, she's grinning ear to ear. Bing! Yeah? If you know, if you see the smile on her face, it's on my page still, you get me? She's smiling, you get me? And then the next day, a youth that wasn't there when I pulled up, try to do something, can she hit her head? Oh. I got to go back there again. Because I was half just term. about to say, someone's yeah. gonna, yeah. someone's mm. gonna nah, go nah, around nah, the first, the big. Nah, 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 no one's going around nothing. Oh no one's, no one's violating none of our daughters. You have to go back. Sisters. You have to go back though, innit? No, nah, but that's it. a youth that wasn't there. Yeah, so but I'm saying you have to go back and catch that one. I got to go one, back and catch the next one. You get me? But I'm saying right across the border, blood. There's none of our little sisters or daughters that should be taking any form of abuse or violence. Or violence, exactly. Straight. Man's hearing. And, and I don't rate them. Bear elders talking about 15 years ago, 20 years ago, this man done this and we knew he was doing it and we didn't do nothing. But we're not having that in our generation, blood. Mm. We're not mm. having our daughters grow up in a society where men are just trying to take from them and beat mm. on them and think it's normal and think that's a bad man thing. We didn't rate that when we was growing up. Like mm. around me, blood, if you do any of them things, I'm going to get smoky so fast. Even my bridging. Mm. I, don't, I, don't, I don't like them things there. You get mm-hmm. me? Like, so we're changing, the, we're changing the, the legacy narrative. for the future of our, because it's easier to repair, to build strong children than to repair broken men. So I'm not dealing with these 20, 30 year olds and their beef. That's your thing. Mm, if you can mm, wise mm. up yes, and yes, pattern, yes. I love that for you. Mm. But I can't use energy because you you're- You should have learned Yeah, already. but you see these 15 year olds and downwards, yeah? If mm. we actually in, collectively in, intervene, intervene blood, yeah. yeah? We can create massive change, blood, because anytime I go to any of these 15, 14 year olds, blood, they, there's a natural respect they have for man blood. Some of the worst drillers, one of the youths, one of the real driller, you get me, his mm. mum was going to put him into care. Yeah, because he she just was. got arrested for an M. You get mm. me? Even though he didn't do it, he was just there with the man then. But care. It, you get me? But it's complicated. His cousin mm. just got killed. He's real, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Care. So he, his mum was going to put him into care because she didn't know what to do. So mm. she took him to me, you get me, to my yard. You get me? And he stayed with man, taking him to the station and that. See, when he was with me, blood, mm. angel. Yeah? Nothing wrong with what's we watched the different stuff together. I showed him about back in the day, all the artists, Kemsey's history, and then the big, you get me, the interview. Mm. Like, I'm showing him the history, but I'm showing him all the bad man, but I'm showing him where man ended up as well. This one ended up dead. This one doing 20 years. This one, so I'm giving him the knowledge mm. so he can make better choices. He's more informed, you know what I'm saying? So, for me, but none of these youths ain't bad. They're not bad youths. They're good youths in bad environments. Of course. Yeah, and if we change the environment for these 40, 15, 14, 13 year old youths and empower them with knowledge, because once you learn, you can't unlearn, they're going to be a whole different generation. Mm. They're not going to want to die on the roads. We're better than that. Definitely. I love myself too much to even want to throw away my life. Blood, a man got shift the other day, blood sitting in the cell. I said, yeah, it's okay. definitely not for me still. Gonna, <laughs> yeah, it's not for me, bro. I'm going to talk about that as well, you know. It's not mm. for me. Tell, a man telling a man squat and looking in my butt crack. It's not for me, bro. Do you know what you got to do? You got to try and fuck. <laughs> you got to try and fuck. You get me? Like, yeah, it's not for me. Yeah. Man. And a lot Why of for young, that still? A lot of my youngers, I can't lie, the way they're reckless, I'm saying that. That's like, my thing, you get I'm me? When they start telling man to squat, like, I can I'm try telling, and push like, it But I'm up. telling a lot of the youngers, like, the way these <laughs> men are moving I reckless. I ain't at the whole cell, you get me? It's bonging. Blood, the way these youngers are moving reckless, I'm asking them, blood, if you're <laughs> homosexual, just say that. If you like men and you want to be locked up with men for the Why rest of your life, for <laughs> just say that. Because the LGBT thing is Don't say that. No, I'm don't saying say if that. that's what you're on. Don't just. But say if you're that. trying, but if you're going out of your way, don't just. You say know that. there's hundred cameras on the road. You're going bait face to go with a big shank and run a man down. You want to do twenty years, blood? 
You don't want to be outside, blood. You want to live with man for the rest of your life, blood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On top of that, on top of that, it's not even just you because how many of our dons free up that free up all of the G's them, yeah, that are doing joint enterprise because they was rolling with some youth and he decided to do a mad thing and now back a man are in jail, blood. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because this youth wanted to take it too far. So these youths <laughs> doing this thing, but they must, they, these youths must love man. Mm. They don't want wife and kids <laughs> and to do school run. And nah, they're not they they thinking about that. You can't be too Yeah, they're thinking about man too yeah, much. And man need to, mad. No, because they want man to read them. They want man in the comment section yeah, that's yeah, never done it. But they want man in the comment <laughs> section that's never been on the ends, never gone through nothing we've gone through to rate them, blood. Mm. They care more about these men than they care about how their mum, their mum seeing them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get me? Mm. Or, or, or their aunties or their nephews or someone in their life is inspired by them and they're willing to give that up, yeah, for... For a thing, and there's two types of man on the road. There's the man out here because of pain, and there's man out here for fame. I'm talking the man them out here for, for pain. Man's with them all day because mm. I understand. Man's brethren died. If mm -hmm. I see someone that killed my brethren, I don't know what I'd do. I'm not going to incriminate myself, but I don't know what I'd do personally. Because I love my brethren. I love my family. Mm -hmm. Come around my sisters. Bang! My sisters. <laughs> <laughs> Straight. No, because it's yeah. different. You get yeah. me? Yeah. That's my sisters, yeah. but... Man's trying to live peaceful, though. <laughs> yeah. I want peace and love and serenity. I don't even want to get there. Mm. But I'm letting man buy him straight. Yeah, that's, yeah? A, that's yeah? the level. Yeah? That's but, the line. But the man them out here for fame, which is a big thing right now, man yeah. them doing it clout, for internet clout, clout, and clout. clout chasing. And these six, nine niggas that are going to say, I'm a gangster, <laughs> rare. I kill niggas. And then you get your bird and you want to snitch on the whole crew. Fast, yo. You forget, mm. but, but no one in America gangster till that you gets headshotted, you know? Mm. Yeah, I'm not respecting no one's gangster. Until 6 ix dealt with. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. He's taking a fool out of all of the man them, blood. Mm. You know what I'm saying? How are you going to come out here, mock the man them, say that you're about this thing, then you get your thing, and then now, man, I'm walking around, but Nipsey's gone. Nipsey's gone, Pop Smoke's gone. Like, bare, real, stand-up kind of guys, for me mm. personally, you get me, that I felt like were more stand-up, definitely more stand-up than 6 ix 9 yeah, yeah, are yeah. gone, but yet you still got my man walking around. Are you mad, fam? Mm. But Nipsey, he was putting the man them onto knowledge, game with law in london trying man how to do the man thing with his wife yeah certain examples that we need to see bro you mm. get me he's gone but six nine still here but i can't lie I'm, I'm upset i'm upset bro i'm upset yeah mad so um yeah getting back to um so what are you dealing with now like how can people get in contact with you and that no, I'm, I don't even know, but I'm, you have to catch man outside, really. I don't really deal with it. I'm on so the gram, you, you, but I just go there. You've post. got no, so do you not, um, like, bookings and that? No, um, recruit any people. Do, right do now, we're not anyone, really recruiting, like, um, but okay. it's going to open up soon. Because, fam, like, if man's going to bring, like, man's just got to have serious people. I'd rather be with 10 serious people mm -hmm. than 50 people. But they're flimsy, you get me? It's like half of them are flimsy, and that's what I clocked when I first done the thing. Mm. Their man joined man for clout, you get me, for attention, because they thought I was going to do a GoFundMe. Mm. And they realised Raspet wasn't asking the people for a penny. They was gone. Mm. What's this shoot on? Do you know what? I'm not even going to lie. I had a conversation with someone about this the other day, my brethren, because he was saying about... Remember, you and Farron used to do... Yeah, yeah. Um, you and Farron used to do them walks or whatever, and he was like, oh. I was like, yeah. He's like, who you got? And I said, Raspet. And he's like, yeah. Um... But how did he make money? Because, like, Farron, like, I see Farron does all the, um, you know, whatever Farron does in it. Like, he's, oh, he's now, yeah, but now he's selling yeah, them thing. Is, yeah. But I'm saying, okay. you see what? Where I know both of them, innit? I'm saying, if I be honest with you, my man don't even give a shit about none of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I be yeah, honest, yeah, yeah, he's more f for the revolution. Oh, yeah. I've invested got, bags. Not to say Farron ain't, but I'm saying Farron's very, you get what I'm saying? He's clued up, innit? With money, like as far as business, money, yeah, or yeah, yeah, yeah. Business, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, do you get what I'm saying? Mm. He's not gonna be doing none of that, and not <laughs> clear. He got fuzz, you get me? Mm. Like, he's not gonna be, you yeah, get what I'm saying? Yeah, I know yeah. he's patterning, yeah, you get yeah, me? yeah, yeah, I yeah. I know he's patterning, I'm yeah. not gonna kill your thing, but he's patterning, do you get yeah. what I'm saying? Where me, bro, I, I can't lie, I don't put down no one's thing, but no one can't chat to my thing because I've invested bags in everything you see, mm. you get me? Like, big racks, you know what I'm saying? into community in general you know what i'm saying like just in general like it's mad you know what i'm saying so for me well time is money yeah but not even just time bro I'm no just but time is money though 50 vests to get all the bags 50 vests and getting them printed that's three bags there just there community collection three bags there mm. you know and you're not saying? selling them like no i'm not selling that's nothing. my whole point you know what i'm saying like you know what i'm saying people contributed you know what i'm saying and people can contribute within the thing but in general and obviously there's couple man like 
um, a car like when we was doing the community collection contributed mm-hmm. um, when we done the when we was ho- um, giving food and clothes out to the homeless. Um, it's like one or two people, you know what I'm saying. But so why don't general, you start a GoFundMe? Her brother, and I'll she, start I one for you. Remember, I told you that time outside the chicken shop where I said I'm not gonna beg nothing again. Mm. I'm not begging no one nothing, but what I'm gonna do is I'm been investing and I'm setting up the the structure until we've got an actual service that we're providing the people, and then everyone can become members at ten pound a month. It's a chump change, mm. so it's not like hundred pound, two hundred pound. After you've seen twenty bags has gone into the thing, mm. you can see the dialogue of the years. You can see all of the stuff that's happened. You can now contribute ten pound. And you can check your email and check what happened that month and decide if you want to maintain being a fan member. But before we even send that to the people, the structure has to be there so people know exactly what they're investing in. Mm-mm-mm. So that's, that's all man's been trying to really set up in the background, the structure, website, membership, um, um, the emails, getting the emails of the people that become members, making sure there's a process of updating those people's emails regularly, whether it's quarterly with what the update is, because I'm not going to take money and then people are looking at their email and they ain't getting an update. And then yeah, when yeah, I'm saying, yeah. oh, respect, we gave money for this, and we don't even know what's my, going my on. integrity is everything, but I'd rather never do a GoFundMe, work 12 hour shifts five days a week, and invest in the thing out of my own pocket. Because, like, say, you know, certain man, they like cars, certain man like chains, certain man like to, certain gal clown like to um, spend money on gal and only fans. You got different man that invest in whatever they want to invest in. Me, I want to mm. invest in, I want to invest in the community, I want to invest in the future of our youths. I want to make sure that I've done something to make sure all of our children feel a little bit more safer and protected so all of our sons can see a different way than the roads and all of our daughters can know that they can't be abused without people speaking out for them. That's what I want. That's my passion. If I could die right now, if God said, yo, Ras, I've got to take your life now, and then all the youths are going to stop beefing, though, and they're all going to start living and winning. But mm. I can go now, blood. I don't like this place anyway. I told, you know God, what I'm I told God, let them be fun. You know I'm <coughs> nah, I, <wanna laughs> I don't think I'll give you up for all these guys, by the way. I'm saying, no, nah, it's the youths. But I'm not talking about the guys, I'm talking about our youths. So our youths mm. can live better 100%. Blood. Mm. I will give my life for that, you know what I'm saying? Because that, like, there's nothing else to live for in this thing for me personally. Bro. Mm. Like, I don't know, like, the world's a mad place where I wouldn't believe it, man. Where, where men that are doing, men that come up from the ground that I know, you get me, like I'm saying, all the channel you dons, yeah. Yeah, I don't see men getting their flowers, but millions of people are following Kim K and her mum made her do a sex tape to get her famous. Mad. Mm. Like, bro, for me, the world's very fake, bro. It's very fake. And the only way to be in that mainstream, mainstream thing, you got to be fake, bruv. And I can't be fake. I've got to be real. You get mm. me really the most. Come on, man. Power <laughs> TM to the world. <laughs> so, yeah, that's it, cuz. Yeah, nah, man, car. I'll big up for your little story still. Come uh, on. That's what I'm saying, blood. There's not a lot of people willing to like what you just said. You'll give up your life to see, do you know what I mean? The you them, like, stop a very. I'm even thinking, man, well, I don't think I would. But that just shows how special you are. Do you get what I'm trying to say? It's my, it's my purpose, isn't it? Do you get what I'm trying to say? So, and to me, that you need people, you need a lot, of, we need more people like you, but it's good to just at least have you. you. It's like Farron, mm-hmm. no matter what, like what he does, he's still, like, he still feels in, in a gap to what yeah, he's needed yeah. in society. 100%. You get what I'm trying to say? You fill in a gap. Like there's, and you can't not rate what you lot are doing. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Even the youths that stopped you on, on the block, I don't know what they're on. No, we're cool honest. now still. I know, but even yeah. initially. Yeah, you yeah. get what I'm trying to say because yeah. even I don't know. You like, know what? You know what? I'll be honest. Yeah, we mm. got to the block. You know, Mac Impact and that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, big yeah, big so on the show. Yeah, so yeah. Mac was there and that. And this time when Drill was popping, you get me. And Mac took the mic and he was like, "Drillers, oh yeah, we're Mac coming goes back. for you." Yeah, Mac goes back. Yeah, oh so he went. So I think that was. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that had something to do with it. Yeah, they're thinking Mac Drillers, you're coming for us. We're here. We're right here. But you know, you're Mac, he's not talking, he will not say, we're coming for you on a bad man thing. Yeah, he's yeah, saying, yo, we're yeah. coming to change this thing. Yeah, like, yeah, you man have to stop the thing. Because yeah. Mac's passion, Mac... Yeah, he's passionate. Yeah, come Mac, on. You're he's passionate as well. You're just being cool today. You get me? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Mac, Mac wears his heart on his sleeve. Mac's mm. a real one still. Mac was one of the people yeah. that invested um, in the beginning of the movement as well. You get mm. me? Substantially. Yeah, Do you know yeah, what I'm saying? He's, yeah, he's, he's, one of the first people that hit me up and said, Rasta's couple racks there. Do you know what I'm saying? And then that's how we managed to get the vests and get certain things off the ground. Mm. Mac Impact's got to big him up still. Big up Mac, man. That's, mm. that's, that's a real one. Yeah, we had him one there early, man, because he needs flowers. That's what I'm trying to say. Mm. That's the, the sort of people we like to have. 
thousands, on. millions of people he's reached, thousands of youths mm. he's supported, thousands, blood. Yeah. So anytime anyone gets on to me about something maxing online, blood, I'm saying, blood, I don't know what he said online, but I know I see him outside, and yeah. I know he's done too much for the youths for me to care about anything he said online. Mm -hmm. like on, on a thing, I think there was a time when people was getting onto interracial relationships and then he started defending them super yeah, yeah. hard. And mm. You get me? But for me, it's like, Man, understand that because I've never watched a man and watched what galley's with. Like, man, don't care mm, about yeah, that. Yeah. Just as long as my peoples is good, you get me? And you're, d you're dealing with my bridging, right? That's what man care about, you get me? Obviously, mm. I don't like when man get with people like King K because I feel like them lot are har harvesting the man, them sperm and mm. doing a mad thing. Because you, you can't get with a girl like that after Ray J done slowed it out to the world, sorry, mm. yeah? And mm. then complain when she's not, she's got your ute on TikTok. Mm. You're lucky your ute's not doing um, pole dancing already. Like, to be honest, you're lucky she ain't got your you on her. <laughs> nah, because it's Kim K, bruv. They do mm. anything for clout. Mm. That family is the is the is the primary clout chasing family, you get me? So mm. I'm saying, and they love uh, what I realized is that I swear I feel like they actually targeted black men. Mm. You get me? Like I feel like there's they they're like, you know, vampires that just are sucking the man them's energy. But you can't go over there, you gotta take accountability, blood, mm. for for the choices you made and the woman that you went to sleep down with, because there's Bagger women, good woman that would have taken good all, good <laughs> woman <laughs> with good all that would have mm. taken in Kanye and with made some him a better man. Tight all, huh? mm. there's some, some good, good girl with some tight huh? all that would have made sure he's used check and, and good now he's complaining. And now he's complaining. Eh? And you went and picked that, and then you won't complain. Now you can't complain, blood. You made your bed now, lying it. You get yeah. me? Next man's talking, next man's got your girl tattooed on your arm. You're a gal clown. Blood, that, that mad, um, <laughs> that, new guy, that new guy that she got with. Now we're going to get onto Kanye later. We're just mm. getting onto him too early, but. Sir, That's what I'm trying not to shit. say, nothing. Oh, man, but that guy that said, I'm in, I'm in bed with your wife. Yeah. Gunshot. <laughs> Gunshot. Yeah, but the man who I'm picking these no. guys. Yeah. One more drink, champ. <laughs> not one more drink, champ, so after that tweet. Yeah, after that still what yeah. imagine a man message and say yo I'm in, I'm in bed with your wife not me blood cause man don't oh. pick them yeah passionate mm. crime you know mm. blood mm. where you're thinking I'm gonna get a minimum 30 I'm gonna get a minimum <laughs> 11 cause what the mitigation I'm gonna come is listen I was off my head <laughs> you know, that's a passionate crime that uh, uh, crime's a passion yeah mm. it's a passionate yeah. crime you can't yeah. tell me you're in, you're in bed crime with my wife passionate crime pie what? crime a passion you it? what yeah. mm. listen let Haley pop up somewhere with some of you that picture or man think. Passionate <laughs> crime. You get what I'm saying? Oh, God. Passionate <laughs> crime. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, me, don't play with me. But yeah, mm -hmm. boom. Big up, man. All the flowers for big respect. You get me? Yeah, mm. no, Check that. him out. And um, support his team, blood. Open yeah. a GoFundMe, you know? No, the fan membership's coming. Get it's me. coming. Just yeah, wait, man. people. Like, get anyone me. who's real would know that Black Lives Matter took millions from you lot and you never saw nothing. Mm. Rass came in the thing from 10 years ago and I've never asked you for a penny. So just wait. Because that time when I asked for that banner, that's Ooh. one pound a year for the last 10 years. Yeah, man, yeah. and it's well yeah. deserved. But what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to go masses with it. You get me? So that we're able to then make sure that every part of the organisation is funded. You get me? Because right now, everyone's working at a voluntary basis to, mm. to some degree. Do you get yeah. me? And nothing can't... Right, we want to make sure the thing thrives, but there has to be the structure so that there's transparency and integrity. Mm. Do so they still me? do the speaker's corner thing? Yeah, because I know you. Oh, I oh you, you, you retired. Yeah, yeah. I was about to say, because I know, know yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, go yeah. Ahead. It's to go down there, but yeah, man, ended up, yeah, it's too many. Years. <laughs> yeah, too crazy. Down. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I'll be bonging. I was going to say I'll that. Be bonging, man. Get, nah, that's, that's nah, too... I'll be smacking, man. So I can't go there. And they're saying madness about Islam. I'm just growing up. Like, man will come and call you a nigger and a slave. Like, yeah, I remember one time and, like, like, and I had to hold it and then I waited off camera and I just, you get mm. me, just dealt with him. Yeah, it's mm. mad. Yeah, you can say corner. what you want in that corner, you know? Mm -hmm. They think that's a freedom of speech corner. Yeah, man, mm. Like, you can't get a black eye. I swear mm -hmm. it's a corner that yeah. they think you can't get a black eye. <laughs> yeah, it's mad. Bro, it's <laughs> mad. mad. Like, they just say anything. You can say anything mm. in that corner. You get what I'm saying? But man will leave you in that corner. You get what I'm saying? Trust me. But yeah, now, nah, big up Rass, you get me? Just so you yeah. know, if you hear anyone in the background, it's his daughters, you get me, car. He's doing what the big man them do, you get me? He's looking after mm -hmm. what he needs to be looking after. You see big me? Up, big and up, big getting up. everything done. At the same time, big up Ras, big up Marvin, uh, Marvin as well, Uncle Marv. Mm -hmm. Marv came and done that with his, with his um, daughter that time. But yeah, we got um, your fire round. 
I'm gonna start with Tupac or Biggie. We get Tupac, to know man. you. Come on, man. Got a Pac, man. revolutionary. Yeah. All right. Shout out Biggie though for the flows. Bro. Yeah, no, shout out, shout out, out to Biggie, bars. man. Yeah, bars and legacy. Black Panther yeah. thing. Cause yeah. you can't style Biggie as well. I've got yeah. you hands off Asata Shakur. You done though. But Jay Z or Nas? Nas. You know what I'm saying? But I love Jay, like Jay-Z for the hustle, but yeah, Nas, yeah. Nas because of distant um, we, I, I get what you're saying. message again. Message yeah, again, innit? The message. You get hear that. It used to be, mine used to be Jay-Z. I used to think I Jay-Z. Jay as well, though. But I used to think Jay-Z, but then he said, he sees a lot of hoving gigs. So I thought, nah, Nas, no. Nah. Oh, here we go. Nas, you get me? Nas now, you get me? <laughs> Kanye go. or Drake? Um, Kanye or Drake? Drake, because he shouted out a lot of the UK dons. Drake Kaida, Kanye. Yeah. Nah, 50 nah, Cent or Jay, Jay Kiss. Jay Hustle and that. From, my thing with the Americans is whoever messes with UK dons, I'm going to go with them. Mm. The Drake should have just messed with man, innit? But no, nah, why for that? I'll beat him up. Boom. Um, <laughs> 50 Cent or Jay the Kiss? Let's go with Fiddy still. Got to be Fiddy. Go Fiddy. Jay does, but you just can't chat to Fiddy, innit? Lil Kim or Foxy Brown? And I, let's go with little Kim, even though I didn't like the facial. The she's yeah, she's yeah, just gone mad. Like you're just like talking about old school. The original Kim. old yeah, school. Yeah, come on, yeah. come on. Brandy or Monica? Brandy. It's mad for us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <What are you laughs> yeah, Brandy's mad for me and Cream, but cool. Uh, Nick, that's mad for us. Where Monica? Me. Nicki Minaj or Cardi B? Oh, I don't even want to get into that. I'm not even Nicky or Cardi. That's not my style. Oh, you don't. Oh, you don't. None of them thing there. Oh, oh yeah, see. Yeah, yeah. I feel like Lauren Hill or Erica Badu. Lauren Hill again, still, even though big up Erica. Come on, man. Yeah, yeah they're two different styles, yeah. though. To be yeah, honest, yeah. can't really. Yeah. But yeah, Lauren. So Nicki Minaj or Cardi B in looks. I don't even like like Gave Barbie like thing. Look. Yeah, I don't. I'm not with the fake thing. I just like real. You get me? You not rating cream. Huh? You don't rate cream. She spits <laughs> like that. Spits like well, I spit but like cream. Don't I'm try me. Just I don't, okay, just wine good. Wine. I'm talking about like you said how oh. you look. I'm, I'm saying you've got a lot of fine. fake aesthetics. You get me? That ain't real. Like. What are you doing? Why did you? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> don't follow him, you know, cream. I don't, don't know, know what he's him. doing. Don't follow him still. You know, nah, but you know it's bad. <laughs> he knows, but cream knows, you know. Yeah, just card. You listen to Nicki. I love both of them. I like both of them. We love them. Yeah. Don't be trying to be there like... I, did I say that? I've never said I'd defend him. Oh there was nothing to defend. God. I'm making He's him have his opinion. He and said he likes yeah, Lauren. No, I can't believe she's just there like not saying that. No, Lauren oh, is, is Nicki Minaj's um, favourite <laughs> artist, you know. I'll probably pick Cardi over... I don't know, bruv. Like, for me, he just said that's <laughs> not his like, thing. For me personally, yeah, it's yeah, not a personal one. I feel like a lot of... Uh, for, it's not really about them for me. It's I about, you, it's about the road down. Yeah. You know, a young girl yeah. roll down. Yeah, you got your yeah, two daughters here. From, from, from following them. So that's it's more what it's about. And okay. then on top of that, like, for me, if you're talking about like buffness, like, you know, Jamelia? Mm-hmm. Come, Come on, how could we not know where? You want See, muscular yeah. to get on to you, though. Yeah. You saw yeah. up yeah. to no, 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 I mean, but, but I'm so. not even, I'm don't even, say too much about Jamelia, you Big up but to Jamelia, yeah, no, she's gorgeous. Well, I'm I'm we'll get on oh. a no, I said she's gorgeous. Yeah, you know, I yeah, she's like nice. Plastic mm. gal with plastic surgery and saying they're yeah. the most beautiful gal in the world. But like, none of them can't even stand next to Jamelia. <laughs> <laughs> you get me? None of them. Like, so the, my, because when I grew up, I remember like, man had like a big sister who was dark skinned and loved herself. Mm-hmm. You get me? Mm-hmm. So when I started seeing girls, black girls trying to be Barbies, I was like, Wow, well mm. gone for that. Because if I want a Barbie, I'm going to go for a white girl. I'm not going to go for a black girl trying to be a white girl. Mm. I, I want a real black girl or I'm going to go for a real white girl. Mm. Do you get me? Mm. So for me, I felt like a lot of black girls was like, and this this ain't no disrespect to the sisters out there because I know for the sisters, the pressure. The pressure I was going to say, yeah. Uh, sisters' self-esteem. Yeah, even in the work field, sisters can't be natural because they're not going to get, whether it's the industry, like whatever it is, they feel like, um, the way the system kind of comes at them, their self-esteem has been under attack from the beginning. So I'm not judging any of the sisters mm-hmm. and whether they do the weave thing or whether they do the natural thing, they all look fabulous. But I'm saying in general, I feel like a lot of women went down a road where they tried to be something they're not and they actually end up losing that original source. Yes, even I agree. J- even Jamelia, Jamelia yeah. went down that road as well though. Jamelia, Terry Walker, 
Big up Terry, because yeah, yeah. Terrell's come here and said the mm. same thing. Mm. Kelly LaRock, Big up Kel, come and, because when you get into the industry, they try and make them more white. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. You yeah. get what I'm trying mm-hmm. to say? So straight in their hair. Mm-hmm. They do their makeup more light. Mm-hmm. They do, do you understand? Yeah, yeah. So mm-hmm. all of a sudden, the black gal hair is gone. Exactly. You get what I'm trying to say? So they've all felt And I'm not saying that sh- women should be able to switch it up. They can do the braids thing, the weave thing, the afro thing, the mm-hmm. natural thing, mm. but they should just know who they are as well. Yeah, is it's beautiful. popping. Don't yeah. Beautiful. Don't let Straight. no one, don't want let anyone see Zizi post the other day, oh, people are saying she's skinny. I'm like, stop doing that, man. Stop doing that. Stop giving any credence to anyone out there in the comment section that's trying to mess with your self-esteem. Mm. Know that you're fabulous. If you feel like you're 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 a bit skinny, go eat some more food and go gym. No, because I, like I feel like I feel like social. Very calculated in what she says. Yeah. everything she says. Yeah, yeah. But I feel like social she media. Something to break I feel like yeah. girls are getting a bit too carried away. Like I I don't. If you do what you want, if you want to enhance your body, enhance whatever you, you get. What I'm saying, but there's girls that are literally like. You know, like you've got 30 odd year old girls that are born in 2022 because they got to burn all their previous pics because they don't even look like yeah. how they look before. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like yeah. you're literally a completely new person that like you look different to your children. Yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying? And that to me, how can you truly love yourself if you're changing every single thing about you? Yeah. Do you understand yeah, what I'm I saying? Because obviously, as a woman, with every, you have to upkeep and maintain yeah, and yeah. groom and them kind of things. Do you understand yeah. what I'm saying? Come but on, I've got the fire. Do you, do you understand? But I just feel like I, I to head, completely change I everything. When you're seeing it, it's a me, madness. I know you didn't fit my hair. Do you understand? Hair, you're not happy with none of your none of your none of your yeah. jeans. Like nothing. Like what you what you was born with. Yeah, yeah. Do you get me? Yeah. Mm. So, yeah. You have to upkeep yourself, you know, yeah. like man's in that to. stage as well. You know, He's got the dye, I've got the fibres. I know deep. You thought, raw, my man's. Let me you put my hair like look proper today, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got the chat, yeah. You get you me? The chat. The, as soon as I saw Chris, she started laughing. <laughs> the main. <laughs> I saw Daddy I, when I, I got said, that well, thing well, down. She ran down the window and started busting up. I said, don't take this. <laughs> She's like, we had you got a hair transplant. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't wear me up, Chris. You know, like I've come fresh from the barbers because. Tomorrow, I'm going to have this, the hairline back. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. After going, you get what I'm saying? But you're coming no, fresh from barber. No, because I know it's like the man, them are on that hard I right now, man. isn't it? Up keeping yeah. my... Like, see, see, all of like, this is grey, you know? I'm grey like Kramer. Mm-hmm. Big up Kramer. Big like, up Kramer. Crimes, you get me? But I'm grey like Kramer. But I'm not trying to... Kramer's Kramer doing, rocks his yeah, thing, though. Yeah, Kramer's doing his thing too wicked and bad. You get what I'm saying? But <laughs> he's the rudest guy I know. So he's <laughs> he a, could, he, he can rocks do that. his thing. He can do that and just be rude. You're not going to say to him, Kramer's like... Your head, <laughs> that's not a man you can say your head. That's not a man you can say that to. But I'm dying yeah. my thing. You get what I'm saying? Mm. See Jamila, what I was saying about the Jamila look. Yeah, yo, on Jam- no, no, I'm not, I'm yeah, not, I'm yeah. Not, they got Jamila. Look at my, look at my. The thing. man said yeah. no. no, 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 no. Right, man, smiling. Nah, that that China, one cousin. of my highlights in my life is I was doing a debate. She was on the panel. You get me? Yeah. I said something and she was rating what I said. Still, when mm-hmm. I, I didn't even realize at the time, I looked back and see the video. Mm-hmm. I was like, yo, man, got ratings for Jamila. I've made it in life. Car for me, like, see the transgender thing. They a can't. star for <laughs> love. The transgender thing. A they star can't. And Jamila's love. representing yeah. millions of gal that come from the community. Yeah. But what I'm saying is they can't. They can't replicate the Jamila look. Like the transgender thing, you can't really replicate that natural mm-hmm. Ebony swag. You get me? But you see, if you look like Nicki Minaj and, and, and Cardi B, <laughs> the transgender gal are looking just like them. But can I tell so you something? Can, can, I put you, can, I, can I put you on game? Yeah. So you see contouring. Yeah. It came from transgenders. A because that's, that's basically, that's the makeup. They copied it from them. Okay. So that's how contour come in to make the men's face look more fe- feminine. Mm, so you see yeah. when they put like the dark contour yeah. here, yeah. you see like um the body fillers and yeah. stuff. Yeah. 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 The back street that that's all from the transgenders yeah. because they're doing it putting it in their hips to make yeah. it and yeah. that's what the females are doing. So the actual the females if you kind of look at it are starting to look more like the transgenders yes. than women. Do you yes. understand what I'm saying? So you see that look it actually that came from them. Like Do you understand Beyonce me? Beyonce or Shanti, this is too much transgender. Mm. Beyonce or Shanti? Beyonce, Beyonce. Uh, Shanti. 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 Maya Shanti. Shanti. or Alicia Dixon, we're just moving far from all of that. Uh, Contour my, and my, trans and a my, star my, for my, a lot. Steph <laughs> London or Miss Banks, we're moving fast from that. Miss um, Banks. On it. Remember the Kalanji Pot of team? paper, uh, or Rimsy, <laughs> forget all of that. But that is Ooh, for today. That's hard, you know, pot of paper, paper or Rimsy. 
me. You get me? But Rimsy, <laughs> all right, free daff in it. Let me say pot about big up Rimsy because that was man hard. said free daff in, in in the middle of pot pot of paper. Yeah, 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 Rimsy, yeah, yeah. Man said free daff. Yeah, That's yeah. how I know daff your said, guy. Yeah, come on, come on, come yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boom. That's the hardest still. A dealt pot is hard though. Now nah, we can't be saying man. No, nah, because. That's <laughs> why you feel like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's too that's much man are hard. That's the, yeah, that's you've got to change the heart. And Chewie's doing the bird. Yeah, cold. man, I forget yeah, reference to the, the man them doing the birds. Yeah, man are cold. You can't be too too much hardness. Adele or Amy Winehouse? Adele. Come on, man, Amy, man. You know, I thought you was a revolutionary, man. Nah, Amy as well, but kind of I like two Adele. Adele's lost weight. You're just trying to get in I, there. I, I just like the. the yeah, I like the energy still. Yeah, like. she, she could sing, but Amy. <laughs> you get me? Yeah. Like, like Tottenham energy. You know, she ain't got that. You know, you got the racist energy, and then you got the from the ends energy. She's got that from the mm, ends energy. Mm. I like that. I like that about her. And um, what's his name? What's the guy's name, man? The brother that. Uh, Why Ed for Sheeran, that? Ed Sheeran. Why for Ed? Okay. Boom. Jungle or Garage? Uh, ooh. Garage, shout out, mega. Jungle. Even though big up the jungle. School. House or Grime? Grime, ooh. Time. Over house. It's yeah, yeah, who? Yeah. 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 Nah, come on, man's a grand it's baby. Me. I'm a grand baby still. R and B or hip hop? Hip hop. Come on. Boys in the hood or menace to society? Menace to society. Menace, yeah. Really? Over boys in the hood. Oh, boys in the hood. Boys in the hood. You're forgetting Larry Fishburne. You had yeah, to change yeah, it. Yeah. Like, Lawrence on, Fishburne. You get Larry. Lawrence, Larry. What's the difference? His name's Lawrence, isn't it? Lawrence, Larry for short. Oh, yeah. The fuck? <laughs> this guy, you know what I mean? He's a the black fuck? Oh, black Larry for short, mate. Black. Fucking. All right, where are we? New Jack City or paid in full? Paid in full, man. Mm. You can't want my film. Come on. Real McCoy or Desmond's? Real McCoy. Shout out Leo Mohammed. What happened to Desmond? Shout out. Nah, Gloria. Leo Mohammed, man. He stuck it on the BMP. What happened, to, De- what happened to Desmond? Shout out, Gloria. You're talking about Black Gallon. Yeah, Gloria. They stuck it on the BMP. Black Gallon. Early Black Gallon. You're talking about Jamelia. But what about Gloria and Desmond? Black, Black, do you remember when the Real McCoy was. <laughs> do you remember Gloria and Desmond? Yeah, I remember. I remember. But so that weren't the first ill Black team yeah. on the, on nah, the screen. I'm saying that, she that was, weren't she? The first ill Black team. Proper Black Gallon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My love both of them still. Yeah, Gloria. But yeah, yeah, what she were you is. saying about the other uh, when, they, when they sent the BMP the BMP came and they said yeah we're sending you back to where you came from because the BMP tried to kick the black people out and then they broke down that you man don't come from England oh you my god sorry Desmond see last time we was talking about Desmond's mm. and I was like yeah R.I.P. Port by because we said R.I.P. Desmond's he was like R.I.P. Port by someone left a comment you know Port by is still alive <laughs> who said R.I.P. I didn't say R.I.P. Port by I said oh. me and who else was it was it me and Fleur who, who was we talking about Desmond, but we was, there was like, you know, Port Pie's still alive. I was like, oh no. <laughs> Big up Port Pie. You get me? Man, R- man RIP him with Desmond. You get me? Come man see Port Pie in Carnival. Man's like, yeah, RIP Port. The man, someone left a comment like, you know, he's still alive. I was like, shit. Mm-mm. Big up Port Pie. You get me? McDonald's or Burger King? One them both, but Mac D's, if anything. Mickey D's, 24 hour tick. Pizza Hut or Domino's? Pizza Hut, stuff, bro. <sighs> Man. If anything, this is when I get to know people properly. Like, oh, so I thought he was a Domino's guy. I thought he was a Domino's guy. You can't match pizza up. From yeah. stuff you can get pizza. stuff crust in Domino's. Yeah, but their thing's not the same. I don't think but Domino's it's the garlic is pizza than bread thing. Yeah, that they, garlic they pizza sauce. bread. They got the good sauce. I think pizza hut over Domino's. You don't. I do. All of a sudden today, it's just. Have you heard me say Domino's? Listen, Red's rather Domino's. You get me? Coke or Pepsi? Coke. <laughs> remember man got remember Malik he's like uh, he's like man can't be coke he's like why for coke yeah why for coke yeah man can't be. <laughs> I even want to answer the question yeah you know that he's like Rasta man can't pick coke yeah you have yeah. to put alkaline man water or coke. coconut yeah, you know water what? or something like hey, that hey Rasta man just pick coke though but I'm never, just making I've Malik know I'm letting life. Malik know Rasta man in here picking coke life, so Rasta man here picking coke nah, fam. nah we don't pick coke I said cola I said cola mm. <laughs> <laughs> I said cola but now I said coke Fanta yeah, or cool. Tango? <laughs> Fanta, too, fruit twist. Fruit twist, I don't like fruit twist, but the orange tank, um, Fanta though. Orange or apple juice? Depends on the day, but let's say apple. Carrot cake or chocolate cake? Let's say carrot. Chinese or Indian? Indian. They got a bit of Indian, yeah? Yeah, they got a big vegetarian. 
The naan bread, you're just the different, naan bread, innit? Vegetarian it? options still. And then like, I don't like eating cat or dog or <laughs> things like that. I one time there was a Chinese place in my ends and they found bare dog bones. Lord in man. You get what? Me? Yeah, they found bare dog bones Slander. in there. Slander, <laughs> slander, <laughs> slander. <laughs> slander, <laughs> Ilford, Ilford. Like, yeah, yeah. Slander. No, that was it. it was in Get Doom still. Slander, yeah. you get me? Mm. Italian or Turkish? Um, Italian. Got to be oh, Turkish. Turkish, Turkish, Turkish. Not Turkish, Turkish. Turkish. Yeah, Turkish. Oh, the Mets here. Back in the day, those lambs. Rice and peas or jell-off? Um, rice and peas. I'm a yard duke, but we love jell-off as well. Though. Big mm. up, big up my motherland still. Restaurant or cinema? And a girl thing. <laughs> cinema. <laughs> <laughs> But Flirt was the first person to pick cinema, you know. <laughs> and a man wants to come and pick cinema uh, as guys, well. Uh, I'm not really on the restaurant thing. You and Flirt are the only people picking cinema. Yeah, really the Gallim's not coming for a second date. <laughs> yeah. The Gallim's gone after them. Yeah, them go. The Gallim's <laughs> gone, fam. After that <laughs> fruit blast, they're yeah. gone. <laughs> after the fruit blast and the nachos, they're out of there. Yeah, I'm, I'm writing different You know, like, you, that, you know, I like you. I don't want to go into it still, but we don't chase Gal over here. No, 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 but big yeah, people yeah, think. You know, like, I tried to tell Flirt, the first, you can't go with cinema on a date. I've stayed in. That's like a third date, maybe. Like, after you get to know, like, you just there, like you're not saying that, and both of you there. I just said love. cinema, cause I want to go see a couple of things in the cinema right mm. now, and I can't think of a restaurant that I want to go to. So it's more about me still. Mm. To see, he's not that's on the right, wine and diner. He's not a winer and diner. No, he's not a winer and diner. Never been a girl clown. Yeah, he's not. A, he's thinking yeah. wine and diner. That's diners, what. That's like the what with the the, oh the episode. Gosh, oh, for help real. Me. Help me. Yeah, out. never been a girl. He thinks. So that's a girl clown thing. That's a girl clown thing. I feel like there's no. I'm not saying that. I'm saying there's girl clown. Do you look at? Do you look at? I got a different guy taking a restaurant every day. That's not where I just the same thing they spoke about on the program that I just was on. Do you think caught in a girl is a glam clown thing? No, but I think that right now the state of females' mindsets, and I feel like a lot of the the online's kind of give it because I used to think men them are worse than women, but. Recently, looking at the memes, I'm realizing that women really, like collectively, not obviously, we've got good women out there, big up the good women. Yeah, you got big the up the good women there. You're exempt, you're exempt from what I'm saying, but I'm saying the general consensus of women is using men. Men, you get me? Yeah. So even yeah, me yeah. personally, I've been with gal that are making man send them money. Do you like old school women? Yeah. So with old school traditional uh, values. My thing is, I don't, I, I wouldn't. Because even... old school traditional value women, yeah? Yeah. They like men to. Take give provide security. Yeah, they like to be taken care of because yeah. they're homemakers and you're providers. Yeah. So why are women being put in down for men treating them the way they're supposed to be treated? No, but I'm saying that not not the not the Egypt ones, but no, you know but what I'm I saying, mean. To what certain, I'm saying, I'm saying that like Kendrick Lamar, yeah, he mm. with his girl when he was down, yeah. So when mm -hmm. he got up, he was able to give her everything. See if there's a woman that's really riding for man on a wife level, mm -hmm. she's gonna get everything in the world. Mm -hmm. You get me? But until man's at that point. Yeah, where I know, like, I'm not gonna try um, invest in a woman to get her to get to that point. She just got to have to naturally have that chemistry and love of man, and then we can we can go on that journey. You know what mm, I'm saying? Mm. But it's not a thing where I feel like a lot of men are trying to buy gal. Mm, you get mm, me? Mm. Like they 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 they're, they're paying their way. No, but that's like a man. That's, gal, that's like a man that takes takes his gal Maldives for the first date. Yeah, that's like them man there. Yeah, yeah. big up fast lane. That's, that's like them man. They was that's the show you know that I'm I was Big up fast lane, my brother. But you got man that's taking a gal on the first date, Maldives, all the money out straight away. Yeah, not man. Then that's not man. there's nothing. That's not man either. Yeah, that's but not man. I'm with you on that. But the restaurant thing, we can do that though. Mm. If I really, if you got a liking for the girl, no, not even the gal clown thing. No, not even on the gal clown thing. If I'm you saying, like the gal, yeah. I'm saying if if it's a gal, you, listen, 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 you want her to like. My nice thing things. is, if you think that she's on a using thing anyway, why is that the type of person that you're investing your time into? I'm not though. That's no, 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 not you. I'm talking like in general because there's a lot of talk about <laughs> men saying I'm not going <laughs> to spend this nice. on this girl. <laughs> I'm not spending that on that girl. There's no, no but, good girls out here. No, but, no, but, but I feel like is I don't. I feel like from women in my personal experience yeah when a woman wants to be with you bro mm. whether you're having a picnic at a park she just wants to be in your presence 
That's the only woman that I want to even be engaged. No, but with. she has to get to so that. Like, so, yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree. I agree, I agree, I agree with. I agree with what you're saying. A woman, a woman that I know that if I go and buy food and she, I don't, I'm not gonna. If you can't cook, it's already dead. Mm-hmm. So if I'm gonna buy food and then you're gonna cook for man, I'm gonna wash the dishes afterwards. A mm. woman that's cooked for man, I will take her for a meal. 100%. Mm-hmm. But if remember, you're not willing to date. cook for man, this is a date. That, and, and remember, it's not <laughs> even a thing where I'm trying to pressure a woman. That's just gotta be her natural thing. Like, are you hungry? Yeah, if she actually cares about my stomach just naturally and cares about my well-being and rare, 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 then 100%, man will go the full way. But I'm saying that, in general, I feel like a lot of women feel like man them for just spend out. And then what I've seen, personally, is like, girl will have a, a new man every day of the week that they're taking out to get free meals while they're saving their money to go on holiday. Hmm. Like I've seen, I think for me personally, my thing go is... Go to buy and get shit on. Four, five, four, oh. five years, four, five years ago, before I actually conscious up... <laughs> Before yeah, shiver down your spine. Before before I became conscious, I can't lie. I've been with gal when they've done so much skullduggery to other man. Do you get it? So I kind of I've seen that back end of women where a lot of man on the other side wouldn't have seen. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? So I think that kind of made me kind of put my walls up to a certain degree. But like a, a woman of substance, mm-hmm. a woman that genuinely cares about man. A woman that I know that would cook for man, yeah, I'm gonna, t- I'll take her for a meal. That's not a problem. Got to take but, her for meal but, first. But to I'm find not out. taking her for the meal for her to find out if she likes man. There's got to be that natural chemistry yeah, where yeah, she yeah. would have just come back to me anyway. You get me? We could have gone for a picnic in the park because you don't know if I got peas. Mm. I could be rock bottom. Yeah. I need a woman she that needs would to be know with if man. Got peas. If I was no, but I need a woman that would be with man from rock. If, she, if I was in rock bottom, she would be with man because that means I know that if I hit the top, yeah. I can give her everything. See, I, I not, get that. Yeah. Not a girl, not a girl that like, man's with her, but then I hit rock bottom. Someone dies in my family. I go f- and then she's gonna left man. No, mm. I get, I get that's that. why these men are so bitter. Let me show you. Me, I'm not bitter about women, you know, because mm, mm. I've never really done the output. Mm, 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 mm. I've never done that. I love you. I've never done that. Invest. I've never done it. So I'm not bitter. I love women, mm. but I feel like a lot of men they've tried to do what you're talking about, courting, and they've invested, and then women just take them for clowns, and then I feel like that's what starts the Andrew Tates and these men that are always mm. on podcasts bitter talking about women. I think it comes from them trying to pour out to women and not having good choices about the women they're even dealing. That's with. the thing. You know, it is as men though, yeah. The choices. Sorry, yeah? Yeah. I always say like. You can't, like, I get that, yeah? Like, you want a woman that will be with you when you're down Mm -mm -mm. or low or whatever, yeah? Mm -hmm. But as men, you can't expect a woman to get with you whilst you're down when you're at that low. Like, it's got to be like you've got with her. Like, you get off that low yourself. You don't even deserve a girl. Go and sort your life out. You do that. Then go and start getting girl. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Mm -hmm. You can't be on on the ground, on bottom, and you're even thinking about a girl. Like, see, if I'm on the ground, I got no. You think I'm thinking about getting a gal? You don't know what's happening, bro. With, to do, well, I'm too embarrassed. I'm too embarrassed. Nah, for me, I can't bro. get a girl because what happens when you when you want something? And I got like, so it's got to be you've got to get into something with the girl, and then if you trip up, like man, trip up. Do you get what I'm saying? Then you end up getting her. She's still there. Okay, now you know this is a mm-hmm. this is a diamond. Nah, but I don't even want. Do you know I mean? personally don't want no girl that's with man for that. Element. If you're with man, mm. you're just with man because you've got heart for what man stand for. Yeah. Yeah. I'm as a man, my personality, my substance, my character. Because remember, blood, man like me, I'm not like these other guys out here. Mm. Man's, man's going to offer loyalty, a real loyalty. Mm. Like, not this loyalty that these men are talking about where they're sticking it in every other gal and then coming back and throwing off your pH. Yeah. Exactly. You I'm talking about real loyalty. I'm talking about fatherhood. Like, if we have a you, I'm always going to check for my you, regardless mm. of what's going on with me and you. Mm. I'm always going to check for you as the mother. I've got certain principles as a man, which the, the society might not see as high value, mm. but the rich man like Elon Musk just lost his wife. Mm. So exactly. you can't <laughs> buy what man's got. Exactly. So I don't care what gal it could have been. That's Rihanna, the bro, same I thing what I said. Everyone I keeps like talking about high value and they don't know use. what high value is. See, when you is. got with Reds, he weren't on his face, was he? Huh? Red no, he wasn't on his no, face. No, but that's what I'm just saying. Like, me personally, if you're on your face, just don't look gal. Yeah, that's just me not, personally. Not, no, I'm not saying say, that look like, gal when you're on your face. You but know what I mean? Like, if you know, so fat, so you no, but I'm saying if you know that a girl was with you, you when, you were on your, when you was on I've, your face, fam, listen you to just me. Don't, I've, been, like, I've been in a thing where I'm on my face. You get me? And my girl's dealing with mm-hmm. it's mad. You get? It's crazy. I can't even let too much out. But <laughs> you get what I'm saying? It's yeah. mad. Yeah. Like, no, I'm not even talking cards. I'm using like it's mad. It's crazy. But. That's what man's gone to in a relationship. Yeah. But I couldn't come to her like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How? 
She would have, how? I ain't gonna lie, bro. Yeah, I've never don't try and act like man can come to you like this. Or Reds could have come to you like, yeah, yeah, yeah. How? No, no but but I'm just saying, you've got to be at a level. Obviously, yeah. the, how you are now, you can get on his face, you'll still be there. Because mm-hmm. the bond is built. But as far as like, a, a, as a, if you want an ambi- ambitious man, mm. yeah, the first thing a lot of girls, they want you to have ambition in it. But bro, so it's like, for me personally, bro, man come up on high techs mm. and goal. I come up with a mum that didn't have no peas, but I was mm. getting gal galore, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because of man's character, bro. Mm. Gal just love being around, man. Because man just bubbly. But that's man. just a beat. No, no, but it's not even a beat, bro. When gal, bro, gal are emotional, you know, blood. When a mm. gal loves you, brother, mm. it's a different thing. But a lot of men haven't experienced this because they only got gal when they got the car. Mm. They only got gal when they got the chain. So these men don't <laughs> even know the concept of of girl liking you and you don't have none of that for you they just like you blood mm. you get me and me i've experienced that my whole life blood so anything else i wouldn't be able to do with it if i i know what it's like when a girl loves you off mm. so i wouldn't be able to then um, no. um downplay my thing for a girl and i know that she's not really feeling man mm. then put, to go find who you're feeling because we might not we, we, you know what i'm saying we're, we're not compatible just yeah, go yeah. find who you're feeling because i know my one's out there and I know that man's gonna have peas, and well, man's got. You man know that man's yeah, always yeah. gonna provide for my family. Mm. But at the same time, I just don't want that to be an incentive because I feel like there's man like Andrew Tate going out there who got my Bugatti, and they're they're they're, they're influencing the man them that basically we can buy women based upon mm. what our financial state. But is. who's who's Andrew Tate influencing though? Because the man them can't buy Bugattis. Yeah. Do you understand? You see, yes, like even can. when you had Kevin Sam, uh, yes, but can. not a not a not a not a high percentage of the man not, then yeah, that's yeah, chatting the, oh, Andrew I mean, Tate oh, yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. You got a lot of guys that ain't even in Andrew they're Tate's like tax yard. bracket, mm-hmm. they're and they're like talking their about what Andrew yes, Tate yes, is yes, talking yeah. about. Mm-hmm. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's He's like when Kevin Samuels was talking about high value with six O's and. You got guys with not even yeah, two O's and they was talking that. about whatever. Yeah. Plus, I class success and value and riches in completely different way. Because yeah. it's not all about money to me. Because yeah. that's not what makes a great man. Do yeah, you understand? Yeah, yeah, Isn't just about what he has in his bank account. Yeah. However, if he is the greatness that he ca- has, should be able to make him acquire the things to, for us to be able to do what we need to Fact. do. Fact. Do you understand? And then the... The, the support that I'm going to give to him as his woman yeah. will even make it even more that we're going to... Do you understand what yeah, I'm yeah, saying? Facts. Do you get it? Facts. So, um, yeah. I think Andrew Tate, Kevin Samuels, all of them, like, they didn't have... They had it held down a woman for 10 years. So, you, so I can't get relationship advice, advice from them. From a man that hasn't held down a good woman for 10 exactly. years. Exactly. I'm looking at man like Denzel Washington. Those are the man, 34 years, married to his wife. Yeah. yeah. Them man there, I'm looking at them and I'm learning from them. You're learning from them. Because man wants to pattern up my team. Because all these futures, them man are getting diseases from bare the girl they're sleeping with. They're going to get to 50, 60 and realise that yeah. they're still bachelors. All the youths they have don't really check for them. But Kevin Samuels use. was there you know every day on his um, podcast or whatever he was doing, telling people, women, that they're going to die alone and telling everybody what their destiny R. is. R.I.P. Kevin, Kevin Samuels. R.I.P. But he if da- he, he was paying more attention to his own destiny, he may have still been here. He died. Because oh. his health was out. Yeah, yeah because yeah. he did. He he died on a woman. He, died he on had like a... Low a, a, a woman. On a low, exactly. On a low woman. And the thing about it is, is every day life. you was telling people about how what their life was going to be and those people lasted longer than you. So some you need to pay attention to what is coming Alana out of your best. mouth. Car Do you bike. understand what I'm saying? Bike all day. BMW or Mercedes? Benz. Um, Audi or Volkswagen? Volkswagen. <laughs> Lambo or Bugatti? Lambo, I don't like Andrew Tate. Yeah, Bugatti. Ferrari or Bentley? I did a Bentley. Come on. Jeep or Coupe? Jeep. Big thing. I be for an Apple. I be for. Dubai or Marbs? Dubai. England or America? Uh, England. So come on. You're getting people come on there and say American. I can't believe it. Yeah. Shout Ni- out to my Americans. Bro. Yeah, come on. Nike or Adidas? Adidas. Adidas, yeah. Yeah, they done the red, gold, green. I think thing, it's right? only you and Aggie that said Adidas. They done, the, they done the red, gold and green thing first. So. Gucci or Louis? I don't really like them, man. We did the most. I knew he was going <laughs> to say that. Versace or Mosh? We did the most. Design up, design local brands, local brands. Um, e- epitome. Um, there's sportswear. Inside or outside? Outside. 
girl thing, looks or personality? Personality. I knew you was going to say that, man. come on. <laughs> natural or surgery? Substance. Give me some substance. Natural or surgery? Um, natural, man. Come on, man. Bad girl or good girl? Good girl every time. Watch him now. I've been on too much badness. Her on top or doggy? Um... I ever do all of these. Because mm, mm, right, cool. of the kids. I, I give you this, right. I don't even go down these roads. But yeah, it's going to be the dog still. <laughs> no, give me. So, so, so Bex to boys or no so Bex to boys? Tudor, you, Tudor, you get me, your daughters are there. So Bex to boys or no so Bex to boys? Look, come on. You're not moving like you know the slang. You get what I'm saying? That, that's, yeah. All I need are roots. Money or love? Love every time, man. Come on, man. Money! All right, boom. Man had to, um, because obviously we do like a couple questions suitable just for you. Boom. Like, obviously, you're from Ilford. I forgot I was supposed to phone Danny, innit? Yeah, I was getting dirty money and get some Ilford questions. But what I just thought of Ilford, I could not think of Ilford and not ask you, even though you said sportswear. But this is a big Ilford question Zoo or Z and Cole? This is one from back in the day. I think I used to work in. Z and Cole, you know, the one on the corner there in yeah, Ilford. at the top, but then there's yeah. Zoo at the bottom there yeah, by no, the I police used to work station. Z and Cole, my, my tag was Kenzo growing up, and they used to sell Kenzo gums, didn't it? Mm, but which one, which one, yeah. you, Z and Cole? You, you yeah, 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 because they just done the Kenzo thing. I say Zoo store. But yeah, Martin Luther King, this, though, this is your question now. Martin Luther King or Malcolm X? Malcolm X, every time. Shout <laughs> out Martin, though, we love him. But yeah, and Malcolm. reason being, Chewy got you out here. Yeah, Carl. I, I can't like everything about me is a revolution. Yeah, like, by any bro, means. Mm. Get me. Mm. Uh, Self defense by any means necessary. We've got to let them mm. know that you get me. We're going to defend us. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, and when Martin Luther King died, he said, Those who make peaceful revolution impossible make violent revolution inevitable. So mm. Martin Luther King even acknowledged the reason why Malcolm X was the way he was yeah. before mm. he died, before they assassinated him. Oh, they oh murdered right. Him, yeah. they, murdered oh, right. The, they murdered him. When he was getting closer to Malcolm. You get me? Big up both. Big up both for and the Malcolm king. Malcolm was getting closer to Martin because he, he was not on this thing where all white people are the devil. He was on this thing where there's righteous and unrighteous everywhere and he was trying to build for black people but he was um, endorsing righteous people's support no matter where it came from. But you're still taking X over? X all fun. the time, man. Simple. All the time, right throughout. And that is the fire round. That's your fire round. Let's go um, to Cream's Currents now, Current Affairs. <laughs> You're a joker. I talk about you ate for the what's it called, didn't it? Look. It's what? Huh? Big stop your thing. Yeah, I know, but this camera's oh. still on, Cream. That's you, still that's one. We're still filming. Like, we can't wait. Huh? We can't wait. It's just Current Affairs. Current Affairs. Can Please. you see me loading my phone? Oh, my gosh. Can you see right, me the first thing we're going to talk about, yeah, is the is pre-game. My okay. baby being on the pre-game show. Oh. That's Ray was just going on about. Pre-game. Yeah, go on. What's that? Talk to oh. about it. Then. You no, go explain. on. You were saying that you thought what happened. No, but you need to explain what is like. What is? Yeah. What so you basically, um, yeah, they reached out to the RTM podcast show because they wanted they wanted me to go on their show. It's called the pre-game podcast show, mm-hmm. and um. They don't tell you what the topic topic's going to be, mind you, but it's it's similar to basically what we were just talking. You know, Andrew Tate kind of way of thinking, yeah. that fresh and fit type way of thinking, the kind of um, Kevin Samuels way. Do you know what I mean? So I went on there. It's a girl. There's a host on it, one woman called um, Pearl, and then they had three other girls on there and some guy on there, yeah? And um, basically it was about simps. I didn't know what a simp was, but basically we call that man clown, isn't it? Like what you was just saying. Yeah, yeah. Somebody that overly spends on a woman without it, she her even deserving it. Do you understand yeah, what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. So that's what that's what it was all about, kinda. Do you know what all I mean? But, investors. but um my thing on it is um I was the only one on there with my view anyway, because what they was asking. Do you get me? Um I feel like them shows are basically like they got an agenda on the woman's worth you know like to diminish what the woman's worth is do you get what i mean like they was just saying what do you think a woman can provide to a man that a prostitute cook or a cleaner can't oh, i saw that question did you see I, i've seen someone ask that question before i don't know if it's the same thing oh is I it remember that question being asked still. yeah yeah so it was that all that kind of stuff do you know what i mean spray so what do you reckon what do you think when you saw it 
Well, when I saw it, I just thought, ah, oh, I should have went with cream, you know. Like, do you get what I'm saying? I would have ripped them plaques out of my man's head. Do you get what I'm saying? He had plaques in it. That yeah, he did. He would have ripped one of the plaques off. you get what I'm saying? But, yeah, I was just thinking, are you, are you letting him chat to you like that? Chat, chat to me like what? He was just talking a bit rude and that. And I was just thinking cream. like, Because you see with cream, yeah, we could get two different creams, innit? Yeah. Like today. And I just thought, why did you go there trying to be that cream? Do you get what I'm trying to say? That's what I thought. I thought, why didn't you be cream cream? Do you get? Because I know cream cream would have just buddied him up. But I know how she, I know how you are in it. Because remember, it's a new environment. Mm. You're trying to be, you know what I'm saying? You don't know how they're going to take us. You're trying to get invited again. You don't want to rate, you don't want to go mad on a woman. Do you get what I'm trying to say? You don't want to, so you're getting that cream composed. But I think that's good you know, like, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, but I'll let him finish. I'm saying, you know, like composed and did it, but I'm saying like, I'm knowing the cream that I want to see is just you supposed to shut, like just. Yeah, kind of that's the cream it. you want to see, no, but that doesn't directly talking, mean. She said, she said something and I was like, oh my gosh, if you ever said that to him, I can't even remember what it was. Do you get what I'm saying? But it was like, that would have just been shut down. Do you get what I'm saying? Cause I think she was saying something about something, 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 but he, the guy's gone to her. Yeah, but you wouldn't know because you haven't gone out with a man or. With a I mean, woman, or, or you're not a man, or something. No, you're not a woman. You're not. Yeah, you're, you, you haven't, you haven't been you out with. A, you don't date a woman. Yeah, you. Yeah, don't that's you wouldn't know what. Oh, yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, but Dennis, listen, listen. listen Dennis, he said, wait, wait. He said something like, he said something like, yeah. No bad man, bad man don't take girl. Sin, bad man don't take girl. Um, for food, don't court girl. Mm -hmm. Said real bad man don't court girl. But I'll say to cream all on a minute. I you never said to him. How would you know what real bad man do? <laughs> you get me cut he's saying to you yeah, yeah. but you don't date yeah. so how can you know what real bad man do you're not a real bad man yeah, yeah, yeah. how can you know what a real bad man not court girl all the real bad man I know court girl but I'm, I'm not I'm not saying my thing all is, of them my thing with the prostitute <laughs> so, thing the question mm. that was asked yeah, is like I feel like a lot of the man them are on podcast talking about women degrading women 24-7 are only talking about the type of women that they've been Thank you. exposed to. So mm. that exactly. So, based, yeah. So based basically, upon, I hear based, that. Based upon their experience. Level, based upon no, no, their experience. So and basically, he was, un, he was unexperienced, inexperienced, untraveled. He's, 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 he he's to me, no he, didn't, he didn't have any, like, he wasn't qualified for what he was speaking about yeah. to me. Do you understand what I'm saying? So I didn't even really take it too deep what he was saying to me anyway. No, even take offense from my Do you understand? Because when he was saying that he didn't think there was much decent girls out there and that, I actually said to him, they say that you attract what you are. Do you understand? So if that's all you're seeing, that says more about you than anything anyway. Do you understand like what I mean? baby mums and you're complaining about all three baby mums, it's a you problem. It's something to do with you. Fathers, and you're complaining about all three baby fathers, it's a you problem. And a lot of people ain't gonna wanna hear that one. Mm. I, I, like a lot of people ain't gonna wanna take accountability for the, the choices they have in the opposite sex. Do you know what I'm saying? So a lot of men, they wanna date women who are of a certain ilk. He just sounded a mad hurt to me. Like sometimes you, like you just said, sometimes you have to even question their sexuality. Because he was the only guy on the sofa with a bag of girls going, bruv, 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 I'm not your bruv. Yeah, Who are we talking about, men or women? The way you're going on like you don't like women, you might as well just go with a man anyway. Yeah. Do you understand what I'm oh, saying? I like, I actually have to be questioning these things and I ain't got time to be busting out my bro the veins in my forehead going back and forth with this guy. Do you understand? Because I just thought to myself, to he spends too, yeah, they're too invested in, in, in women, in too invested. Why for that? Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. You're never why gonna, you're that? never that gonna, big why. <laughs> you're guy, never bro. gonna but get, don't um, get on to man. Man don't need to be getting on to man. man. To, man my thing is, when you're, when you're not of certain quality, you're not gonna get near Decent women, yeah, anyway. Do you understand what I'm, I'm saying? Because they're not gonna yeah, be wanting to come I, near you. One thing about me is, yeah, I don't have nothing bad to say about gal because certain gal that these men are talking about don't even come in my jurisdiction. Mm. <laughs> I don't even want to smell their breath because I don't know what they've been. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I don't like the smell of next man's penis, mm. so don't talk too close to me. Why? Mm. <laughs> 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 no, no, real talk, blood. Like, yeah, mm. nothing. I can't go near that. Like, man, only deal with. Women of like I'm not even talking about on a dating thing. Like the women around man are of such high substance. Like women that I see as my sisters. Mm. Like even the reason why I'm here today, I used to sit down with all the black women. You get me and just taking wisdom for three, four hours. Mm. You get me and just built man up into the man I am today. Mm. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because women of substance 
have always been around. Like, yeah, yeah, so the like fact, so the, yeah, exactly. So the assistant. fact that yeah. that so panel, so the fact that that panel can't see what a woman brings to the table other than those three things to me is shocking anyway. Do you yeah, understand what remember, I'm saying? A lot of men only see women for their vagina, whereas I'm, like certain men, like not even on a um, disrespectful thing, but man don't care about your vagina. Like man don't need nothing to do with that unless you're my thing that man trying to pattern up. Mm. There's so many other qualities in women that is way above their vagina when mm. it comes to organisation. And mm-hmm. underrated. When it comes to business. That's underrated when it comes to and wisdom, that's essential when it comes as well. Intuition, when it comes to exactly. guidance, there's so much qualities that women have that can build up men and exactly. take a whole new level. But the man them can't see them because all they're looking for is the vagina. Pum-pum. So now they're going to these gal who's their, their, their pum pum's been around every footballer and rapper already and you want to go there and sleep with her afterwards and you don't understand the science to sex because mm. you're a cuckold. So you don't understand that when you sleep with a girl, yeah, her, your sweat and your things go inside her body. And when she's sweating, she's sweating out that. So when man are uh, saying, yeah, I, I slept with my man's girl, you slept with my man as well. <laughs> yeah. <Why? laughs> yeah. So man, so that, you know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to sleep Why? with next man's girl. What, what mm. do I want with next man's girl? I want something fresh, my thing pattern, you get me? So a lot of men, they're just desperate. It's a desperation. And when we're talking about women, we can't even get onto women because the man them are buying the OnlyFans. So men are saying, oh, women are doing this, women are doing that. But when a woman goes and does the the, um, the, the body job thing and she posts a picture, bare thirsty yeah, man yeah, are in her get, comments. Yeah, yeah. Bare bag of thirsty man. I'm saying, brother, do you have no shame? They're amongst all the rest of them dods. Mm. No, nah, that's not me, blood. I, I respect women for their substance. And when I get my thing, obviously that's a different well, pattern. The fact but that they was that, on there and they were women and they couldn't even say that. How can you be a man saying that and there's women on the show and they don't even have that to say about their own self? Yeah. Do you understand what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. The woman on the show, she do you lot remember a horror movie called Carrie? No. You don't want them to invite you back. No, but do you remember that movie? <laughs> <laughs> but do you remember that movie called yeah, Carrie? Yeah, 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 I know you. I, I don't, don't you think she away, looks like her? Straight away, you don't she want looks to like her. But like, that's who I could think of. Like she, she don't want to get invited. She back. never let like beer subscribers. You know, <laughs> they got beer subscribers. Just let me do my madness. But I'm saying what them. I said. No, but the I thing about it is, is my view is back. my view is my Carrie view. Now. Yeah, but but that's who she reminded me of. She didn't even like you. That's up to her. But so I'm so I'm saying what I'm saying in it. Who's telling you that I have to go? You, back. I know, but man, yeah, but come You're on, the man. one that's bringing I that up. I want you to go back to have an episode. Why? Because that's what's going to go viral. This okay. What, well, you like you said, well, anyway, I said cool. what no I said. One, you know what I'm saying? No one cares. When it's not cool. about no one cares because I got plenty of people <laughs> messaging me. The, 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 the clips what they took have gone on multiple blogs yeah, on the obviously. Instagram and everything. So obviously. what are you talking about? What are you yeah. talking about? But don't don't try it then. I said what I said. Like I said, the there's box. certain... Yeah. No, I don't have... Why am I... Why is it that deep? Number one, I was the only one in that emotional. room on that podcast what? with a gring i've been with my man over 10 years oh, we well go. over do you understand i have nothing oh, to prove yeah, yeah. what am i getting angry about yeah, yeah, yeah. do you understand what i'm yeah, saying what for what I sometimes, you know, you at the said, end of the day, yeah, do you know what it was? Said, I need to go to the toilet. No, you rest. see them podcast shows, yeah, yeah they yeah. actually try to sometimes like, get you. You see, like get how re- how he likes to stir it to try and get you to out a character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How they perceive me, how they saw me looking, and everything, yeah. I actually did the opposite what they thought I was going to yeah, do. They want to carry me out, my cat. They want to label me as the don't angry. Do, that, do you understand? Black going on and over and whatever. Black Everything woman. that I said, if you watch the whole entire clip, I answered him and I said my point. I just didn't come in the way that they but wanted me to. Do you understand what I'm saying? What I'm saying today, I said like what I had to say. There's a, there's a man out there. Do you get what I'm saying? If they fans. wanted it to, yeah, next time you go on there and say what you have to say, innit? If you want it in that way. I'm not your sister. I said my sister there. You get what I'm saying? My, my thing is each to their own, innit? Because me, everything I'm saying, it, a next person might not agree. There might be a man out there and his girl does OnlyFans and she sleeps with 10 other men in front of him. And he's None of them actually man. said anything that was disrespectful to me. They only had their opinion. The only oh, thing that right, was you know? is that opinion's <laughs> yeah, different to mine. Right, You're a joker. It's tone of voice. See Stop me. doing that. Tone of voice is guy, very sick. Guy, 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 no, 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 you know, I said it to her. I said, if I was with her. I don't think so. I don't act different when you're there. Why would I act? Oh, not you. Oh, for him. Come yeah, here, yo, brother, like, tone of voice, yeah, but the like, thing about it is, is do you look at when voice, you're looking bro? at that guy? Do you, you know think I mean? he looks aggressive? Tone does he voice. look? Does that guy well, look a, scary, kind of scary, scary to you? Being kind of aggressive. Does he look scary to you? Does he look scary to you? Oh well, the kind of guys that I know who I've grown up with, that guy don't look scary to me. 
Nothing about, about him is intimidating or scary to me. What about Do you understand what I'm it? saying? The the plats ain't giving. I don't know what, what I don't know what I'm supposed to. I don't know. Up, Do you know what I mean? So I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what you're trying to do. Just done it. Anyway, boom. Kanye. Next current affair. What's going on? Are we saying Kanye is crazy? Or is he cool? Or Kanye's attention seeker, man. He's attention. Because everyone's man. saying he's crazy. He's not crazy, he's calculated. He's very calculated. When you're crazy, you just do random stuff. Anything Kanye does is to get attention and sales. So it's a calculated, he's a very good businessman, but that's if you will sell out your own integrity and self-respect. You called him Kanye. Yeah. Kanye West, what yeah. do you mean by that? Why do you call Obviously, him Obviously, Candice Kanye? Owens has come out with a report that Black Lives Matter robbed the people then, but we all knew that, and no one is complaining and gave money to Black Lives Matter anyway. Mm. Like, none of you. None of you complaining about how much they stole, because it's all white people that was trying to prove that they're not racist for a couple months that gave to Black Lives Matter. It weren't no one from the hood. No one from the end did not donate to their thing. Mm. Yeah, and we knew that there was a scam from day one. We never said we were supporting the organisation. We're supporting the fact that... Black we feel like killed. Black Lives Matter, yeah. yeah. And, and we feel like Black Lives don't matter. Did you post mm. that black thing? thing? Did you post, did you post the black square saying Black Lives Matter? Tell the truth. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, was back I didn't post day. that. I posted it. I didn't post that I because I knew, it. even from there, I knew this is mad. See me, I go against the grain, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, right, you no, got I'm everyone doing that? Yeah. That's crazy for my brain. I'm not going to do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not even posting that. No, for, for me, I've been on the thing but from before George Floyd. A lot of people think it's about George Floyd. I was there when they killed Tamara. Right? I am. Um, I think I may have posted the black thing, but my thing is when I know what Most my when, when I know what my intention is, that's what I go with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like when people say to you, oh, I'm not into Christian because those all churches are was I know my connection. I know my relationship. Mm -hmm. I don't know about them, but I know yeah, about yeah. me. Do you understand? When I spoke about Black Lives Matter, it wasn't about the people that were stealing from. I believe Black Lives Matter. Mm. I believe that oh, there needs to be a change. That. Do you understand? Right. I believe that we need to be stopped being, you know, targeted just because of the colour of our skin. Right. Do you understand what so I'm when, saying? So, like so that's, that's, that's what I She links up with think. Candice Owen, who's never spoke out for black people. Exactly. Once. Candice Owen got bullied for racism, yeah? The NAACP, a black organisation represented her and supported her and got, um, I think, 10 bags or something back in the day. And ever since then, Kanye West, like he said in the tune, you leave a black girl f and go with a white girl. Yeah, he lived out his tune. You get me? And I ain't got no problem with people in interracial relationships. I'm just pointing out mm -mm. that Kanye West said in a lyric years ago mm -hmm. that black men who sell out will leave... But leave your ass for a white girl. For a white girl. And then he didn't just get with a normal white girl. Like, if he got with Adele, I might have even given him a few ratings. Do you get me? I'll do your thing, Kanye. But he got with the clout chasing, plasticist family that this thing's ever seen. Her mum made her do the sex tape with Ray J. Her mum filmed Stuff the sex tape. Imagine that, your mum pimping you out for, for fame and that. So for me, it's like, yeah. from you've made that decision, blood, yeah, and that's for clout, again. You don't care about your children, how your children are raised. You don't care about, like, what's gonna, you didn't think about none of that. You just done your thing because you wanted fame because she was famous and she looked a certain way that you've been conditioned to like. It worked. Which, you get me? So my thing is, but they, they came out better than him because they got his seed and now he's yeah, that's what it worked. You get me? So my thing is with people like Kanye, I'm like, for you to link up with Candice Owens, both of you are, have basically showed us that you are so hungry for white acceptance yeah, and white inclusion that you're going to say someone like George Floyd, who we saw murdered on camera... I know, get, they, they yeah, I saw, yeah. yeah and didn't get They're murdered. suing him, though, his but, family, yeah, innit? But what I'm saying is, it was never about George Floyd. It was about, it was about, it was about uh, Mike Brown. It was about um, Tamir Rice. It was about Sandra Bland. There's about 15, 20 people that was murdered by police in America. I was mm. outside the U.S. Probably embassy more. over here. Now, I'm just talking yeah, about within the yeah, wave. Yeah, yeah. You get me? I was outside the U.S. embassy for most of them. You get me? That was murdered in America way mm. before George Floyd, mm. which was building up the anticipation. Mm. And then the George Floyd thing on camera. They that, just used that, that policeman the, as a scapegoat. That was, the, that was the straw that broke the camel's back because the way it was filmed. And it was so, I can't breathe. And mm. it was so graphic. Yeah, but what I'm saying is there was a build up to that. So for you to even say anything to take away from the fact that there's a problem with police brutality towards black people in America and for Candice Owens and Kanye West to say that and then for there to be black people that are supposedly conscious supporting that narrative, I'm confused what's going on. I'm mm. confused. I'm like, Kanye's a genius, bro. He made some brilliant music. Mm. But brother, just because a man can play tennis or a man can play basketball mm -hmm. or a man can write bars, that does not mean that the man has principles and integrity. Okay. And, and because and, and every every clock is, is twi right twice a day. 
A broken clock is right twice a day. So yes, he said so- certain things that are facts, hundred yeah. percent. But everyone, Andrew Tate said facts. Mm, Kevin mm-hmm. Samuel said facts. Every single person says facts. But what I'm, what I point out is the things that they say that are quite, quite big, big yeah. that aren't facts. Like when Andrew Tate and Kevin Samuel say that a woman's value is based upon her looks. Now you're gassing up all yeah. these plastic chicks yeah. Yeah, and yeah. making them feel like feel they're like something yeah, and yeah, then yeah, you're yeah. stopping them from actually realising that you're nothing without substance. Yeah, you're yeah. nothing without loyalty. And dumbing down women honesty. also because you know if you're saying that anything under 25 ain't good... And we all know that wisdom comes with growth and them kind of things as well. Like you're keeping everybody young and dumb. Do you understand what I'm saying? Um, Yeah, I totally agree with you. What I don't like with Kanye, because he has some strong messages, but he uses his personal, puts his personal in it a bit too much. I don't care about what's going on with you and if Kim ain't letting you see... You know what I mean? Like, yeah. he's making that our main issue. Yeah, yeah. And when you was with Kim living good and that, that had nothing to do with us. Do you, yeah. under, do you understand what I'm saying? Do you get me? Like, I, I, don't, I don't rate all of that. What do you think about him getting um, banned now because he's spoken about certain communities? I'm saying that for me personally, yeah, like, I don't agree with anyone getting banned for talking about um, anti-Semitism or whatever mm-hmm, mm-hmm, is, mm-hmm. Get, because we're the original Semites anyway if you do history you get me we're Semitic people if you mm. do history African people are Semitic people yeah we come from Semitic lands we speak Semitic languages Ar- Maric mm-hmm. Ethiopia is a Semitic language so this whole trying to take the whole Semitic thing that confuses me right but for me personally you say the original Jews uh, black, black people like, yeah there was there mm. was black people from Africa you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. um, but my thing is with like, I don't agree with the censoring of anyone, even the Andrew Tate, Kanye West. Wiley. I feel like, I feel like big up Wiley. Yeah, like, let's, free let's Wiley, keep it every close to home. Car. Wiley's our guy. Mm. Like, the fact that we let that happen was mad, mad. to me. But I saw someone time, wrote in the, the comment. Time, yeah. I'm trying to bu- I tried to build up my team because Wiley should have never done that. Wiley should have hit up respect and said, Ras, they're messing with me, you know. Can you make a video? And then I make a video. He puts it on his story. They can't cancel him. They try to cancel me. I can't be cancelled. I'm in the community, bro. Mm. Huh? I can lock off Instagram tomorrow and I'm big in Tottenham. I'm big in... I'm big everywhere man is. Man's big in the community for actual... I know the community. Mm. So I don't need the internet thing. You get me? I don't care about that. So that's why the man them for use me. You mm. get me? And, and keep them... I was pissed off when Wiley... I was like, blood, why just hit me up? Because I would have gone and said everything, and I would have said it in a more articulate <laughs> way as well. Mm. Because you know, Wiley sometimes expands mm-hmm. out. You get me? But Wiley, I feel like them man there are, are, are foundations to the scene. And the only way he can get cancelled is paedophilia or something like that. We're not cancelling him for anything he said about you, man. Because end of the day, and this is not just about Jews, this is about everyone within the music industry that is funding our music industry get me whether they're bangladeshi whether they're jews whether they're australian or whether they're aliens there's men that are investing in us talking about the destruction of our own community and they're getting paid from us talking about the destruction of our but own when community. you when you when you see who you can't speak against then that's when you see who is in control oh, uh, right you get so me I don't because there's there's, there's a reoccurring thing that's happening here yeah, yeah yeah that we get spoke about every day yeah every no, a man will talk about murdering a black and man and you're cool you with speak it. Out but about, if you talk about LGBT. You speak out about yeah, yeah. or you talk about LGBTQ. Or, or, yeah, or, or Semitic. Yeah. If you talk about <laughs> anything like that. LGBTQ and, and you get, get your words wrong. Don't and believe in that if, you, cube, if, like. if you get your words mixed up in that, hey, you, you can be cancelled, but yet you can talk about killing black people. So we can see that the world is telling us that we are we we Black lives don't matter again. Exactly. You get me? That's what they're screaming to us. But, but Kanye, be- man, now Kanye, because you see Kanye, I see him like he's very, he's misunderstood. He's very calculated, yeah. But he's misunderstood as well because people say, yeah, he's a madman, he's this and that. But he's got explanations for what he's saying. Like he's got, do you get what I'm saying? Even when they was on to him about wearing the White Lives Matter shirt, I'll be honest with you, when I see him wearing that White Lives Matter shirt, it did nothing for me. I don't even care. Yeah, yeah I Like care. I didn't think, oh. Why is Kanye wearing a white like I didn't give a shit. I, I actually did though. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Some, but that's what he the did. The reason why I did is because he's yeah. supposed to be a voice. For, like, do you understand? I just but, feel like he shouldn't have done that. But what let me tell you they, what he, everybody he, he, he gave he gave his opinion on why he done it. Do you get what I'm trying to say? He explained this. He was like, uh, let me tell you. He explained this off. He said, look, when the whole Black Lives Matter thing was going on, yeah, I saw a lot of white people wearing Black Lives Matter shirt, which I did as well. Yeah, a lot of white people. I just done it to show them, like, um, 
to grateful. Like, yeah, so he, he's on mind games. I just done it to show them, look, your lives matter too. But what's wrong? What's he... We oh, never, but we, but, 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 but why is by us saying no. black lives matter so offensive to everybody it, it, else? It's not. You by us saying black so lives matter doesn't mean that, so that, that white lives don't matter no, to you lot. So because, because, so because these things are happening to right. blacks so for no reason. Yeah, yeah but no not reason. in the same way. Not, not in the same way. Do you understand? Why do you think they say support black businesses? Support, do you see them saying support white businesses? Because, because they're not getting um, they what's did, it called? They're not. Outraged. No one's not going in there because they're, they're white. Every, do you understand what I'm saying? They, what they, are you talking about? If this is They've had business, plenty. Of, do you know outraged. what makes me laugh as well? You see, just by us, Simpson. it's so funny. It's so funny. It's so funny that free words. It's so funny that free words were so offensive. You get what I'm saying? You're not meant to say. You're not meant to say that. You know what I mean? You're not meant to talk up after seeing all of these things going on. What we're saying is. What's happening to us isn't Elliot, happening to you lot. Way, Do you get what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's yeah, what that cause was all about. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. wasn't about anybody else. It was what, about us. What, We're not taking Kanye. it from no one else, but it was about what we was going through. What about Kanye is more famous than big up Brad, than Donald Trump. Youngster Brad. Yeah. But we yeah, big up, big up, big up, big up, big up, big up, big up. We're not saying that. We're, we're not. Trump. Trump. You, you get me? Big up Alfie. My Scottish white boy. Are you listening? Donald Trump, yeah? Donald Trump, he was, he was wearing the Make America Great hats again. Kanye West, right? Yeah. Mer when was the last time America was great? If you're saying Make America Great again, then you have to talk about when America was great, right? In the first place. When was, when was America great? When black people were slaves, bro? Okay. So, so what I'm trying to say is, even before the White Lives Matter thing, he's pandered. He's been, he's been pandered towards... Um, but Trump, I rate Trump, huh? though. Maybe I'm a Kanye as well, you know? Maybe. Oh, yeah, maybe I'm. I mean, I but I, but I, I know. But maybe you know, I don't know. You, you but I'm just sure. saying, maybe like, I, I can, I, you know? I think Kanye is very talented and all of that. Yeah, but I still genius. think that he Beautiful does. Genius. But he, hundred yeah. percent. And I feel like that he has some proper strong messages in what he's saying. Even up to the last interview that he did, yeah. there's there is stuff I agree yeah, with. Cool, yeah. But let's not hide the fact that he does fuckery at the same time. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. does fuckery and he says fuckery yeah. and he reap what he sow. Yeah. Kim isn't any different to what he, she was when he went with her. Yeah, so I don't see why you should be on the on the on the internet moaning about what's mm -hmm. going on with, with Kim. Facts. I don't want to hear. Do you understand what I'm saying? Why Facts. should that be our issue? Do you get what I mean? Facts. Big up Jay Z, Kai. You patterned it right with Beyonce still, and and Nipsey and um, Nipsey and Lauren Lundy. R.I.P. Mm. Nipsey, Kai. That 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 R. R. Pair, I loved it. I loved to just see Nipsey and. Lauren London Gucci, and, man. And, and see, I love and Gucci. Man, yeah, Gucci see, and Kior. You know, Come man, on. That's what I'm saying. Bad man Gucci yeah. and his wife, yeah, you get me? Is. That forgave him for, you get what I'm saying? His wife forgave him for weird things. You get me, big up Gucci. But your money is taller. <laughs> but yeah, those, those no, sort of relationships. Uh, I can't lie. I feel like it's important for next generation to see those relationships, especially when you're seeing like future cheat on Cardi. Or whoever her boyfriend offset whatever mm -hmm. it is, cheat on her multiple times and buy a new Birkin bag every time he cheats on her <laughs> and because this is what our daughters kids are expensive you know yeah but I don't care blood my daughters are gonna have a, a level of self respect where no man can't do that are you mad mm. Like, mm. you can't buy him up you can't buy me like and that's what I'm saying when I'm talking about value and um, and I'm talking about even well that's why See, that's, that's why we. Have you seen that he got he went he got reminded in that's the yeah. next current affair that, yeah. that football he got reminded in okay yeah, that's reason, but that, that that's why the woman's worth has that. to be instilled back into society yeah. as well see, if they don't feel like that. they're if they feel like they're only here you see like with these shows yeah that are they're casting women away after a certain time mm -hmm. saying that they're only good for certain things and whatever whatever mm -hmm. that's bringing the value of the woman down yeah. So with, without her knowing her worth, those are, that makes women start settling for rubbish. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. I just feel like the wrong messages are being pumped out. But Do you I know what I mean? Women are very, it's very difficult, even for men as well, but I think for women in general, it's very hard to give women advice because women lack the ability to take account of accountability a lot of the time. So like, let's say if a woman's been with a guy mm. and he's done bad and you say, yo, you should pick the men that you're dealing with better, she's going to take that as you blaming her not telling her to take accountability so she makes better choices about the future men she's she's with. So it's very difficult, I think, for men to even give women like that advice of how they should navigate because a lot of the time it gets taken as very personal. So for me, my thing is with the man them, we need to stop even talking about women and we need to talk about the sort of men that we need to be as men. You get me? I'm talking providers. Mm. I'm talking protectors. 
You get me? I'm talking, you're pouring into your woman, you're understanding what her dreams and passions are. And every day, yo, babe, have you, have you mm. started that part of your business? Have you did Because that's more valuable than money. You know what I'm saying? Making sure that she's patterned. So even if you're together for two years, she knows in that two years, she, she raised herself up. So even if you used to go different ways, both of you was ma- managed to use that relationship to raise yourself up. You mm. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I, I think that's where the real value is for me. And then everything else will come into space. You get me? Like, but obviously, like I'm saying, man can't take any advice from me or... Mm. Kip, or no, I, I hear that, yeah. But I just feel like they beat... They beat. have done this for yeah. 35 years, so they're the dons that are really the yeah. OGs of this thing. Yeah, 30 years, 20 years, yeah, got their family, build it up. Mm-hmm. That's the only thing in life that I feel like, if man's not doing that, what are we here for? Oh, you yeah, you're a madman, yes or no? He's not. A, he's a. He's a calculated attention. I think there's method to his madness. Madman, yes or no? But he's a. He's a genius. He's a. He's a genius. Musical genius and a calculated attention. I just think Kanye needs our help. Just like what you said about Wiley, he's still a black man. Yeah. So he's not someone that we should just throw to the land. Yeah, he's a madman. Wiley man, over Kanye every day. Yes. Yeah, you get me? He's not someone that I should think we should just leave. Oh, he's a madman and da 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 and protect him because he's a black man. Same way. You get me? That like how they trying to ban him? All of us like. He's branding him like he's a black man, but his money's tall up anyway. So, boom, big up Kanye anyway. No, if he spoke out for Nick Cannon when they tried to ban him, I'll be with him. But my thing is, these guys like to sit down with the Zionists and make money with the Zionists, and then as soon as the Zionists do something to them, mm-hmm. all of a sudden you want to beef the Zionists and you want mm. everyone, everyone to, to beef them, them on your the time. Wiley, though. That's the same as Wiley. No, but Wiley See, we, do, we don't want to have that conversation, no, do no, we? Look, using my one. He's using my ones now. You don't have that conversation. Let's not have that conversation. Let's not have that conversation. But you know what? Doing up Rolex and all of that stuff. Do you know what I mean? No, like, like, you, but let's they pick and choose it. when they want to pick up the cause. No, no, they why, pick and why, choose why when they want to pick guy, up the cause, trust why, me. Why, 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 no, why, no, why, why he was saying bits but before they cool. cancelled him? He it's was, fine. I'm we're going to go on to the um, bouncer versus liquor man thing. Oh, okay, uh, we're not well, going on about... What about the Prime Minister? We're going to get into that. Fuck the Prime Minister. Boom. We're going to get into that. We're going to get into that. We're going to get into it at the end. Let me say one thing. Wiley, if you're following Wiley... Wiley was trickling things about the Zionists way before he went public, you know, and got cancelled. He said, was always... We've got to move on. We have to move on. We have to move on. <laughs> Bouncer versus Liquor Man. Shout out Congo Natty, because I've done a show with Congo Natty and Wiley. Way Bouncer versus Liquor Man, yeah? We've seen oh, them join, them join back together. Yeah, huh? oh, oh, they're back together yeah, now. Yeah, they've joined oh, back together. Don't ask me about... No, I, I don't, I, I don't want to get into this. Oh, you, you got... I want to no, hear your me, opinion me, on bro, that. I'm, bro, I'm old school spray. Old school. Like, see the snitch thing? What, oh you, what are you shit. asking? What are you asking? I'm old oh. school. He's a madman. I don't, I don't know about oh. the rest He's of these guys. I don't know about, about your industry. Bouncer and liquor, man. I, don't I know heard what he said. I heard, yeah. Mm. He said something. I'm not. <laughs> the man yeah, said something. Yeah, I'm not the guy, bro. You see so me, bro? So not your guy? Nah, bro. And I loved oh. him as well. But before he done the podcast and said my bridge was 15, we all lost bridges huh? at 15, bro. What? Stop yeah, saying he did it deep, We all lost bridges at 15, bro. What are you talking about? He did what? Did what? Did. Yeah, he, did. yeah, he said he'd done it when he was 15. Yeah. When he was Brother, 15. we all lost Bredrins at 15, bro. Mm. Uh? Who wasn't losing Bredrins? Who wasn't losing Bredrins at 15? Me. Huh? I didn't lose no Bredrins at 15. I'm being honest what, with you. What, so you would have snitched at 15 if you lost your Bredrins? No, I wouldn't have snitched. Right, I'm telling you, 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 just said who, you, you just said it like everyone Brother, was losing Bredrins ma- at 15. I said I wasn't. I rather, I'm just being honest. What? You never, I'm just being what, honest. You never saw... I lost I lost the Bredrins for, 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 for a fucking asthma attack, mate. <laughs> I see if I see even laugh, but I'm saying. No one spoke about Stanley's thing. Mm? No one at any point did say that, did he? Uh, mm. No one spoke about it. Look. <laughs> brother, brother, there's a man doing bird right man, now. Yeah, yeah, speak. Yeah, How are we yeah. going to disrespect them, bro? Mm. There's man right now that niggas are saying. Big up bouncer. Brother, there's you niggas. Saying. Brother, you listening? Big up my. Are you listening? Are you listening? Big up bouncer. Are you listening? Listen. The only thing I can rate is it's not like 6 9 where a man's bragging about it and all of that. So respect his team. Listen, I've got respect for bouncer. No, but I've got Like you said, yeah? He took it on, like, I don't respect snitching, yeah? Let me get this straight. But I've got respect for bouncer. Let me tell you, let me tell you, let me break this down quickly yeah. and simply, right? You've got an age, yeah? When they say you're not allowed to fuck, y'all, you're, you're not allowed, anything under 16, you're not allowed to do that. Why? Because they're not an adult, yeah? So, see, where you've done that before your adult stage, not saying that it's right. Not saying that I would, mm. but you're a kid. Mm. You're a child. I've got a 14-year-old. Do you understand? So in one year time, less than a year, furthermore, in a few months, my 14-year-old is going to be bouncer's age. 
he's a child. Do you get what I'm trying to say? So mm-hmm. anything like cool, whatever, but he stood up to it and said he's not there's nothing on his on his file past that age. As in big when you're a big man no, no, and you listen, should know you know should know what you're speak. doing then. Let me know yeah? when I can speak, yeah? Carl, what I'm saying is Can't like, speak yet. Boom! No, no I'm joking, go go go. Go. No, go on, you're a passion, is, I don't want to start said, you Daf, I don't want to start him off. Daf said a snitch is a snitch, even mm. if he was in year six, mm. yeah, in his bar. He talked about Daf Daf's taking... Yeah, yeah, yeah. He talked yeah, about yeah, Barca. Yeah, 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 He's yeah. on to him. Because, blood, man's ends is different, bro. Free Daf, big up Daf, it's not your ends. It's not your ends. No. Every ends is like this. But what I'm saying I've is got my own no. way of thinking. No, but what this I'm saying, saying is, I'm not thinking like my ends. Brother, what I'm saying is, brother, it does not, even if it's man's cousin, man's right hand, it don't matter, bro. Mm. Like, for me, brother, there's man them doing big birds right now, bro. Like, and we're saying free them, but then I can't do that at the same time and endorse a man that's that's out and he might have even got the original pity. Because remember, when you snitch, you might be a paid police informant. Mm. But from when we're seeing a man with bare peas and that, we don't know where the peas is coming from. On top of that, you can't say... Bridget, you can't say you can't say your bridge and died at 15 and then you you're you're one of the main people that invested in dig that and all these draw artists that was licking down themselves again so you're a money man you care about money over everything bro and when the when the thing happened with dutch he was like oh let's do a community fight so that me and you can raise money against the youths and knife crime you don't care about the youths and knife crime let's be real yeah you care about money and you're going to do anything to get money. the money and and the fact that you've got money has made a lot of people in the industry bypass the fact that you're a snitch that's basically it bro like but if you go to any block or any ends where man's outside on the block and you ask man my man's a snitch but he's a millionaire no one cares okay he's a snitch say that and do your thing i'm not saying anyone should ride on him i'm not saying anyone shouldn't collaborate or whatever but me personally but the, the, the g in me no but it's not about should you be cancelled <laughs> no, the g no, in no, me bro no, the g in me bro no. like if i'm gonna be on road i'm doing 20 years i'm doing my life sentence or get off the fucking road and the problem is when we endorse people like so we're teaching youths that they can do this road thing when they're 15, think they're bad. When their brethren died, they can snitch and now you're out of it. 15. No, it don't go like that. It don't 15. go like that. Get off the roads at 15. 15. Go to fucking school, bro. Go school. The mic, there's no mic going. Oh. Go s- huh? yeah, you went to, but oh. go, to go school. In. Go get your education. You get me? Get your plumbing job. Come off the roads. All these man, all these man, these man the fronting, mic. all these man fronting like they're on the roads and then you're snitching, but I don't respect it. Come off the roads. I respect the youth that done his nine to five. Yeah, I never said nothing way more than I respect any man that came on the roads mm. and then snitched and then justified. Yeah, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't, like he, didn't he didn't know what he's doing. Easy wants to say something. Come, come. Yeah, I just want to ask, um, what age group would you consider as um, past the youth? And then, you know, what's the age? 16. 16. So he was very close. Season? No, I'm saying, but so... He was very yeah, close. So me, personally, that's what I say. Me, personally, I just wouldn't, innit? But I'm just, I'm just looking at it from a different angle because... I'm doing a I'm doing a podcast, fu- innit? Yeah. so I have to look at different angles. I can't just have. You and you're a dad. You're looking at it because you're you're looking at like your son as well. Your son's age group my, as well. My, my, my son's you. Don't get it twisted. My son ain't snitching. Yeah. Let me just put that out there. <laughs> my son ain't snitching. But I'm just saying. I'm look, he's a child. Brother, when I heard he's a child. Brother, when I that's heard, all I'm saying. Not that he's snitching. But I'm just saying he's a child. He shouldn't something. If he was to do something now, that shouldn't stick with him. For the rest of his life, but that's because how the rose obviously, goes, if though, that's brother. how you was, no, but if that's how you, then snitch forever. He's had other opportunities to snitch and haven't snitched. Do you get what I'm saying? And in his older age, he's had but other you, opportunities brother, to snitch. We never get the names of police informants. We never get their Bruv. names, but they get paid. Bruv, mm-hmm. it's so like, when you're flashing say, bare bands and that, I don't know where the bands are coming from because mm. you didn't make it from music. You said, mm. yeah. So where's the bands coming from? Spice. You get me? I, I, Spice. Heard, I, heard, I heard for that Spice. I heard for that particular case, there was a 30 bags for whoever spoke or 20 bags. That's what I heard still. So I don't know, blood. And I, this thing is, I don't know. 15. Mm. Huh? Got paid, 30 quid. I don't know what man I'm got joking. paid. I don't know if man's still getting paid. And I think that's the problem. Once you snitch once, you just lose integrity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that's Integrity's like, gone. Your, your integrity once is you gone. snitch once... But, but, but for me, it's like, I don't want it to seem like a hater thing because when I... Bouncer, I used to love... When Bouncer, Bouncer was one of the first men to support my thing. Mm. Yeah, one of the first men to shout out my thing. Bouncer yeah? don't like you, though. And, and me, I, w- I, I wanted to link up with Bouncer and then I saw the thing with Tricky and I was like, no! Mm. Cause I heard it, bare man was phoning me. I posted Bouncer one time and I had 
Real G's from inside the pen. Yeah, he was sitting down with your uncle. I had, I, I had my, yeah, I know. I forgot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh like, my so, gosh, so, I forgot. So, so, so these times, that's when he said it. These, that's yeah, it. yeah, 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 yeah. So these times, I'm get, I'm getting dons phoning me from the pen saying, "Ras, how you endorsing my man? He's a snitch." I'm saying, bro, I don't know who's. A, I heard bear man get snitched. Called Blood. Called a snitch. I was getting I, man telling me why am I getting him on I, my show? Until I see Suck it. your mother. Until like I, you can't tell me about who am I getting on my I show until I see the paperwork, bro. Yeah, I don't know if he's a snitch. So when man was coming at me, I was defending him from the sense that I haven't seen no paperwork. So when he sat down and said, bro, I snitched, I was 15. These times, bro, I lost Bridgens at 14. I lost Bridgens <laughs> at 15. I would never snitch. I'm never going to snitch. It's never going to happen. Mm. I'm going to do my bird. I'm going to come off the roads. It's very simple. Your choices are very easy, blood. Come mm. off the fucking roads. That's it. That's all you got to do. But you know you what can't is? be out here, bro. It's like me. Because when you're, when you're, because when Bouncers with his brethren and his brethren were doing whatever they're doing and he's done whatever, is he going to go snitch on himself? No, you're not. So it's not fair. Because you've got one side, one gang, that's fucking uh, sticking to the code and then you've got a next gang that's working with police. How is this man even going to win, bro? Yeah, yeah, my whole thing, like I'm going back to it, he's 15, safe, you know? Like, it's not something that I, I don't envisage myself doing, yeah? I don't think I would do it, but... At the same time, I was never in that position. It's like, next man, but I'm not even going to get into that. Yeah. But there's man that's died around their bridges and whatever, they've ended up whatever. Do you get what I'm trying to say? But it's easy for me to sit, and I'm talking about killers, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. How about that? Man that's, yeah, let me not yeah. even get into it. Mm -mm. But there's man that's done that. And but there's only quite fuck the place, man, questions. But that's still wrong what you've done. Do you get what I'm trying to say? But you know what it is? As a child, so there's things that you might do as a child that when you get older, you know you went mad. You know that was mad. So now it's mad. No, Quiffins. I'm not saying, I'm not, Quiffins, I'm not saying that was society. mad. No, it's mad. Yeah. I don't agree with it, yeah? But I'm saying, like I said, he's a child, isn't it? And I've just never been in a, look, Chip done it, Chipmunk. There's, there's a few people that's done it. But we won't hold Chip accountable for it because Chip wasn't not to be It's not about he wasn't claiming yes. to be rolled. Mm. It's not about he wasn't claiming to but be rolled. It's because snitch. he's not rolled. Because if you listen to some of his lyrics, then he's saying little things. He's still yeah, around. Cheeky, he's still growing yeah, up cheeky, with us. He's growing up around us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So is it one look? So do you get what I'm trying to say? He was young, innit? Do you get what I'm trying to say? So why should, what, what, am I going to get account? So I'm now... It's looking mad for me, but not for Chip, because I've now done a 10. Brother, I love My man went and done a 10 stretch, bouncer. So if you're a snitch, yeah, snitch your way out of that. Like, this is a man, like, not like that, but that's why I will get out right, cool bouts, because you're still gone and you sat down. And then came out and invested in the same thing that you just snitched about. So it's not like you came out and you went to change the thing. You came out and you made money off of other youths doing the same thing that you're talking about. These youths are glorifying murder and you're mm. fucking making money off it, bro. So my thing is, if you're going to mm. snitch, become a probation officer and come off the road. Not enough don't money. Go back and invest in, don't go back not and invest. Not enough money. But go be a not probation officer. Not enough money to be a probation officer. Be, be, not you know what I'm saying? Be a mm. probation officer. Go in one of them jobs there. Don't come back. Go and say, oh yeah, I snitched because I was 15 and then invest in other 15 year olds. To no, do the but same you know thing. what? Yeah, not like that. that yeah. Make sense. money off them. You're like the same Jews that the man they were talking about, but you're black. It's even worse. See, bouncer, why I always say, all right, cool, cuz this is too much why for that. We're talking about a man too much and he's not here. But I'm saying, like, he's like, I don't rate it. It's not something I rate or whatever, but I give him that blind. He stood up to it, innit? Do you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah, he's give given. There's a lot of people that will just say, they'll just chat shit in it and they won't, they just won't address it, innit? Mm -hmm. Do you understand? They won't even address like nothing. Do you get Bounce what I'm trying to say? 100%. But do you know what I mean? But uh? at the same time... <laughs> oh, my God. I know, I know, Bouncer. <laughs> no, but do you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah, you nah. don't know him. Yeah. I know Bouncer. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you get him from a little kid, innit? Yeah. Like when he used to come around. So that's just not the but vibe I, I've got from I him. I love the success, from the start. I just can't, you brother. Saying? I don't think man take it personal. If my brother, my blood brother, if it was easy, if it was anyone, yeah, yeah, yeah. snitch, I just got to cut them off. Because yeah, yeah. I'm from the roads, like, brother. Mm. Like, man actually lived this thing, sleeping on buses and trains. Mm. So man's hate for feds and the system is embedding man a lot different from, I think, a lot of man. So for me, it could be my brother, my mother, my sister. Like, if you're saying you're on the roads and you snitch, I just can't trust you again. That's it. Like, I, 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 don't, I don't think yeah, that yeah. All, this, all the industries thing, the industry people are meant to endorse him because they don't come from the same code we come from. You know what I'm saying? I understand, like, you get me? Do your thing, provide for your family, 
but just try to make, have more principles and integrity when you move forward now. Like, it's not a hate bouncer thing, you know. I've n- I never spoken it's on too this. too late. Thing. You get me? What, what were you like, talking about? Like, <laughs> the, 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 um, what do you I have? don't hate no man, you know. Well, but, yeah, the I don't rate Prime switches. Minister, you mean? Is that it? Mm-hmm. Is that the last one? Mm-hmm. All right, so the Prime Minister's thingy. I don't even know. I didn't even know we had a new Prime Minister. That's how she remember, yeah, she we was. did Liz. She yeah, came know, in when, when, Queen, when the Queen... Yeah, she, well, basically, she's yeah. only lasted 45 days. Yeah. 45 days, shortest in history. One Liz was the longest reigning in history, and she's the shortest reigning in history. Mm-hmm. So basically, she couldn't basically um, live up to the stuff, what, they, what she said she was going to do in it. And, um, yeah, so she can't do it. She sacked her her right hand man. She looked uh, mental. That anyway. budget. Look, He's out of here. She didn't even look it's like just she was one big team. mess. But I do you know that she's bags. still in t- ex prime ministers are entitled to a hundred and fifteen, up to a hundred and fifteen grand every year. Every year. Mm. She's up. Did you know that? Yeah, she's up. Yeah, she's got man. She shouldn't get it though for just forty five days. Well, that's how the thing around. Isn't it? Yeah, you you went and got me into prime minister. Why not? Yeah, I'm gone straight away. One fifteen a year out of this. Yeah, yeah just take a li- lower position. I think they forced her out, though, innit? Mm. Yeah, she had to go. She was just... Why they put her in is because they know the people that are dumb, right? Mm. So Boris messed up, so they mm. put in someone worse than Boris, so now everyone's begging for Boris back. Mm. Boris is a bad boy, this, man. This is, this is why they do these stuff, you get me? Because it's like, better the devil that you know. So now you're mm-hmm. picking the uh, next waste, man. It's like what they done with Bush... And then man, they, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? They replace man with someone worse, like Biden and, and Trump. After Trump, they put him... Biden, Biden. Biden, B- Biden, Biden, whatever. They mustn't they do what was going to happen. Because lo- Bo- 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 Boris can come let back, can't he? I easy. Biden, Bo- I had to... Because like, Boris didn't... Me, he actually yeah. didn't resign. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't an official resign resignation, was it? Okay, yeah, I think yeah. he just stepped down in position or whatever, yeah, so he can come back. as well, all the scandals and that. But for me, I'm like, yo, it's a big pantomime. Yeah, whether you're on the left or the right side. It's, it's a big wings. masquerade, isn't it's it? It's a wings of the same bird, left or right wing, yeah? Big it's all masquerade. wings of the same bird, mm. yeah? And all we've got to do is build up within our community, just like the, just like the Jews. They're, they're a very good example in Stamford Hill mm. that no matter what government's in, them men are set. Don't matter what government. Yeah, I feel good. like, yeah, I feel good. like, I feel like, own community. yeah, we need to have our community. I feel like we way. need, yeah, I feel like the young ones in that definitely need to just be more in tune in regards to what's happening with politics because these things affect us. Do you understand what I'm yeah. saying? Politics is what governs you. Yeah, exactly. And um, with what's even happening here with the woman going, I think it's between like Boris and this next guy, Rishi Sunak or something, some rich, rich guy that yeah, can't, yeah. he can't relate to yeah, our way of thinking yeah, and all of that. They can't relate to the way we're thinking. So those people, what is that, where's that going to leave? Bring back our Jeremy kind Corbyn, of people, do you understand what I'm saying? And Jeremy. I heard that they was even trying to get rid of the human rights and all of these things. They've been doing trying to get rid of human rights, you know, like the blackouts, you know, like what they were saying about they want to do the blackouts to save energy and that. You heard about all of that, innit? They want to do like blackouts like two hours a day and stupid things like that to save um, electricity. Deeks, you must have heard about that, innit? Yeah, it was even on the news. So they're trying to run all these kind of things. You know what's going to happen if there is blackouts, though, innit? What do you think will Earth. happen when they... Exactly. 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 So Earth. to me, all of these things are <laughs> designed to create... Um, what's it called? What do they call? Car- like, car- what's it? Car- you know what I mean. Like, they want... Man- yeah, exactly. Huh. I think she was trying to say carnage. What? Car- but there was another word yeah, no, that I was trying... These, yeah. And, and, but I do you know what I'm... Carn, you yeah, but I, I was... What, you trying mm, to say, but what do you think, Spray? I think we need to go to a break for our RTM ban. I don't give a shit about the Prime Minister. I want to ban a zoo. You don't care about what's good? What? I want to smoke a spliff cream. I want to RTM ban. I want to take a break for RTM ban. <laughs> you <laughs> fucking like, hell. That's why I've even saying that. Is that it? Look, look where we're at. Look. Mm. What, what's going on? So you don't even know, yeah? How much you can hurt a man? The man is broke, bro. Money don't even matter, bro. You know, I've got too much. What does a car matter? I've got the nicest car. I always had them. I don't have you. I don't want no one else, bro. What the fuck, bro? I don't even want to fuck no one. I can't be asked no more, man. Oh, shit. Yo. Oh, please ring me. I beg you. Oh. Ladies, let me tell you this. It's 2022. This pillow arrangement on your bed is long now yeah 
I went to her girl's house and she had this pillow. By the time she took off the, all the pillows, I went to sleep. I went to sleep. It took her 45 minutes. Who, why would you do that? Listen, get a man in it. Get a man. These bag of pillows, it don't look good. Yeah? Because you're putting the pillows, on, <laughs> you're putting them on the floor after. So they've got floor dust on your bed now. Work the hygiene levels out. Low it, innit? Yeah? One bag of pillow. Now, you're sad. Get a man or a blow up man. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Boom. And we back. You get what I'm saying? Back. Back like we never left. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> Boom. You get me just finished. Get bad up by the queen. Mm-hmm. But before all of that anyway, you can see. Boom. Real of the most. Real of the most. Clothing. Back in the place. You get me? Follow the mm-hmm. RTM. Clothing original. And, um, on the um, Instagram. All the new colours and all that. And sizes back in the place. So, yeah, all of that. Get involved. But, yeah, um, Queen just badded me up. Corey, see, like, about the thing, innit, that she went on saying, boom. Because, obviously, they got in contact with man, innit? <laughs> yeah. They got in contact with man to get a run, innit? Because they've seen her on, on TikTok. She's going with herself. She's talking bare pH balance and bare madness. You get what I'm saying? So, they've contacted man. How oh, can we have... Queen, boom, all right, cool. She's gone on there. Do you get what I'm saying? Which was heavy anyway. You get what I'm saying? Kai? Thank you. It was heavy. You get <laughs> what I'm saying? So, boom. You get what I'm saying? But, yeah. So, she had to big her up for that. And she ripped the thing. But, obviously, she's just going mad, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> she's going mad because she can't believe I'm not rating. She's thinking I weren't rating her thing. But I'm saying, nah. I rated your thing. You get me, Queenie? Straight. Even I didn't rate your thing. You get me? Like, it's my man's thing what was just kind of winding me up. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm. Like, she's not checking. That's how much man rate her. You get me? It's nothing to do with her. You get me? She performed well, but she didn't like his tone of voice. Like, if I was to, yeah. see, if I was to go downstairs now and he was to walk past, I'm <laughs> teased <laughs> <laughs> to page him. You get me? Mm. But boom now. Yeah. RTM clothing. Boom, we're going to get into the um, main subject. Um, today's main subject is man up. And for, wait, before the main subject, I just want to put a disclaimer. Mm-hmm. No, I'm not defending snitches, because Russ is <laughs> getting onto me as well. And easy, you get me? <laughs> like, yeah, so, and Deeks. Yeah, and Deeks. Oh and Deeks, and Deeks. Deeks. <laughs> They're all getting onto me, you yeah. get me? They're like, ah, oh, you're defending snitches. Mm. And because I want to be allowed in the shower community, you get me? Like, <laughs> <laughs> you got want to be banned from garden and that. You get what I'm saying? So, big up Ziggy, free Ziggy. You get mm. me, Ziggs? You know the thing already. You get me? Boom. Disclaimer, but you lot know what I'm thing. saying. You know what I, I was saying. I got thing to say as well. You know what I was saying. Go on, me, shower. I fully understand what man Basic, said about the sun. Just a touch, please. Hmm? Just a um, touch. Sorry. Yeah, I fully understand what man's saying about the sun thing and that. And for me, like, just when I was on the roads, mm-hmm. like, for me personally, there's only two things that you need to be, uh, on. like, for me, respected, you get me? One, you always back your brethren. Two, you don't snitch, you get me? Those are two things, like, and if you haven't got those two things, you should just not be on the roads. And when I'm saying that, I've got bare respect for my brethren that was footballers, my brethren that went to uni. Furthermore, those are the guys that are shining now, mm-hmm. you get me? And me, I mentor youths that are 15 that want to be on this road thing. And I can't mentor them and tell them get off the roads if they feel like they can just be on the roads, do what they're doing, and then snitch when they get so peak. So as a big deterrent from youths even being on the roads, yeah, that's why I'm saying them things there, how I see 6 9 in America and DJ academics and the way these men mm-hmm. I don't want that for London in it at all. And that's why even Bouncer... That's why the UK. Oh thing. my gosh, you're saying sorry. his name again. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You sorry, want sorry. me to start defending nah, listen, 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 <laughs> madness again? Listen, no, but I'm saying. You want me to defend no, more listen, madness? No, listen, let me finish saying I what I'm saying. I just gave my disclaimer. Sorry. You want me to defend I, nah, more nah, madness? Don't but defend nothing because you don't have to defend nothing. All I'm right. saying is I didn't bring up my man. I didn't come here to talk about my man. Mm. You asked me a question. Mm, and, it and, and because of the because man follow a certain code from young, I wasn't able to answer that question honestly without saying, look, that thing. We didn't even talk about the balance of liquor man. It's man. For me, I said that thing there, that thing there, yeah. No, nah, but listen, listen, I'm mm. saying that thing mm. there personally, yeah. I'm not, um, I'm not, I, I wouldn't have brought him up because I don't want to be tearing down any 
any brother that's doing his thing it's out. Too late. There. You get me? Tore him I'm down. saying in general, put him, him to down. one side. Put him, him. To, put him to fully one side. I was here to defend Just him. Just in general, where we came up, yeah, snitching, yeah, is something that man shouldn't do. And if you don't want to do 20 years for riding out for your brethren, come off the roads. Simple. All the youths out there, come off the roads. Because that's what this road thing is. This road thing is death and prison. And it's promised. If it's not today, it's not tomorrow. It's not a week. It's not two weeks. And if it's not for you, it's for the brethren that's standing next to you that you love. So if you love your brethren, you're going to do everything in your powers to come off the roads and stop glamorising the road thing. But you can't do both. You can't sign dig that and then tell me that you don't like the roads. It's kind of a bit mad still. Keep it moving. Boom. Main subject today. The name of the main subject is called Man Up. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Because one time I must have um, posted something where I was basically saying, like, man up, like, man need to man up. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, because be a mental health and be a man, this man, all that. So my thing was, like, man need to man up, yeah? And I got a yeah, mad backlash. Yeah, I remember backlash. that, actually. Huh? I remember that. Yeah, I got a mad backlash, yeah? Mm. And they was like, how can you say that? Like, <laughs> that. But I'm just going off the old school thing. <laughs> you like, were getting paragraphs. I was getting it, I was getting it. Yeah, yeah like, mm. how can you say, like, man up and... Yeah, but I'm just going off the old school thing, innit? Like, man on man, innit? Like, not like that, but... Do you know what I mean? There's things we just got to deal with as men. But it's mad, because saying that, after all of that, a big man's just reached me where I needed to man up. But I did. Do you get what I'm trying to say? But I did. So it's like, I'm not saying... When I say man up, it doesn't mean don't go through nothing. It doesn't mean don't feel how you're feeling, or... It just means man the fuck up. You get me? At some point, man up. You've had to man up. That's why you're here. Do you think all of us, yeah, walking this earth got things in our brains that's disturbing us or, do you get what I'm trying to say? That yeah. pain or whatever, yeah? yeah Trauma. Facts, do you facts. get what I'm trying to say? Even even to jump off the road thing, blood. Because when mm. I jumped on the, off the road thing and I started to come with, like, conscious stuff, like, man that new man from mm. the roads... Yeah, man's getting into situations in the ends, man, are moving to man's bridging or whatever. And man's, <coughs> man's saying, you've gone soft. And you know what that does to a man's mm, ego? It's an like, ego kill, isn't it? Spray. You see, like, five years ago, you couldn't even, you wasn't even out here. You was in yeah. diapers still. What are you talking about? Man's yeah. gone soft. And what it does is it affects your ego in a way where it now makes you want to prove to a next man that that's not the case, you get me? And get you to do something that's against what you know is best, which is... Man preserving man's life and building up man's family. But, like, for me, it's like with a man up thing, I think that on the just in general, every youth that's on the roads, every single one, like the ones that are here for the pain anyway, all of them are suffering with depression and to some degree PS- suicidal. And PTSD. And, and, not, and some degree suicidal. And when I say suicidal, there's like, you could be suicidal and you're slicing yourself or you're mm. taking pills and that or hanging yourself up. Or you could be just living a lifestyle where you can die or go to prison at any time. Mm. And I feel like, for me, when I was young, when I was 12, 13, 14, I didn't think I could fit into the society at all because I knew I wouldn't be able to deal with the racism that I see my mum deal with and all of these things. You get me? So I knew I was going to be on the road and I know I'm not going to snitch and I know that I'm not going to leave my brethren. So mm. I'm going to die or go to prison soon, innit? I ain't really got long out here. And I feel like anyone who's out here... F- who, any youth that's 13, 14 and the, the life's brought them out here, that's a realisation that man have to have. So then that's why man lives so low, so crazy. It's down to a level of self-love. You mm. know what I'm saying? But at the same time, you can't just be there crying and moaning as a man and do what women tell you. Oh, open up, be vulnerable. Because when you open up and you be vulnerable, this world will stamp all over you. Mm-hmm. That's why a lot of the drill youths, when they're having beef and that, imagine if one of them done a song saying, my brethren died, and it broke my heart, and I can't sleep at night. Do you know how much the ops and all of these youths on the internet would violate them? Mm. They're not allowed to show that. So to some degree, you got to keep your guard up to the world, yeah? But at the same time, not bury what you're dealing with. You have to deal with it. So for me personally, I've been through stuff, you get me? Mm. So and instead of opening up, I found stuff that I can do on my own. Because can't, you can't rely on people. Mm. People will switch up on you. People get their own problems. Yeah, you're the person you're relying on. They're mm. dealing with their own problems. Yeah. And then you feel disappointed. So what you have to do, I've done like, like self-defense, gym, mm. swimming, mm. riding, basketball. 
like find stuff that you just loved painting, <laughs> art, Wife whatever or riding. It is. Whatever, <laughs> bikes, <laughs> bikes. <laughs> this guy, bro. This guy. No. Yeah. Oh, but babe. what I'm saying is, find what you love, innit? <laughs> find what you love, whether it's writing bars, whether it's whatever it is, find what you love and invest as much time as possible into that. And that will help you climb. And a lot of people, blood, when they're talking about <laughs> depression, blood, the mm. last just messy. You get me? Clean out. Yes. Your I was yes. going to say, that's clutter. a big, yeah, that's a big Being team, messy you know? and yeah. being, I, listen, that's when I big. say that'll I'm a big believer. That will keep you in mental health. 50%. Yeah. 50% of your mental not, health is cleaning clean your yard. Clean your yourself. You know what I'm saying? Your yard, make sure everything. Exactly. Is straight. Yeah. And then your brain will just fall into place. You get what I'm saying? But what do you say, like, remember, you know, earlier on we was talking off off mic about there being two different types of people remember deeks you know like the one like when you said there's some people that would stay on the bus and you they will fight and then you'll get another one that might go to the front yeah yeah there's people that ain't built the same in it facts do you understand what facts. i'm saying and you're in an environment where you gotta be something that you're not facts. do you understand so what do, is your advice to like you said you went through a shit where you thought you wanted to man, you needed to man up, but you manned up. Mm. You're kind of a person like that. You, you know, you went to school, you you didn't get picked on or whatever. You would fight in it, so you're yeah, not yeah. that type of person. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. to those, so the men that what well, ain't like that, what would you say? Do you understand what I'm saying? You know, like that's, when yeah, 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 I agree because that's what I was. I was even gonna say like obviously because it's, it's easy to say man up coming yeah, from people from that are age. alpha you know alpha yeah. males and whatever whatever but not everybody's like that do you understand what well, i'm I, saying well, i wanted to reiterate myself because what i mean even man up because yeah, that's what br- that's what brings men to suits and them kind of things yeah, because yeah, they but can't even them man there like that's what i'm trying to say like my meaning of man up to them is ex- like our man up will be different to their man up because we're different people like it's different for us to man up. it might be easier or whatever but i'm saying Man up in a way. If they've got to go counselling mm. and all that, if that's what you've got to do, then do that. Try it, yeah. mm. Do you get what I'm saying? It's just not my thing. But I'm saying if that's what you've got to do. Because you said about burying something down and, and no matter what you're suicide. saying, no matter how you bury something, it, you can't bury it for too long. That's my you, have to re- you have to release. The thing with the suicide thing, my thing is you have to love the people that love you more than you love yourself. Mm-hmm. You get me? Mm-hmm. So my thing is, everyone that's committed suicide or anyone out there that's listening, that's, that's contemplating suicide, understand there's at least one person that loves you and that's the only person you're going to hurt when you commit suicide. And you've got people out there that hate you and they're only going to celebrate. So you're not going to benefit anyone you love and you're going to be uh, like a, a celebration to those you hate. So for, like on one side for the people you love, but on another side, on your ego thing, but what, rise up. <coughs> What rise I've um, that, you know what I'm saying. What I've noticed with people that have mental health or anything that I've watched, especially with like severe mental health, it's a very um, it's you're in a selfish place because you're so depressed that you're not thinking of anyone around you because you're yes. in such a dark place yes. for yourself. Yes. So it's kind of hard for that kind of message to kind of tap in, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? If the, the what we're trying to say is like. How do they release without looking weak or whatever? Because if when you're saying if a man cries or a man shows emotion, that's a weakness. How do they release their emotion? Because I'm a female, yeah, yeah, and I will cry. Yeah, I, 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 I'm, I know I'm tough. I'm whatever, but, I'm, but I, but when I cry, that's I feel better after. For, no, but you know what? Do you want it? But maybe that's I a woman. That maybe cry. that's a woman thing. If I feel I sad or something cry. touches me, I'm that. gonna no, no, cry. No, no, no. I didn't know how to cry. You cry still. I didn't do you understand what I'm saying? Cry. I didn't know how to cry for ages. Do you get what I'm saying? There would be something to make you cry. You get me? No, I, I get thought, tears no, come out fam, my eyes. Fam, 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 I thought the same thing for years, years and years. But anyway, boom. Mm. Crying. Do you get what I'm saying? But you know what? with men, what I would say, don't it, need it, to be it, crying it, in front of everyone. Yeah. Crying like you could go to your yard and cry. Let you me tell you something, saying? yeah. But I've been through so much blood, yeah, without crying, yeah. Like... To when I cried, it was like I wasn't even like it was mad. Do you mm-hmm. get what I'm gonna say? Because I should have cried so many times before. Yeah. If mm. that makes sense. I even cry when my mom died, yeah. 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 Do you get what I'm trying to say? Like, yeah. do you know what I mean? So it builds up. 
Yeah. Two, you're gonna cry. You get what I'm saying? And when you cry, it's mad. You get me? Wow. <laughs> yeah. Bro. I'm not crying again, but it's mad. Yeah. Though. You can't even believe you're crying. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm yeah. crying, man. See me. But this is there's mad. so much See men me. that yeah. don't cry. Man, though, like, do you not understand? Yeah. See me, yeah. You get me? I, I, I didn't use like I don't I, I don't know how to cry. I've been in situations where like Fam, I'm, I I'm upset I and know, I don't bro. know how to cry. But there's been times when I'm watching a movie though. Yeah. And I start feeling mad emotions, blood. Yeah. Yeah, my face start all twisting up. And brother, man, I can't control it, you know, fam. Mm. And I'm thinking, what's my this? Still. That's if You're I watch anything like with children, this, with children. Yeah, yeah and I'm thinking, I'm, I'm on my own watching a movie, You're you know, and it's not even that still. deep. It You're might be something simple, you. blood. I'm thinking, what's you. wrong with man, blood? There's something I want. You want to cry still. I want to, I want to. You want to cry, you don't want to then want. I want to let it all out. Because them time, some movies, I don't care about that. But it's because it's, it's in you. You want to yeah. cry, but mm-hmm. forget the movie. Mm. You want to cry. You know what happens? is when one saying? of the man them dies. Like when they killed, um, when they killed the young G in um, Top Boy. You get me? And the last one. You get me? Like even man's old school, like Bullet Boy. Mm-hmm. Like, like, like yeah. man's so UK. Like man, when people talk about Top Boy. You know Bullet Boy. Cause, and mm-hmm. even at the end of that blood, that was one of the most emotional moments in my life as a youth. <laughs> you get me? And I was like, why does the man them always have to die? Like, I want something where the man them win. You know, like that at the end. Yeah, the mm. man gets out. You get me? He makes his legit cash and you get me? does his thing. Even string a bell in the wire. I wanted him just to, I didn't want him to do the snitch thing. And I wanted him to win. You get me? Because he was representing UK. And then the way he went down, it was like, ah. Uh, you know mm. what I'm saying? It's emotional. Yeah. This is happening on the roads as well. You Did you it? feel better after you cried? You mean? Mm. I felt like a eater. Did you? Yeah, I right. felt like a eater. Because obviously... Like, he was like, what the fuck? Because I didn't know what was going on, innit? Like, man's crying, innit? Man. Oh, my brother Jamming done a video. Once, on you, you know, like Pringles, once you pop, you can't stop. <laughs> you told me. I'm not too much crying now. Do you get what I'm saying? So I've even had to check so myself. What was she? I realised that was mental health. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. It's all mental health. Nah, and I, I, I don't you know what I'm time, saying? When I first started Forever Where Family. I snapped out and cried right this now, year. When, when I first me? started Forever Family. Every this year, you get me? When I first started Forever Family, we was first doing our meetings, blood. And there was, like, some people... Saying, yeah, we got it to the end and rare, rare, rare and blood. My eyes started welling up. When we started, we had one joke where it was like, who's cutting onions? Mm. That's how emotional the thing was. You get me? Man mm. actually was like, yo, man's found the people that are willing to sacrifice just like me mm. and build up the community, blood. Are you mad? Mm. That's dangerous, bro. Like, that's the that's the danger. 50 man on training and doing this thing, it's long, fam. Mm. Like, like, yeah, we're just taking you, what, 15 year olds? Yeah, we're just taking them, take them Jamaica. You get me? Take them, some, show them different stuff. You get me? And mm. like, that was at the point. So, like, I have it, I've had emotional stuff when my cousin died. You get me? When Senses died, when Dells died, I've had emotional moments, R. R. but crying properly. RIP, RIP, RIP. But like, crying properly, I ain't really, I ain't really tapped into it. You get me? Mm. But my bridge and jamming, he done a, video on uh, mental health and mm-hmm. on crying and it went viral a little while ago you okay. get me and like he's someone that I feel like if people should follow Jamin MC I know Jamin man big yeah, up Jamin he's got a video mm-hmm. on his page bro and it's at such a level of cause I know that I'm mature in bare ways mm-hmm. emotional maturity mm. I'm, mm. Like, I'm, I'm not there you're not there yet my life I've always had to have a, a rock in front mm-hmm. of my heart mm-hmm. to survive remember mm. blood I'm sleeping on buses and trains so I'm making friendships and then I gotta leave. I'm living in Grove. Then I'm living in Wells. Then I'm living in Birmingham. Then mm. I'm living in Jamaica. Like I, I, so anytime I make, I, so I can't really. That's why even now with my peoples, my I don't have any friends. Like I got man them like easy, mm-hmm. who that man ride out with for mm. the community. But like other than that, man doesn't see no one. Man just dealing with family, making money. Easy just took his hat shifts. off. He can't believe yeah. he's not your friend. Easy's family. He can't believe he's easy. not your he friend. Said the way easy's he just family. Took his hat off. I ain't got yeah. no friends. I just got family that he I ride out with. can't believe he's bridging just yeah. sat in front of him. Yeah, yeah. he's not my no friend. friend. But to me, no, no, I feel wait, like... That's my family. Man, I feel yeah. like... Um, you ride out for yeah, the youths. Yeah, Birmingham. Feel, yeah, yeah, 80 pound in the <laughs> petrol. Yeah, easy's ride. Mm. Yo, easy, let me... Nah, nah. Even today, today when you drove man down there today, you get me, I said, yo, let me get you a food at one... Nah, nah, nah. That's easy. You get me? Like, even though the way... Come on, come on. But if we didn't both love the the community in the same way, we wouldn't be brethren's blood. You get me? Like, mm. there's, there's no bridging thing out here for me. It's just like, man's got family that I ride out with the community for. And a I mutual mission. Up, you get me? And that's it. You know what I'm saying? Man's man's building. You get me? I, I'm, 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 I've got blinkers on. Mm. Mm. So, so, so. Man's do, it's the impossible. 
When I started this thing spray, everyone was like, you can't do nothing. Wait, 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 wait. But a few years ago, everyone laughed at me. Now everyone that was laughing at me saying, yo, man, see the movement. I see what you're doing. Mm. You get Because it's the impossible. Saying that, we just went downstairs and someone just recognised him. Yeah, I love what yeah, you're doing. Yeah, big up. Da, 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 da. You get what I'm saying? So, mm. yeah, yeah. Come on, so you, you, we're getting we're getting there. Yeah, and same happened to you. Still. We're getting there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, yep. You get me. So the podcast thing, you get me. No one can't say nothing because it's given a pl- the way you've done your thing and the people that you've had on is given a platform to people that man grew up on. Do you get it? Mm. It's the it's the it's man's foundations. You get me. And I feel like there needs to be more of that voice of knowing, yeah, who our foundations are in the UK. Everything that you see, and the thing about Mike Josie and that big up Mike, big up Mike, the foundation, the CD thing, him, like I said, him, Nate, and Ruthless. That's who I saw with my brother mm-hmm. Milo when mm. I came out here doing the CD thing. Units, yeah, they had all of us youths that were doing robberies and shotting food. That was our only legitimate income. Yeah, the CD thing. Mm. You get me? And my bridgings, some of them like bags. Yeah, under the f- yeah, they was out here doing the thing. You get me mm. properly. So like for. for but at the same time, when they see people like Stormzy, like they should never try to pull them down. You have to understand that the where the success of the scene is at right now, the man them is in a gold mine, yeah? Uh. The, the man them is in a gold mine, licking away, yeah? And then, obviously, the next generation's gonna see gold. Uh. You get me? Like, but that's why man licked away. But one thing is that that next generation can never erase that foundation of what they're built on. You get me? So... For me, it's all one thing. All the success, when I see anyone successful from this next generation, mm. I see what happened before. I was there on the journey and I give credit to the man them that came and created that foundation mm-hmm. for the youths. And then after that generation, it's going to be a next generation. And they're going to have to look back at Abs and Band OK and Hedy and mm. you get me? And it's going to continue. Yeah, now big up Rimsy for paying homage though. Still. Big up Rimsy. Yeah, big up Rimsy. Rimsy's thing's hard. Yeah. Like even Rimsy when he does interviews, blood, mm-hmm. that man there drop mm. jewels. That, you mm-hmm. see me, I rate, I rate the UK because our thing's real. Yeah. Like mm. man actually drop jewels. It ain't no, yeah, we go and shoot up the, the, the funeral home. Like we're not on that thing. No, because I see in America, the man there slapped at um, one funeral and there was like a funeral home next to it and then man slapping at old people. Man don't rate that where man come from, blood. Like all this killing civilians, all of that. Like civilians can't even, for me, civilians can't be snitches because they haven't got no one to protect them. So yeah, they need to yeah. pr- rely on the system. I'm sp- specifically talking about man that's saying I'm out here and not, not anyone in particular. So in when America, you're 15, are you a uh, civilian? Uh? When you're 15, are you a civilian? A snitch is a snitch, even if we're in year six. <laughs> All right, yeah, mm. yeah. All right, you get me, but yeah, that's. But for me, I'm, I'm, I'm. My thing is like, we we're on the roads from young. Like I was on the roads from eleven, twelve. I was shot in. You get me. Mm. I was involved in beef. I was involved. Like man was moving with stuff. Man had to roll with tools to certain places. Like even to this day, like I, like I said, I've been in situations where where man are coming to my yard with things. I can't call nine nine nine, bro. What am I meant to do? Just be out there like a sitting duck for man to lick man down. Mm. You get me? So mm. I've had to come become very good with conflict resolution and the way I navigate myself. So if I am defending something, I'm fully in the right. You get me? Because I used to back my bridges right or wrong. Mm. But when I came back from Jamaica, that's what switched up. Mm. So if the man them are right, I got you. No one can't come and terrorize my bridges. But if the man them are wrong and you man went and robbed someone and them man are coming, but don't call my phone, blood. Because mm. I can't back because I used to back brother. I used to I used to be a I used to think I was a G, but I was a send out kid. Hmm. Like in the sense that, but I'll back anyone's beef, you know, blood. Mm. Yeah, I'm backing your thing like it's my thing. But you would have backed my thing like I'm backing your thing. Mm. But it's like in my head, man's just a defender, man's just mm. a. And then now, like, that's how I am as an activist. But I'm backing the youths. Mm. Get me? Mm. Whatever youths got any beef, I'll ride out. Yeah, there could be 10 men on the estate. Man's going to see them on my one sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Shanks getting flicked out. Zombie knives on both sides. I'm mm. in between. You get me? Shots going off. Mm. Yeah? The young man's, man's taking youngers to police stations where their ops are just there. Like, it's real, brother. Like, man's life is such a movie. If I told you about my last two weeks, mm. it's a movie, bro. Like, it's a movie. But man knows that, like, man, me, for me personally, I'm already dead. In the sense that I've been in situations where I should be dead long time. Like, I should be in jail a long time. Mm. So the fact that I'm out here, it's like, I'm just here. While God says I'm here, I'm going to try to do God's works. For as long as God gives, man. And then when God says, yo, 
My G, it's time to roll back. Don't anyone ever say RIP respite. Why didn't he get longer? Give thanks that I got the years that I got. Yeah, because I'm. it's a grateful thing. Because uh. man didn't come. Man wasn't promised nothing. I could have been there for 10 years, 15 years. So I don't want people to be grieving and rare, rare, rare. Celebrate my life. Yeah, and mm. go help the community. That's all I want. Go set up some water wells in Africa or something. You get me? Do some side project or... Yeah? Mm. Do mm. some good stuff in the world, blood. Don't grieve, man, and... Ah, oh, why is he gone? Even if I get licked down out here, don't even do the grieving thing. Mm. You get me? Because I was meant to go a long time ago, and the most I gave, man, extra time. And that's why I feel like with the mental health thing, I'm able to conquer anything because for me, it's like... I was waiting for you to I've, get back to it. I've, I've dealt with death... <laughs> I've dealt. I've dealt with the the fear of death and prison mm. from a youth. Do you get me? Man's dealt with that, and then obviously when I became more understanding spiritually, I started to gain a spiritual clarity where mm. I believe so much in God. Well, then maybe you should re reword what you said. Not that you wasn't meant to. You was meant to be gone ages ago. Yeah. You was put in situations is, yeah, yeah. where you could have been gone ages yeah, ago. Yeah. But you're obviously supposed to still be here because yeah. I'm just a strong believer in there's life and death in the power yeah. of the tongue. So just, yeah. I know what you're saying, yeah. but yeah. just remember, you got you, you got you know what I'm yeah. saying. You're yeah. meant to yeah. be here to do what you're meant yeah. to do. Yeah. You understand? Ex- yeah. And I give thanks for every single day. Yeah. Every single day I wake That's up, good. I give thanks for. Yeah. If, if I'm but you was obviously 70, clearly meant to still. Yeah. If I'm here till I'm yeah. seventy, I'm going to be on the revolution yeah. front line, running mm-hmm. up on schools if there's youths bullying. Hey, you youth, stop messing with these youths. Yeah, 70, I'll be yeah. active. Mm-hmm. No, alhamdulillah, but going mm-hmm. back to the man, man up thing, yeah, like I was saying, because obviously it sounds a bit like shallow, oh, yeah, man up, and like you said, not everyone can man up. But my whole thing is, mm. manning up is going and seeing counselling, or manning up to me is realising you got a problem, problem. or realising yeah. you're depressed, or realising, and then now, the where manning up comes into effect is you're trying to sort it out. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm trying to say? It's, it's like size, size came on there and said, yeah, um, big up size, look up bro. You get me? I remember when size said, yeah, he just went and see. That's man enough. Mm-hmm. To me, you're, you're now showing me you're a man because you recognise that this is something you need to do. Do you get what I'm trying to say? But a man's got a man up or give up, innit? That's the two choices we've got. We don't really have another choice. Is there no, but I got, I got slated for saying man no, up. No, yeah. But I'm trying to give my explanation of what Man enough. No, but I'm giving your explanation you from another I mean? angle because I'm asking them mm. a question. Man's got two choices. Man's going through stuff. I'm depressed. I'm suicidal. I want to give up. I've got two choices. I can either man up, mm. yeah, or I can give up. Yeah, what do you want me to say to you? To so give up? I can't tell people to give up. Yeah. So I'm going to tell you to man up because as men, I can't lie. That's It's necessary to be a man. Do mm. you get me? It's just necessary. And that's what I say to all of them and them. Like, it's just necessary for us to be men. It's our, like I said in the thing, it's like, it's our duty. Do you get me? So if you can't step up to your duty as a man, man's here for you. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? And you should reach out to brothers and try. Me, I feel like a lot of people that are in depression, if they came outside with man, bro, and they help the youths and they see the big smile on the face of the young girl that we helped with the bullying the other day, that might brighten up their day. Fam, have you noticed, yeah? And have life. you noticed, yeah, that we're actually in a depressing, like, era yeah. Like, a lot of people I speak to at the moment, I chat, and they say they're depressed. Yeah. And it's, like, mad. The price of everything's gone up. We're, a lot of people are depressed. Do you get what I'm trying to say? They focus a lot on mental health. And it's like what you're saying. See, with the guys and all that. And then they try and, like, yeah, a man should speak more. We should speak more and mm. all that. But yeah. don't try and feminine the thing, like, oh, yeah, man for open up, a man for do this, a man for do that. Not like that, but it's like what you said before, like, even your nan and your granddad, you got things they they would never tell you. You just don't even. Yeah. They just just we just stir. We're sturdy, innit? Yeah, you yeah. get what I'm saying? Sometimes if they're sturdy, you get and what I'm trying to say. Open up to people you really trust. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah no, but, but I'm just trying to say, like, do you know what I mean? Just don't open up to everyone. And no, you counselling or whatever. Yeah, that's that's cool. But I'm saying, like, all this, like, oh yeah, men need to show all their emotions and all that. I don't, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I think when I see videos I think men of men online, men. like, I think when men, like, for example, a woman cheats on them and they're online crying, I don't think we should be doing that. I think the get back on that woman is to realise that God blessed you because you could have had children with her and she done it. Yeah, or you could have been with her 10, 15 years and she done it. So God blessed you by showing you that's not the one for you. And now the only way you can get back 
is by rising yourself, working on yourself as a man. Yeah, don't go to the streets and start sleeping with baggers, loose gal, and mm. that's gonna put you down a worse path. Go inside yourself, abstain from gal for a little while. Build up yourself. You get me? Build up your whether it's your training, your ambitions, write down your to-do list in the morning, build up yourself. And then when you find the right at the root, have more discernment when you choose this time. And when you find that right, you'll one, attract different yeah, anyway. Yeah, and, and and you build up that one because I guarantee you that same gal in 10 years is gonna be looking at you. Yeah, and, and, and seeing the, what you're doing for your wit and think, ah, oh, messed up. You get me? Because remember, for, for women these days, just having peace of mind that a man is actually trying to be loyal, loyal is, is rare. It's like a diamond, like peace of mind, knowing that your man's not checking nothing else. That's mm. rare. So men need to kind of work on themselves where they can, <sighs> where they, where they can offer something that money can't buy. Do you get me? To, to a woman that money can't buy. And I feel like from there, your mental health is going to go up again. Because I think every man, when they're with the right woman, their mental health is just high. But I think when they rely on that person and they're not interdependent, when, they, when that person goes now, that's when the depression hits in. Mm. So I think in general, attachments for your emotions, you shouldn't do that. Mm. You should always mm. be able to love someone and have an have a energy, but always be able to protect yourself. So in the instance that anyone or anything leaves you, you've still got inner true, happiness. True stories. You know mm. what I'm saying? You've mm. still got a level of inner happiness. But some people have abandonment issues. Yes. Do you understand what I'm yes. saying? It could go further from, you know, like what they've gone through before. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's, it's just, yeah, I hear what you're saying still, but... What have you got to say on the whole thing? What do you think about... Um, like what's your idea of a man's man, Carl? Do, do you rather a man's man or... Do yes. You, you get what I'm trying to say? Or but in today's society, you know, like now they look at our kind of views as, you like, know. What if, what if, what if um, when you go home later, like Reds come true, like, um, you know, Trey, Trey um, boys and all, and just started crying and punching out. He don't do, he do that. Do what you? if he just started <laughs> doing do that? Would you argue? Would you argue? Would you say, yo, what, crazy, what, this you guy crazy. This guy crazy. Would you argue more? Would you say, what I'm to you, yo. If you just came in and just started punching it, you know what? Remember what Trey done? Just started yeah. punching the thing. And remember but remember, that was Trey's character already because he was already he not that him. guy. No, Do you get what I'm saying? But I know me because of the type of man that. What will make those got man going mad at you, you know? What? No, nah, but because of the type of man that I have, I, I wouldn't have like said, what's the matter with you? I would have definitely like wanted, you know what I mean? It's some, there's a reason why he would obviously be going on like that. Yeah. Only because of the type of person he is. Mm -hmm. But if that was his everyday character, like that's how he dealt with every situation, then he needs to man the fuck up. <laughs> you remember that? Do you, want, do you know what I mean you, though, innit? Do you get me? Swinging and all of that. Do you get me? But no, yeah, my bad. man's not a crap. I'm... My granddad it was, isn't. I've never. I, I'm just. I've never been really around that. So that's always that's, been that's my why idea. Man for guys though, because you don't know how many times he's come in the yard and he wanted to just punch the air and go. So but he was crazy. his reason for but not doing can't. that. I don't think it's because of me. Because you know, if you do this, cream's gonna go. So I'm nah. Gonna do my madness again, isn't it? See, I can't even help me. Not, Some people, you know, but I wouldn't yeah. have. I wouldn't but, have done that. Not even you, but I'm just saying in general. You know what I'm saying? He's mm. mad for for man them. Because there's men that come home and we want to punch the air sometimes. We want to yeah. smack up the air and go mad. Look, he's mm. in the cinema, he wants to cry. He can't cry. Mm. <laughs> the girl's next to you, you get what I'm saying? You can't cry and the girl's next to you. How? It's hard for guys. Mm. I, know, yeah, def I agree. It's hard for guys. No, it's yeah, hard for I guys. agree. We can't, we can't just... Because if I feel yeah, some type of way, I'm just going to cry if I feel like I... Do you know, you know what I'm saying? saying? No, you but I will. And that's the, that, It's them girl that... If you're a real... Them girl, top, please. If, no, not like yeah. that. But if you're a real top, top man, mm -hmm. you want top girl. So just cool. So I'm giving you your ratings. So if you're a top girl, this girl, you can't be a crier. <laughs> you get... No. You get what I'm trying to yeah. say? So... You're putting the pressure general, on the man them. She's putting the pressure general, on the man them. I think the top I know. girl are putting the pressure on the man them because the top girl them don't want cryers. They don't. So now I what? didn't say that. Now I just what? said that's not what I... I now what? I, that's not what I attract. Now what? Yeah, no, I think... I think but me, if, they, I, he, if he needed to open up, he could definitely open up to me because yeah. I've already showed that I can open up. Yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying? He knows what I value and what I'm looking at. 
Do you know what I mean? So he knows that he should be able to do that. However, I know when it, when a man is in his man, it is standing in his role as a, what's it called? Because I'm not a man, I can't really say it as much, but I'm, I sh- I'm sure that it must feel awkward for you to just start crying and them things if that's not your character. Do you get what I'm saying? Crazy. But that's what we're trying to say. So in that thing, do you think that is healthy for a guy to be able to do that? Do you ever feel like doing that, Deeks? Do you get a tray moment where you just want to cry and start punch up the air? Do you spray? Like that, man. Well, don't ask if, if Reds and you're not going to ask if... We just asked Deeks. We're asking if you. Have you ever felt like that? You want to go in and do a tray moment? No, I Have you? When I felt that crying, I cried. No. <laughs> it came, it came you up. just came out. Yeah, you get what I'm saying? I don't... You get what I'm saying? I'm, I'm with Rush. You get what I'm saying? That's my thing. I didn't even know I had to do all of that. Mm, I'm mm. very hard mm. emotionally. Like, I, I'm, it's hard for me to show emotions. Like, you've seen it. Everyone's seen it. See me do it live. Like, I'll have my cousins start crying next to me. I don't even know how to deal with this. Like, my, I'm not an emotional guy. I don't know how to... Yeah. Uh, so I don't know how to do but that. are you I'm really lovely? When you're with your, you know I mean? when you're with your woman, though, you're really lovey-dovey, though, innit? Huh? Nah? You don't have no outlet where you where you there. That's your little soft where you bring out your soft. Where no one don't bring out no softness. You I must think, with your girl, innit? I think, I think most hard hard guys they don't normally like nah. I think Ross. I think it's difficult, man. Really, it's difficult to difficult to. I don't know. I think man's very. If you've grown up not knowing love about like safe that. Space. Mm. 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 Get me, I think man's very picky about safe spaces. Still. Okay, cool. I hear um, that. So I think there's gonna be a time when I feel like I'm gonna unload all of that. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, that's that's if that happens, then that's probably gonna be with a life partner. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I don't think, I don't think, I don't think it's. I think men should know. I think women in general mm. that I attract anyway, mm. they like a man's man. Mm-hmm. Get me? So that's why I am like, if I if I wore a nail varnish tomorrow, then the kind of women that are attracted to me would you be would, it would be no, yeah. Come me? on, yeah, that, come that on. That wouldn't be their thing. You get me? Or see me doing some kinky stuff online, or you get me? They'd be like, "What's he doing?" Do you know what I'm saying? Because that's not man's thing. Um, even if I came online and I was crying. And because I've been through mad stress, but for mm. me to go and press record, cry on camera, mm. look back, watch the video. Yeah, and upload. And, get, and then go upload and, upload and write it. caption. Yeah. Yeah, gal are going to be looking at me like, nah, that's, you're doing too much. So even when men do this online crying thing, I'm like, bro, unless mm. you was live mm. on air and you just bust out in crying. And even then, if I feel that tear, you, it's just going to deactivate. You get me? Mm-hmm. Do it myself. Yeah, come back. You get me? Deal with the people then, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't think, yeah, I don't think we need to show our weaknesses, man. I got so many people, even when I got arrested the other day, I got people that are that were celebrating. There's too many people that are praying, praying on a man's downfall mm-hmm. for man to show them when you're going through downs. Do you get me? Um, so I feel like, I feel like we live in a society now where we have to show everything to the world and that's like... I what, saw, um, oh real, gosh, what's his name? I don't think we have to show it all to the world. The one mm. that wears the mask, he was, he was, um, Going for you, going hard, just, no, not going, but he was there, like, standing beside you, to get me? Supporting you. There was some guy on YouTube when you got arrested and that, okay, like, he was yeah, talking yeah, up. Yeah, 95 Chris. That's it, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. That's family. Yeah, pick him up, yeah, I saw that. Yeah, mm. a couple of the Gs, them, like, when I come mm. out, when I looked at my phone, I was like, they're lucky they let me out, because the, the sets from every ends that was messaging me, mm. it would have been scary for them still, even they got a phone call inside there from Scotland Yard, mm-hmm. to get me saying, look, could get peak. So mm. just because I was asking, man, do I want my lights dimmed? I was thinking, this is weird, blood. Mm. You know what I'm saying, man? Mm. It's your cuffs too tight. Yeah, like, but obviously the people on the outside are ringing down the station. Mm-hmm. And man, them are saying, what station car? We're pulling up. And they're mm-hmm. seeing all the women. They got mm-hmm. their people just watching. So they're saying, yeah, this is definitely looking like it's going to turn into something mm-hmm. if, if he was to be in there abused or bruised or whatever. So they dealt with man properly. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, like, even that situation, it threw man off mentally, so I just came offline for a little while. Yeah. Do you get me? Because if I just started expressing myself at that point, it would have been too much vulnerability. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, we have to get yourself, refocus, you get me? And then come with your come with your A game, you get me? And at all times, when you do 
reveal your feelings, just reveal it to people that you really trust. trust. Yeah, you know what I'm saying yeah, um, and, and and I feel like that that takes time to get to know. It does. It does to build that level of trust. You know what I'm saying? Mm. But yeah, I just I feel it for the man them out there that don't come from that. Mm-hmm. that cloth. That's why. Oh yeah, I got the solution for your thing. So with the youths that aren't built for the roads, yeah, cause I don't think none of us are built for the roads, but some of us was built in a... To like handle a it a bit, class. but yeah. I feel like with a warrior class, just like a white you can go join the army, what does a black youth do if he's got that same spirit that a white youth's got? We don't have an army we can join. Mm. So if we've got a natural fighter's kind of spirit, mm. we don't have anywhere to channel that energy. So what happens is the poverty and the social system mm. makes us channel it against each other. Do you know what I'm saying? Because there's bakers, there's people, there's, there's artists, there's music, but there's also warriors and we don't have nowhere to channel that. So that's why self-defense and martial arts is a beautiful thing for people that have that energy to teach them discipline. Do you know what I'm saying? And self-confidence. Mm. So we got classes that we teach youths. Um, even Shaq, Shaq was, Shaq Corleone was messaging me from jail saying he wants his son to join. Free Shaq. Team. You get me? Because, yeah, mm-hmm. and even in, when, when Gang, Gang Unite done a, a, mm. a referral for him when he, for the judge yeah. to get me when he went to when he went to court to say he, he, you know what I'm saying yeah so he he was talking about his youth he don't want his youth to be on this road thing mm. yeah? but mm. he don't want his youth to be soft as well so what how do we find the balance the balance is very simple martial arts yeah because what it will do is take the youths that are kind of on this road thing and teach them discipline and it will take the youths that might not be built for that and teach them self confidence and they'll both kind of meet in the middle Mm. So if we can get martial arts taught to a lot of the youths, especially the youths in PRU and all of this, and get them to channel all of the anger, because all of, a lot of the fighting in the anger is for the, that we do is we're taking our anger on the world. Mm. You don't realize it at the time, but a lot of the time we're angry about our, our we'll hurt people, like hurt just people in it. Anything could be happening. That's just so that we're taking it out. But if we're going to the gym and we're boxing, we're learning a place to take that out. And then the courses we have is about self this. Self know, knowing yourself, self discipline, and self worth. Mm. So, within that, once we instill, because once you learn, you can't unlearn. That's the mm. beautiful thing. So, if we instill 13 year olds, 14 year olds, 15 year olds with these principles, mm. I'm telling you, they're not going to go down on the, ro- the, the same road. I've got youngers that could eat real pain. Yeah? He could easily be bursting off straps right now. Easily. But from he was young, 13, he was doing courses with us. Now he's like 18, 19, 20. He's got his SIA badge. He's working. You get me getting his license, he's gonna be driving. So we we've navigated him a whole different way, mm-hmm. even though he's in the environment and goes through, you get me, and he did his little time, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But he's on a path. So we just need to make more youths coming from our community go down that path. Do you know what I'm saying? Rather than them just defending themselves. Cause that's what they're doing right now. Mm. It's city of gods out there, blood. It's city of gods out there. Mm-hmm. They're raising themselves. Their elders haven't hit the strip and said, yo, what are you doing? So until we hit the strip and told them they can't do this, you get me, collectively, all you 15, you know, we know your mum, we know your auntie, we know your uncle, that you can't do this no more, and you man as well, you can't do this. Until we go out there and we actually, like, then we know them by name, they're our family members, you get me? So until we regulate as a community and use our community sources to regulate, they're going to keep up their foolishness. But once we regulate, they're going to agree to us. You know why? Because mm. mm. they want their brethren alive. Mm. They like going on holidays. Yeah, they like going on holidays. They like. So once they, once they realize all Ras and Young spraying them lot are saying is, mm. we can live. Yeah, you see when Heddy's going on holiday, we can go on holiday too. Uh. Yeah, yeah, we could be on the beach. Drink. Yeah, and we don't have to bury our brethren next week. So really and truly, what we're saying is in the benefit of every man, really. You Come just got to get out of your young mentality. You get me? That wants to prove to everyone that you're a bad man and just know that you're a real G in your heart. Mm-hmm. You get me? And real Gs, they look for peace, not war. Because when war comes, they know what they're going to do. Mm. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Trust me. Come on, man. Yeah. But yeah, now every episode, we have a different dilemma. You get what I'm saying? Obviously, got a um, dilemma today. It's like, dear RTM podcast show, I've just lost my mum and I don't even want to live anymore. I don't have anyone to talk to and I just stay in my house. I've quit my job and now I'm on benefits. I have no kids and I feel like no one will miss me if I'm not here. I just watch TV all day and I always watch your podcast. So I thought I'd ask for your help. Um, Is there any 
advice you can give me, Cream? <laughs> cream smoke. Can't we do? Can't we do respect? For respect. That's I'm. I'm telling you what she. Oh, what they've she asked for me. <gasps> oh my gosh! Listen. No, no. Who told you I'm high? Maybe it's because it's such a serious thing. I'm thinking about my response. Actually, that's not what it is. Don't Listen. try put that on me, please. Don't Rest, try do have that. You any, have you got any no, advice I, for this person? Me, because it's just it's mad, isn't it? Like. You just got to calm down. That's the first thing. You got to calm down. We're here to die. We're all here to die. Mm. Cream wants you to hang yourself. No, I do not. Cream I definitely can't believe wants you gone. This, you know. Cream definitely wants you gone, but I'm here for you. No, what? I'm here for you. You want you want them gone? Spray. But they've asked you. I didn't even cream. know you said cream like you was no, asking no, no, me first. Cream. That's no, what I thought. So I was look, saying see, I said you're the wrong person. <laughs> anyway, you're whatever. The wrong person. They Listen. just care. Thinking cream. I'm sure he's out there like, laughing right now watching. Yeah, this exactly. Like, there's a, there, yeah. Bro, just stay alive just to watch the next episode Mad. after this, my G. You get me? Mad. Come on. First, now, at you first. Like, huh? Just you go to respect. <laughs> no, I didn't say it like that. No, I didn't say it like that. No. My face was serious. Respect, did I say it like that? I never said it like that. I think it was so deep. It was so deep. I didn't know how to answer it. Do you understand? First and foremost, first and foremost, R.I.P. Well, you're laughing. Listen, the mum's dead. 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 Do you know what? Mm. When I say, you see you. We're laughing like the mum's not dead. Oh, uh -uh. Cut, There's someone in the. No, but you see you. It's you. It's you. It's you, you, it's you. Oh, it's you, you know. Right Am I good? All right. First of all, I thought. Yeah, so. Someone needs to survive. But let me say then, innit? Someone yeah, needs to. I'm saying first and foremost, R.I.P. to your mum. I am so sorry for your loss. Do you understand what I mean? But I believe that there's a bigger, there's a bigger um purpose no on kids your life. No, I'm joking. I just yeah. feel like there's a bigger yeah. purpose on your life. We wasn't placed here to take our own lives anyway. I don't believe in that anyway. Do you know what I mean? I feel I like. Yeah, I just I don't know. I feel like you need to pray on it. You know what I mean? Find some strength from somewhere, but this is not the way to go. You are 32 you years me? old, and you know have a youth. You are batty, man. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you just <laughs> said that. Guy, man. I can't believe. I don't know what to do. Like, yo. Yeah. That's vibes, you know? You are 32 years old, and you know have a youth. You are batty, man. Listen. <laughs> 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 Say what I want to say. You know, Respect like come. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no, nah, but seriously, yeah. Um, you are one, 32 yeah. years old. Um, yeah. Obviously, the man's laughing at the chemistry between these two. Man's definitely not laughing at the scenario. Yeah, exactly. Um, We're not doing that. R.I.P. No, no, life come is on, about, man. life is a thing where, we're all gonna like, and this might depress some people out there, but you're gonna, everyone you love's gonna die or you're gonna die. That's the only thing that life promises. You're only gonna, thing. You're going to see everyone you love die or you're going to die first. So we're all, that's that's one. Uh, like uh, R.I.P. Black the Ripper. He's, he's Black one the Ripper. person when I was 13, 14. That's why I think I was the way I was. He, pro he told me death is promised. Like that's why I feel like I was so comfortable with it. And that's what made me even dangerous because when you don't really fear death too much, it's like you're just a bit dangerous. You know what I'm saying? A lot dangerous. Um, but like for me with the brother... Um, I would say that you'd be doing yourself a disservice if you give up. You get me? Um, regardless of where it is, one, cl clean out your house, declutter everything. Clean out your yard. Out. Your yard's definitely messy. He just, the yeah. pair, he just lost his mum. No, 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 no I'm, I'm, just, I'm just saying. He's yeah, I, clean I, out I know. Your yard, mm. Declutter. Um, and one thing I'd say to, <laughs> to, be one, I'd say to um, mm. my, one of my young G's lost, lost his cousin the other day, yeah? And I showed him that, like, on those last minutes before he died, he was thinking, one, that he shouldn't have jumped on this road thing. You get me? And also what he was thinking is, you, his little cousin, and everyone else he loves, they, if they could jump off, that's that's the last message he would have given to you lot just before he died. You get me? So you kind of got to think of, when your brethren dies, you kind of got to think of what your brethren would really want you to do. And with your mum, it's the same thing. Mm -hmm. Your mum wouldn't want to see you give up. So now you've made your mum carry you for nine months, go through all she's gone through, she's given birth to you, and then now you're going to give up. You have to live for your mum. 
every that's, every that's, lesson yeah. that your mum taught, what your mum represented, the things she loved. You get me? Whether it's the charities or whatever, go and live out what your mum, what you feel like your mum's uh, legacy is meant to be, and continue that legacy. And once you clean up as a man. Yeah, abstain from woman. You're not. You're not thirsty. You're, you're on your own thing. You're no, no, no. He yourself. needs to go and have some use. Nah. Yeah, yeah. After that, find, yeah, find, find the right thing and have use and continue your legacy. Yeah, yes, yeah, he but don't concentrate on that though. Don't concentrate on that. Concentrate on becoming Depending the on best what, version. If he's 32 years Co- old, concentrate on becoming the you best version. You are 32 years old. Best yourself. version of himself. Yeah. yeah. And, yeah. and yeah. once you, once you become the best version of yourself, you're gonna attract good things. But that mm. starts with you clean out your environment decluttering all the stuff that you need to declutter, wipe down, bleach down till everything smells sweet. Mm. Yeah. And when you look around, you're going to feel a lot better. I'm better, telling you, yeah. you're going to feel a lot better. If you do any form of um, um, sports or training, get that done. Swimming. I, that's what works for me. You get me? When I get under the water, it's like mm. it washes away all my problems. Mm. I could have been feeding mad. You see once I... Pff- yeah, mm. it's gone. And get into a healthy yeah. routine get as into well. A healthy routine. No idling like, yeah. because the devil knows what to do with idle hands. Do you understand what I'm yes. saying? Like, no stay idling, busy. like, stay busy. When you're locked into a routine as well, you build, you've got structure in your life and them thing there. Do you know what I mean? But I like what you said about living out the things that his mum loved and stuff because yeah. if you end it now, that's you lot's story, you know. Your mum passed you, and it's like, do you understand? Like, you need to kind of, yeah, change if you're this. You're Muslim as well, get back on your prayers. Yeah, oh, that's what I was gonna yeah. say. You know, get pray. In, I said get, to, get to pray, pray as well. Pray. Yeah, I yeah, said I'm to pray. Fudger, I said up, pray. Pray. Or, pray. No matter what you are, you get me. Pray, you pray. God, pray, pray. You know yeah, regardless. Because what 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 we all, what we know is after ease, after um discomfort comes ease. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Yeah. Like, and that's just even off experience mm-hmm. right, as well. Like, man's been you. We've all been in a dark hole, and then if you just call at some point. Come out the dark hole, innit? Yeah. Do you get what I'm trying and, to say? And even with the praying thing, because praying is speaking to God, but you see, once you finish praying, yeah, meditate. Because mm. that's listening. Mm. Mm. Get me? Because a lot of people, they pray, they ask God for all of this, but they don't take time. See me after I pray, I'm silent for at least five minutes. I'm just mm. listening. Mm. And, and I Being receptive like to the signs and everything, yeah. Mm. High, where, they, where they call it God or higher self or whatever. Mm. But I feel like the the highest vibration kind the of frequency, you, you yeah. You can hear clearly. You can of get course. clarity of what you need to do, and I think all of these things is going to help you um, over time. And um, like like I said, when you heard like um, I don't know if you know uh, Dave Chappelle, he busted a joke mm-hmm. about a transgender woman, and he said like the stuff. Um, yeah, when she commits suicide. Yeah, she committed suicide. Yeah, said, I knew she. I knew you weren't a man because. I knew you was a man all along because only a man would do some gangster shit like that. And then it was the whole crowd was like, <gasps> and he was like, I told that joke because I know that she or he would have loved that joke. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You get me? So it's like in the same way when people are watching this, they, this guy is an RTM watcher. Mm-hmm. So when he saw the the way why my dudes with the yeah, thing, he, they know that's gonna make are. him laugh. Exactly you get me? because he knows the character. That he's treated into. That's just for the and, people and, out there and that and might we be value very the people that you know we, you're gonna get the sense. Yeah, yeah and we gonna value the, the people that watch the show that and they, they log into our stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. We've all got to die. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, That's yeah. one thing we're promised. So, do you know what I mean? But just pray. Do you know what I mean? Pray. Yeah, pray. Yeah, that's today's book suggestion. I was just getting onto this as well. Definitely not a book suggestion from me, but this is Raspex book suggestion because. What I like to ask the guests if they got a book in it, and if they ain't got a book, then I bring a book. But the Hustlers Holy Book, I let Raspet tell you about it because he told you he telling um, me a bit about it still. So basically, a lot of you have seen a clip, yeah, where my two OGs and these are men that have been out here and funded the movement. You get me, the Hustlers Holy Book. When I had no other income, I was out here shutting them. You get me, and like cleaning up as well. Do you know what I'm saying? Because hard work pays off. Was in a carnival with boxes. You get me? Um, so, yeah, them man, they are foundation to everything I've built. Dig them so, up. Like when, but they done a clip the other day. They done a um, podcast. But you know how things get taken out of context. So they talk, everyone who's seen 50 Cent's son, yeah, who's entitled saying that he should have got more money and that. Yeah, they're saying if they had a son like that, yeah, they don't believe in generational wealth. Yeah, they're not going to send out nothing to a mm. youth because your youth might be ungrateful. Yeah, and what they're also saying is they came up from the gutter. They came up from... Having nothing. Has no he got gas, a synopsis? No electric in the yard. Has he got a synopsis? Yeah, probably. At the back. Um, 
with no gas, no electric in the yard. You get me? And they had to build up from the ground. So what they're gonna instill it's in their children? It's got epilogue, but it's too long. What they have to instill in their, what they want to instill in their children is that ability to be able to be self-sufficient. But I know that them man check for their youths differently. I know them man invest in their youths differently. Their nephews, sons, all of that. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of people was in the chat kind of misunderstanding what they were saying. But they are the authors of the Hustlers Holy Book. You get me? I'm one of the. I was one of the promoters, but they was they was the first authors. You get me? They man wrote it in jail, and his brother on the outside published it. So it's really from outing. You Given to you by the hustler fairies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God loves a hustler. Yeah. God loves a hustler. Hustler Farah, that was that, that's the, uh, that's the brand you get me. But yeah, them man there are generals in this thing. When it, when you talk about money, even for youths that I'm mentoring, I've made them set up businesses from the. the there's a chapter. How the chapter the one, the definition no, of a hustler. Chapter, chapter two, the hustler's history. Chapter three, attributes of a hustler. Chapter four, knowledge. Chapter five, image. Chapter six, communication. So they're just literally going through. Um, what chapter are you saying? There's a chapter where they t- tell you how to start a business. And there's youths that I've made. Yeah, there's many different that chapters. Businesses chapter 21, that. undercover police. Da, 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 da. I think there's an audio book as well, Amazon. Yeah. It's got to be yeah. an audio book. Amazon. Hustle's holy book. Get, you see, you, got, you had it or you had it. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. So these, like, for, for me, like, it's that's like the how hustler I version even, of that book. What I had the 101 ways before to start this up. This book, I, I didn't know nothing about business, you get me? And from having this book and reading this book, I've definitely managed to make some real power moves in the business that's field. That's good. Silently, yeah. you get me? Go on. Um, so mm. I defi- and anyone who's read, if you look at the reviews, go look at the reviews. Just like the reviews, everyone who's read it will tell yeah, you. Know, I saw a clip of them, a, they made me laugh. It's a bad boy. Book, you get I me? saw a clip of nah, them. No, but you need to see more because nah, that they made clip, me laugh. No, but I it, see bare man in the comments talking foolishness. I'm like, yo, you man don't understand what these men are saying though. Like what they done with me with the clip. Yes, yeah. exactly the now same basically thing. basically there was these like, oh, oh geez, blood. People better put respect on them still. Generational wealth. Generational wealth. Forget that like, my Do you believe in generational wealth? My grandkids could be batting men. Quickly, oh, though, do you believe in generational wealth? I, be, I believe in generational wealth, but all of my... I believe in generational wealth, but all of my children, um, I'll teach them how to set up businesses and they will all set up their own businesses and be independent. And maybe when they get older, they'll have satin when they're 30. On the so do you fund. care about your great, 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 Because that's what they all said. Oh, I'm like, my great, 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 No, nah, but they're saying in the case that he's like 50 cents you. They're not saying the ones that are going to be riders. These men do invest do you, in their family. Like, I've seen Do you them. believe in generational wealth? Generation. Well, I believe in it. Like, yeah, do you want to do, yeah. Are you trying to build generational wealth within your family, your bloodline? Inshallah. It's not something that I believe in. Like, but it's something, like, do you know what I mean? It's not like I believe, but I, I do agree with it. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, I'm not yeah, just yeah, trying to... Yeah, yeah, do you agree with yeah, it Yeah, I'm then not basically. just trying to live just for me. Do you get what I'm trying to... But mm. I get what they're saying as well, because they was like... They, it's not that they're living just for them. They're living... Because I heard some of it. They're saying, mm. I'm living for no, me. No, I'm just asking, No, though, but this yeah. one, they were saying, they're living for me and their direct family, yeah? My grandkids and my grandkids. After that, it's up to my son yeah, or yeah, my yeah. grand. Child to then yeah, yeah. And come and come with P. Do you so do you but feel like so? Give out, so if give you out, was um, in a better position to place people in better positions, the first ones that you would choose to help should that shouldn't that be your offspring? Yeah, hundred percent. To be placed in a better position, isn't it? Like you're putting them in better position. Why would you want them to go through the same steps, hard work that you went for? The whole purpose of you going through all of this is to make it easier for the ones coming after you. Yeah. No? Yeah. That's my thing. But remember, a lot of rich kids, I don't like their personality. They're ungrateful, yeah, but yeah. because they're so, not so, giving, yeah. So I, I just want to make sure that there's, there's the balance of instilling that earthiness that comes mm. from understanding. Because I rate 50 like enough. Mm-hmm. I rate yeah. 50. Yeah. And um, I don't... I. I don't think that his son is completely in the wrong, though, because that is still your dad. Anybody who would have 50 cent as a dad, why wouldn't you use what he had to the advantage? You understand what I'm saying? Because do you think that you should should treat one kid different to the other? Or should they all be treated the same? uh, Depends on the baby model. So therefore you agree that they should be treated differently? Depends on the baby model. See what I'm saying? So should one be on private jets and one be getting only, should be getting just six? 
grand or something. I'm just. I'm not saying that's exactly what's happening because I know. I'm just playing advocate. I'm, I'm saying that because that's might what not got nothing though. Eh? So he's lucky. He's, he's give thanks and praises. You got to give thanks and praises because for me, like I never had nothing from my pops or nothing like that. You get me, but. But if you did, you would, yeah, but I'm just saying, but if you did, you would, it would have been good though, innit? That's your pups. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe I wouldn't be the person I am today. Mm. Like if I, I feel like if I, I feel like all of that being outside the chicken shop, being hung, I feel like that made me a person. Oh, definitely. That's very empathetic to people that are coming from the struggle. And I feel like this is what they was kind of saying. So as much as, I think I'm definitely going to have a level of generational wealth, Mm -hmm. but along with that generational wealth, I'm going to also have a, um, like a community generational wealth of the works that man's invested in. Because after my youths are stable, you get me, all I'm going to be doing is setting up water you know what in Africa. It's, it's like what you said, what you think rich is, isn't it? Rich is, mm-hmm. rich is a, um, money or whatever you said. No. You know, like, I'm so like, why, don't gener- why don't that be considered as generational wealth then? Handing down them morals, handing down them... That, but that is what I believe in as well. But I feel like that's... just look at general wealth as, I mean, generational wealth as money. Elon no, Musk I believe that it's, it's, rich, um, right? it's, the, it's the quality of generational wealth to me is, is about the quality, quality of you're living. Oh, yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. Elon because Musk is rich, right? Mm. But his daughter doesn't want to know him. Exactly. But on that show that, yeah, anyway, let's not even bother going into it. Because yeah. some people think that that's all. If you like, you know, you've made Tesla or you've done this or you built big yeah. buildings, you're a great man in it. You've succeeded. You've got yeah. M's in the... That's not everything to me because... Loads of those people, they're not happy. I want my daughter And to you love can't me. buy peace of mind. You can't buy those type of things. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Exactly. Now, I want, I want my kids. Exactly. I give out all the money in the world. If the love that you get from family, even not even just my daughters, like children in general that like exactly. help, help a lot of youths. The love they got for me, I'm telling you, you can offer me a million pounds and take away the love I've got in the community. I don't want that, blood. Mm. I don't want that. Take the love that we get with this from the sister Wolver. I don't want that. You can keep the peas. Because man can get peas at any time. Mm-hmm. Like money is nothing. It's the time that's really thing. Because if I spend if I spend 10 bags, I can get 10 bags back. But if I spend 10,000 hours, I can't get the 10,000 hours back. No, not at all. That's why even when I'm talking about opening up and spending time with people, that's a big commodity. Mm. Just spending time with man. Before the man, richest of pocket, the richest can't buy time. Before I go into my pocket, the fact that I'm spending time, that's, that's already a commodity. Because man can be doing other stuff. So... For me, it's like whoever man's building with, that's that's definitely got to be uh, understood, like how and and just appreciated on both sides. Do you know what I'm saying? No nah, man, just cut mm-hmm. that book. You get me? Go cut that book. book. You get Money. me? Love for coming through, my brother. Yeah. We can see talking for a I know. Yeah, just, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. But I've just yeah. seen this gone past three and a half hours. You're a lie. You get what I'm trying to say? <laughs> yeah. Long, yeah. Long. We can mm-hmm. keep talking, but. Appreciate you. Yeah. Nah, come on, bro. You get what I'm trying to say? Yeah, man be trying one. to get him on for yeah. a bit. And Deeks, obviously, he's going to want your number and all that, car. They got Deeks. He's really, you get what I'm yeah, saying? Me, but ho- no. Hopefully, they don't blacklist me. No, man. <laughs> no, man. <laughs> no, nah, nah, respect for coming true, man. Well-deserved flowers. 100%. Start to, um, season five. Hopefully, the sound's cool. Um, obviously, we didn't sack the sound engineer. We got you lots of comments telling us to sack him. He's here because he's a road. You get me? We're trying, to, we're trying to build. You get me? We're trying to build and we're going to get better mics soon anyway. Yeah, big up Boom, to follow man. the queen. Follow cream. Um, fa- oh, yeah. And I just want to say, I need you lot to put in um, happy birthday oh, to happy me. Birthday. Oh, happy yeah, birthday. It's your birthday today, isn't it? Well, yeah, not today, but, but when, it airs, when this it comes will be out. my birthday. When this comes out, it will be a birthday. It will be on my birthday, so... so. Put some happy uh, birthdays in the comments, innit? It's a real one's birthday. But yeah, follow me on Instagram, Ice Cream the Poster Girl. Follow my business page, Poster Girl underscore Lashes. Follow me on YouTube, Queen Ice Cream TV. Follow me on TikTok, Queen Ice Cream. Um, what else is there? Twitter. Follow me on Queen Ice Cream. You know the vibes. Just follow me everywhere, innit? <laughs> All right, boom. Like, I want to just quickly say, yeah, mm-hmm. big up. Young Spray, big up. Cream, you get me. Thank you. It's easy. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Just for having man on. You get me? I'm mad honored. It's been a bubbly conversation. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> on and off uh, screen. On and off screen. Yep. Next time we'll get into the the, the, mm-hmm, the rest mm-hmm. of the other yeah, guys, yeah, which is yeah. a w- lot more than even this, you get mm-hmm, me? Mm-hmm. But um big up IR, big up Mars Bar, you get me in the building. Oh, no me. <laughs> but um, yeah, do as them. You get big me. Up, all, all, I wanna, up. all I want to say to the people out there is like platforms like this. 
it's foundation, isn't it? Yeah. And as much as when people go, we like to give people their flowers. Obviously, man said he brought me on here to give flowers, but I well just want to end. I just want to end it on letting man know. Yeah. I'm a child of Channel U, you get me? <laughs> yeah, no, st- and I don't bread no man. This ain't no breading. This is genuine love. I was an 11, 12 year old that had nothing to look out to, and I see North Star, you get me? Mm. So solid crew. Like, there's so many names that I mm. can't name all the names, but if you. Say your uncle's thing, you don't bread, want to say your uncle's thing. Yeah, it's Mashtown, yeah. shout out Mashtown. You, you to. get me? Um, shout out everyone like bbk mm. movement like mm. there's too many names and bear you man i got beef with each other and i don't care about that because all i care about is that you man keep winning and being representations of us mm-hmm. that is representations of winning and don't focus on beefing each other but focus on building up your platforms and, and build beef in a know, system against we've you been through a lot bro mm-hmm. you get me and we could have all gone down the road of destruction to, to just to see the man then build up the podcasting where they've taken it the clothing the, the, the thought about branding, brand placement, all of these things. Thank you, man. I appreciate mm-hmm. it. Man. You you reminded me I've got your bloody tracksuit. Mm-hmm. Tracksuit, ah. really the most. But that's what I'm saying. I'm g- I've got him the tracksuit and the, and the face mask. Love, love, And love. I've got cream, the Jamaica colour one. <laughs> You're done now. <laughs> <laughs> love my Thank you. Yeah, yeah, appreciate that. No, uh, no, nah, nah, you're good, man. We're going to get a picture. It's cool, dude. Yeah. You're doing too much. But yeah, boom. Now I appreciate you, man. Yeah. I appreciate you, and I yeah. appreciate that because, like, obviously, like a lot of people, they, they don't, they, they find it hard to give, give. The mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. I tried to big up Rimsy or whatever. So now I appreciate. And that, I'm man. saying that even if I hated you, because it doesn't matter. You hate the me, fact. Bro. No, no, no I'm don't. Joking, I'm kidding. But I'm saying, mm. I'm saying, I'm saying that it doesn't matter. Even I, there's a you that we talked about earlier. Mm. There's foundation stuff that that guy's done that I still rate. Yeah, mm. like in general, you get me. It's just that that one thing. Mm. I'm saying whether you like a man or not, you can't. Whether you like a man or not, mm. you can't take away from the positive moves that that person has made and the foundation mm. that they have laid. And I feel like if we all look at it through that thing, then there's not feeling no type of way because mm. the man then was there on Channel U creating a foundation for the rest of us to know that we can do it. It's a fact. It's in history. You can mm. go on YouTube and go back to the videos from Come on, years ago. Yeah, and you can see who was there doing what they was doing. So big up the man, them. R.I.P. Jamal. Come on, man. You know R.I.P. Jamal. And you get me and everyone else that we've lost. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Peace out, man. Follow oh, you. Follow where, you. Where, where, where can they find you? you? Respect Rebellion, FF, and Forever Family. You know what I'm saying? And follow Easy Herbs as well. Mm-hmm. Come on, big up Easy. Yeah, big up Easy Herbs. Come on. R.B.S. You get me? Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. That's it. Follow me at young underscore spray underscore official on Instagram. Follow the clothing page at RTM Clothing Original, www.realofthemost.com. That's the website. Follow the podcast page at RTM Podcast Show on Instagram. Follow me on Twitter at young underscore spray. And I've got new music coming out soon, 11th of the 11th. So that's the 11th of November. It's called This All Entertainment. So yeah, cop that, support that. Mm. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Yeah, the vibes. Yeah, yeah.